Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Picking up right from where we left off, we've got this defense here against the um, the Blood Voyage. Uh, Auto Resolve says close defeat, but I think it's vastly underestimating our forces, as it usually does in the gate. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, I don't know. But most of their forces are pretty badly damaged and not even that good quality. The only things to really worry about are these two units here. It, oh, I suppose these ones are a bit of concern. Yeah, let's jump in. And yeah, any forces that come up through here we know are not going to be a, a concern because they can be delayed. They have no missile units whatsoever. So that's good. That gives us a big superiority there. So I'm guessing that they blew up the Croatian settlement, um, Tor and Lek, I think. Um, but that'll just be recolonized. Alright, so, I think um, putting our f artillery up here worked out pretty well for us last time. I think shooting down into here works well. Shooting over the walls there, not so much. I think leaving these guys here works. Uh, we'll put gate guard up here. No, let me just get them all off the wall. Funny thing about gate guard, they're stat-wise almost exactly the same as Lothal and Sea Guard, apart from having extra range. So they're actually better than Lothar and Seaguard. Alright, the dragon's coming in here. Hmm. And we need to stop them from coming in here, so I'll open the gate. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about the dragon. I don't know if fighting it on the walls. Flying units fighting... Using your infantry to fight flying units up on the walls is actually really unfavorable. The towers here will do a small amount of damage, but I don't think it's worth holding this position even for a second. I think we're better off just staying back here. Yeah, there's some space over here that you can't click on. How am I doing today? I'm well, thanks. How are you guys? Alright, so... We'll see how this goes. Tell you what, I really wish we had the balance of power. It doesn't make the battles any more difficult, you just don't know what the situation's like. I'm glad that they changed that in Warhammer 3. How bad is the anti-player bias of Warhammer 2? Uh, I think it's it, it's there. There's definitely anti-player bias, but I think they've got it just right, where it's difficult enough, where it's there, but not so difficult that it ruins your campaign experience. Also got these eagles here, which can be useful. It will be done. It will be done. Alright, I don't think that's gonna attack the gate, but it might. Okay, get get these gate guard back over here. Good idea. If we get the gate guard to shoot at the hydra from the gate, we can kill it. Because it's healing right now, essentially gaining them back balance of power, which is not good. Here comes the dragon. Try not to blob up around it. I need you to single shot. Try to get rid of this. 
Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe we should focus on the dragon first. And this might help, but it's best if it's uh, attacking it from the opposite angles that our archers are shooting, so that we don't have um, it blocking it. Alright, we're a bit blobbed up there. Let's just bring two over here. I think we got that dragon more or less sorted. It's not really doing much. Did the eagle do any damage? No. So this is going really well over here. Yeah, with any units that regenerate, you need to try to kill them quickly, or else they get a lot more bounce of power out of them. Okay, gotta make sure we got a clear line of sight on the Hydra, and kill it as quickly as possible. Did Australia like a new PM? Yep, and who cares? It's got nothing to do with this stream. Okay, time to start using these guys here for this. Uh, it'd be better to shoot these ones over here. How's this going? Good, Hydra's going down quickly. So every bit of health that it doesn't regenerate, that's less ammunition that we need to use up. Uh, Dominic Baul. I hope I got that right. Did a five dollar super chat. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Thanks for the support. Come on, you gotta kill it. You gotta kill it. Otherwise, we're just gonna fight it again later. Cause it's not gonna rally. Hmm, not sure if we're going. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. If I use an eagle summon, it might just kill it. Oh, I think it just got a ton of regen. Yeah, it did. Right, that means it'll come back. Okay, just watch out with the friendly fire there. They've got more value in this area than we do, so even if we're hitting our own units, it's okay. It's only white lines of grace. They're not important. Hi there, Legend. Do you think that it's likely the first DLC for Women's Ruby, the four main demon princes for each god, those being Valkyr, Azazel, Bubonicus, and... Um, uh, the, I think that's that's possible. Um, Valkyr's not a demon prince, though. I think it's actually more likely that it's going to be the mortal champions of Chaos, not the Demon Princes. Uh, since the um, it's confirmed that it's going to be the Warriors of Chaos rework at around that time. So, Warriors of Chaos don't have demons in them. So, and there's a significant lack of mortal champions within the demon faction, so I think it's it's much more likely that we're going to see mortal champions of the Chaos Gods f with their first DLC. That's what I think, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, it is getting to regenerate all of it. 
Alright, I am seeing a bit of a lack of force over here. We might might need to throw some more troops in here, because they could still win this by capturing that point, which would suck if that happened. They haven't even started capturing it yet, but we've got to be a bit more careful. Because they've still got some troops coming up this way. Uh, Dominic Bayul did a two-dollar super chat. It's pronounced Bully. All right, fair enough, dude. My ears hurt every time. All right, sorry, dude. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I had no idea. Thanks for super chat. All right, look, they're not coming in through here, so. I am. St oh shit! I am starting to get a little bit worried now. I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried. Get these guys here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Shit. Wait, what happened there? Why did that happen? Uh oh. I might actually lose, guys. Three more guys in here. It will be done. Son of uh oh. Shit, I'm actually losing this battle, guys. I've. <sighs> Fuck, they're gonna cap the town square. No, we, we stopped them. Holy shit. That was fucking close. Holy shit, that was close. Fuck my balls. Fuck my balls, that was close. Holy crap. Yeah, I need the silver helms in here to hold that fucking back. Hang on, we've still got this one coming in. Need these two over here. Yeah, I might lose this. Holy shit. They're pulling me, pulling me back again. Come on, guys. I need you to shoot this. Yeah. Shit. Get rid of that fucking Hydra. Alright, we've got to... They've captured the town square. We've just got to... Oh, shit. I might actually lose this, guys. <laughs> oh, man. What a terrible way. I really thought this was an unlosable battle. <laughs> I got nothing left. Apart from archers. Gabe did a two-dollar super chat. Great stop legend for the Everqueen. Yeah, well, it's not an un, un, uh, no defeat campaign, but yeah, I think I lost the battle. Unless we get the army losses in the next few seconds. Aim for the Hageneth executioners. Shit, it's so close. I think I've I think I lost I ran out of ammo. It's so friggin' close. Mm, I underestimated them.
Oh well, so much for undefeated campaign. Flip. Yeah, we we there's no way we're gonna win. We don't have enough ammo. <laughs> I well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Got a defeat. What are you gonna do? I can't do anything about it. If we're out of ammo, there's nothing we can do. The thing is, this blood voyage is over, but yeah, it's, um, they got me. Oh, well. Ubi did a $5 super check. Good luck today, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. It was so close. That was definitely winnable. But I just, I don't know. They just didn't do a good job. Just didn't do a good job. Send a disaster battle. No, it's um, it's not a disaster battle. Uh, it just I just, just didn't do a good job. Oh well, it's not. A, this isn't a no defeat campaign. <laughs> it's just I just didn't win it. That's all. Fella, you could have won this. I know. I definitely could have. I um, I lost this because I was overconfident. I was chill for most of the battle, and only when they really started pressuring me did I start to pick up the pace and by that point it was too late. There were a lot of bad maneuvers like sending in the cavalry. I just did that to to stop them from capping the town. In my choice. Wanna try again? Nah. It's not a this is it's, I don't I don't want to do every bloody campaign as a no defeat campaign. Yeah. It's alright. It's not the end of the world. I'll just go recolonize it. I really just I'm gonna blame Crace for this for letting them get through. Oh no, I'm out of money. I guess you have done stream now. No, it's not a no defeat campaign. Look, sometimes these things happen, but uh, it's mostly my own fault there. All right, so these guys here. Um, didn't say that Blood Voyage is going to recover this victory. Oh, it's not going to recover, but that was our first defeat of the campaign. It was very winnable. I just. There were a bunch of things that I could have done, like. I could have gone over and killed the Hydra a lot earlier. The fact that the Hydra got all of its regen really hurt us. Um, my units were stuck at the gate, sitting there for too long. Um, we let the um, the fight go on inside the town square for too long. I just got overconfidence. Uh, overconfident. That is pure and simple. That's just uh, that's what happens. The Ever Queen. Oh well. It happens. Just gotta move on. Alright, so... Yeah, we move on to here with this. Blame Kreis. <laughs> yeah, blame Kreis. So they have 10 units in there. This army here is... Oh, it's Master Monday. That army there is not going to get any stronger. Not really. But the one over here is. So I think it'd be better for me to go and take out um, Skeggy first. Because otherwise it's just going to get stronger and stronger. No, we don't need that. Are lead belters and catapults a good ogre army in your opinion? I don't play much ogres, so maybe. Can you even drag out the other factions into the war? Oh, they were, yeah. A lot of them are at war with the voyage. Um, oh, man. It's not an important fight because it's just the gates, but at the same time, oh, that was such a winnable fight. I just, it's just lazy. If I had re put a lord inside the army, that could have made all the difference if I had some magic. Oh well, it's too late now. Just stop focusing on it. Um, oh, this map isn't the best. Problem is now I've got to spend some money to go and recolonize it, or I could just let Kreis recolonize it. I guess. I guess that'll work. 
All right, let's um, let's try not to get overconfident here, because if we take too much damage, then Mazda Mundi is going to smash us. Alright. I should try to keep as many of these units tied back as possible so that we have less pressure on our army because it is a fairly freshly recruited force. And it would be good if we don't have to deal with the whole thing all at once. And there's quite a lot of Marauder Champions here. Do you think Kithay will be a decent counter to High Elves? They're about the only faction that can really match them for range. Uh, no, not really. I don't know. Maybe on the battlefield, but not on campaign mechanics. I think people are overhyping the crane gunners a bit much at the moment. Alright, you can fight that unit, that's fine. Artillery's doing a good job. Okay, need to need to get out of there. That's not ideal. Come on, come on, Eagle. Go, 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 go. We're doing what we need to be doing there, which is just tying down a bunch of units, which is definitely good. Am I getting let out? Yeah, kinda, 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 kinda. Okay, charge in here. Make sure they don't get to the artillery. We need them. Come on, be a bit more responsive. Charge in. Mario's having trouble getting away. Come on, Alario. You can do it. I'm getting overrun over here. Am I going to lose this? I think I might lose this battle as well. Oh my god. Legend of Total Fail here. I think I might lose this battle. Man, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Holy shit. I think I'm going to lose this battle. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I should have gone after Mazda Mundi. We just uh, attacked on all sides here. And our guys just aren't seemingly firing very quick. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Man, I'm doing a bad job today. Holy fuck. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. I am doing a bad job today. Another winnable battle, basically lost. Maybe fast protection could lessen the damage in the Ice Wolves. That's not the problem here. The problem here is the rest of the army failed. Yeah, I just straight up failed. Another, another fucking defeat. I'm gonna have to concede defeat before my entire army. I'm gonna have to disband the entire army. Yeah, I just lost it. <laughs> Where, what the hell am I doing today? Where's the corner camp? The corner camp was bad because there were trees in the way. Damn. Well, this is nothing compared to the Tyrion campaign. Um, I guess. Just two bad defeats in a row. Rip the sisters. That's okay, we can replace them. Spent any magic in that caravan battle? Yeah. Two defeats in a row. I know! What the hell? What's going on here? What did they take? Okay, that's a shit item. Man, I did terrible there. Well, I might as well just disband that, because... That'll never survive the end turn. I'll just have to recruit from scratch. Well, 
that puts me in a bit of a pickle. Made your morning coffee? No, no. I'm having it now. Alright. Time to wake up. What the hell was that? That was a shit couple of turns there. Well, actually, that was just one turn. That was a shit couple of battles. Alright, no more, no more, no more faffing about. Alright, let's have a look here. Be ready for anything. Uh, okay, so I was gonna build artillery here. But since they're recruiting, I'm going to have to siege it the old-fashioned way. Because what I can do is capture that and then recruit artillery. Because that is an easy settlement to attack. They're not going to sally out. Not even a couple of spears. Nah, spears wouldn't have helped. Nah. Spears, spears are useless. Absolutely useless on legendary difficulty. Oh, sorry, very hard battle difficulty. Completely useless. Alright, this one here is just protecting um, this area. But uh, just get some more archers if we can. Alright, am I constructing stuff that maybe I don't need to? They're so... Oh my god, look, look at what we brought them down to. Imagine that, the whole day yesterday, no defeats. It was all going well. Wake up today. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just tank the campaign. <laughs> Alright, no more no more bullshit. Let's let's get to it. It's bad that I was a non-believer because archers wouldn't beat more order champion anyway. Um Marauders can sorry, archers can beat Marauder Champions, but there's various things that you need to do. You have to keep the Marauder Champions busy. We went too wide in that battle. Um, we went too wide. The artillery didn't do enough damage. Um, Alariel didn't keep enough units distracted. And they ripped right through us too quickly. A lot of our units got pinned down. I should have gone uh, really thicker on the checkerboard. I think that battle was winnable. I just I made the wrong play. That's all. That happens. From my point of view, you did this on purpose to reset Alaria with a stack of sisters. I'm not going to recruit a stack of sisters. Not yet. We don't have the money for it. Illyrian going for the gate. That's okay. I don't need the gate. Alright. But the problem with that defeat is that um, we've lost a lot of our momentum against the Lizards. Hopefully Mazda Mundi comes over here and takes Skeggy, but it's more likely that he'll attack me. See, this this one here is mostly Alarial strips that we had from the beginning. If we had used them, we might have won the battle because their firing rate and melee defense is a lot higher. Melee attack doesn't matter. And also there's this one here. She could have really helped. Um, it just, yeah, it just wasn't enough. Alright, we could probably get away with an order resolve. We'll replenish really quickly, and there's no other forces going to attack us here. Lost or battle. We have captured it. Alright, uh, yeah, I need this. This one here doesn't get immortality. They used their wolves well? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll get the better of them eventually, but yeah, it's just a little bit of a setback. Same thing with this. Alright, now I believe I was trying to get a confederation with Yvress. Okay, it's available. Uh, this confederation will give us a lot of money to finance some better, well, some more troops. Okay, they got all these settlements to tier 3, that's good. Yep, let's make this confederation happen. Pretty sure the public order will be fine.
Okay, let's have a look here. Master of high magic. Ooh, those are really good. What if I use this to fight and colonize up this way? Oh, we don't have military access on Safari? Oh, shit. What do you see? They may have refuge. Now he's slowing us down. Ever on. I see the winds. Destiny yeah. The garrison at Torsoroi will be able to sort this out. Uh, where did the rest of the armies go? Because obviously I can't afford them. I await your command. Destruction. Oh, here's one. Okay, here's Eltharion. Alright, Eltharion's army is nothing special. Uh, they were not taken up. Oh, look, oh Mo okay. Corone was defeated by Bretonia. Um, let's have a look at how he's been leveled up. Uh, this isn't so bad. I usually put two points into Apotheosis. So he's had eight points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, no wasted points. But yeah, we can't really afford this army, so I need to kick it out. He's got the Weight Watcher trait, so he defeated Grom. Oh, hang on. This might be... I was hoping for some money. Alright, well, we're still in the red, so we've got to get rid of some units. Alright, get rid of the Silver and Guard. They're expensive trash. Alright, they're going to be annoyed at me for trespassing. Have you ever tried Treatment Stack with Ilariel? Does she get good enough buffs with them? I have tried it before. I didn't really like it as much as the Wood Elf Stack. But you definitely can do it. Yeah, Knights of Torgavile are really good, but money is a bit tight. Especially considering we need to restore another army. Okay, here's what I'm thinking we do. Bring this army to about here. Just transfer them in here. Get rid of this one. And I'll put this one in ambush stance. And if Mazda Mundi comes swinging around here, we can attack him. And force march Tyrion over to assist. And if this one comes up here, our chance of ambushing is only 45% actually. Let's see if we can find a better spot. No, it's all considered 45%. Alright, well then just stay on the absolute the corner there. Marches. Mm, I can't go into ambush dance now, but that's actually fine. I'll just... That way I can recruit. Because we saved some money there. We'll see what they get up to. Now you have a gate to farm influence. I can't farm influence on a ruin. Alright, that looks like an easy order resolve. I'll win. I always do. Yeah, it's fine. New masters, welcome. Because what I'll do now is just put this in here. That'll give us a bunch of replenishment. Alright, let's merge a archer unit there. And merge another few of them. Glory awaits. And some more. Cool. Alright, Imric will have to run around with this for a little bit.
That stream you linked yesterday, someone paid her $500, it was crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, good for her. Damn, 500 Um, okay. Too many armies active. This one's job is just to go and recolonize this. I'm not going to go colonize Tor and Lek. I feel like Kreis can handle that. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself for those two defeats. Oh, well, what are you going to do? There's always a degree of pressure on the campaign until you get your first defeat. Once you've had your first defeat, it's like, ah, oh, it's not a perfect campaign. Oh, well, I'm not going to try as hard now. Uh, actually, I think we should go with public order here because it does look like it'll fall to pieces quickly if we don't. Do you think Miss Walkers are good? Uh, the missile Miss Walkers are good. The melee one's not so good. Champion of the Ever Queen. All right, what am I doing now? True magic. So next turn we'll hit here. I don't think we'll be able to reach it. We usually can't reach from here to there straight away. Uh, get rid of this. We need to build untainted. Alright, go with that. Figure something out. Okay, reducing the cost of construction is really good. Uh, we should also have a look at... Ivres here. What can we get rid of? So, Trilinia, I think, is pretty safe. We can get rid of that. Elasi is safe. We... Don't build that. Don't build that there. Don't build that. And... Yeah, let's get the growth going. Those guys there could be a problem. Might have to sort them out at some point. Alright, I think that's all I can do this turn. Yeah, I think this one here is just far enough away that this one here can attack, but Mazda Mundi can't. So if they come over here, right, this one might make the attack, and I'll just withdraw, and then Mazda Mundi stuck there, right? And then we bring in Tyrion, and launch the attack with both of them out in the field. Anyway, let's move on. What was your favorite faction back in Warhammer 1? Um, I didn't really have a favorite faction. I didn't play a whole lot of Warhammer 1. Alright, yeah, they are going to make this attack. Oh, no, they're not. That's fine. Lyle treatment stack is viable, I think. Yeah, I said it was viable, it's just not what I prefer to do. The mistress of the undying forest. I don't think a military alliance is useful to keep it at defensive. I am the bright flower. Defensive alliance with them could be good. Okay, Safari managed to essentially defeat the cult of pleasure, although I think she's still around a little bit, but I don't think she's got any territory. I'll accept this defensive alliance with Tyrannoch. I think that'd be good. <laughs> and they die in a whimper. Alright, at least that gets rid of the blood voyage for the time being. I think Kreis went and occupied the gate. Oh, mighty lord. 
The fates have surely selected you for greatness. They did. All right, that's fine. I'll just get it when I confederate them. Fine, you protect this shit then. <laughs> There's no um, economic value to us. All right, let's get rid of this. We don't need it. I know it's got the Knights of Torgaval, um, but it's crippling my economy right now. But they're all just crippling my economy. Look, look how much money I make with that gone. Um, as for Cavill, I don't really need him. I'll just keep him here though for the time being. Just keep an eye on things. So what's going on with the Cult of Pleasure? She, she should have no territory. Yeah, she doesn't. Kind of surprised they stood there. They've got garrison forces that will come in to reinforce. If I'm not mistaken... That dude came over here and smashed Mazda Mundi. Yeah, I think he did. I never tire. Servant of the king. Yeah, we need we need more public order up in here. There's still some provincial instability, so that'll go away. And obviously a lot of corruption and events. Got this. Oh, that'll go away next turn, that's good. I bring Azurian's fire. Now my confidence is shot. I'm not sure if I should make that attack. Could hire some Regiment of Renown. Let's see, they got 12 plus 7, 19 units. We got 17 units. It all just depends on the map when dealing with the Lizardmen. Alright, if I have this one here, I, I can give it a shot. If we lose, oh well, these things happen. Alright, we should be okay to deal with Red Crested Skinks because they are not armoured. Uh, it also depends on the map, right. They've also got this, but since we don't have artillery, that's the main thing. Okay, this is actually a good map. All right, let's, let's do with that. Uh, what Warhammer 2 factions do you think still need to rework? Lizardmen? Probably Lizardmen, yeah. Hey Legion, I don't know if you checked Cinch campaign after patch 1.2. I'm in turn 60-ish. There are some upgrades on the tech tree that make Kairos regen mana like crazy. Um, I haven't checked Cinch. Um, patch 1.2 didn't really do much for me. Um, so... I'm just gonna not really look into it that much right now. I'm, I'm still just waiting for Immortal Empires. Yeah. I don't really care about whatever new changes are coming with Warhammer 3 right now. There's just not that much interest. And to be honest, I'm not really that interested in Warhammer 3 right now. You know, CA's kind of killed my interest in it. I'd actually much rather play Warhammer 2. Once Immortal Empires comes out, you know, I'll definitely dive back in. But, you know, I'll do the odd disaster battle of whatever else gets sent in. But uh, for the most part... Uh, I, I can't say I'm really that interested in Warhammer 3 right now. Redemption time. Uh, we didn't lose any battles against Lizardman. I lost against Skeggy. Okay, I'm going to try to squeeze through here. See if we can get some of their units to chase after me. No, I did not fit in. Get out. Yeah, the fact that their reinforcements are um, delayed like this, not delayed, but they're not coming in all together, that's really bad for them. Gotta get some of these guys to go backwards. There we go, that worked. Now. 
See if we can get these guys' attention here. Regiment of Renown are holding the line. Really well, actually. There's big clumps of them there. I want to try firing a boat IRL. I actually just started getting into archery. I do it um, every Tuesday, so I'll actually be doing it tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. Firing a bow. I learnt that I am right-handed, but I'm actually left-eyed, which is very bad for archery. But I'm still, I'm still pretty accurate, despite that. Because everyone's got a, a dominant like hand, but also a dominant eye, and your dominant hand should be your whatever. So, for example, if you're right-handed, you should look out your right eye. But I'm left-eyed, so. <laughs> I can't, um, can't close my right eye and, and aim. I'm off. So, it's a, a bit of a struggle working with that. Can you fire a longbow? I only just started, dude. <laughs> no. Uh, Flying Dutchman did a $2 dollars shout. Compound or recurve? It's a... I think it's a recurve bow. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not sure. It's just a training bow. Alright, there's the army losses. Good stuff. Uh, a bit of damage, but Regiment of Renown getting killed is really no big deal, because we just disband them and get them back in a few turns anyway. If we won't even want to do that. Legolas cosplay went. Yeah, I'm not at that stage. At your current archery capabilities, what unit would you be? Uh, let's see, we just started shooting at 12 meters? I think we started shooting at 12 meters. So what would that be in terms of... So if I was an archer, at the front line here, and I was shooting at the target, my target would be about here. And I can pretty much hit the 9 or 10 most of the time. So, at that range, that would give me the range of a skink, <laughs> skink javelin. Yeah. But then again, they, we just haven't tried shooting super long distance, so... Goblin archer? No, it's even shorter range than that. No, I'd have like a, a range of 70. But, like, I'm accurate at that range. So, we'll see. I've only, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, if it was, like, if I was like, had, like, 180 range, I'd be super inaccurate at that range. Is archery even considered an exercise? I know shooting a bunch of arrows after another can be difficult. It's not like cardio. Does this legend not live in Australia? I do live in Australia, yeah. Alright, cool. That worked out pretty well. Our first victory of today! <laughs> they can serve the I'll take tower. the replenishment. Led by the winds. 
Oh, I don't have enough movement. What do you require? Oh, I thought I'd have enough movement to get him. Guess not. Uh, Sami Ratilanen did a became a member for twelve months. Archery stream went. Excuse me, just kidding. Glad you've gotten archery. It's real fun. All right, thanks, dude. Yeah, it's just just a hobby. Me and my wife are doing it just for as a hobby, not for any real reason. There, I must go. You know, she's like, you need to get out of the house more. I'm like, no. She's like, what about archery? And I'm like, mm, I'll give that a shot. All right, well, we sh should be able to handle this next turn. Protector of the Ever Queen. Master of Imric. Enough for today. All right, yeah, public order here is so bad, but there's definitely going to be a revolt. We haven't met them yet, have we? No, we really don't want to meet them right away. That would be a mistake. Dragon Prince. And that gives us a chance to get some more recovery going. Okay, and then over here, I can't build walls, so might as well build growth. Is archery in real life as OP as in Worma 2? Archery in real life is just a hobby. We're not aiming at real targets. Shall we see how we get leveraging a replica bow of Lauren for his archery practice? I, I don't want anything from CA. Um. Cool. We got a bunch of settlements at tier four. That's good. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get uh, all these settlements fully developed. Alright, let's see here. Next one to confederate, I think we should do Safari, but we want to get this at least at tier 4, which they should be able to do within the next few turns. Alright, if that's the case, I should probably... Uh, we don't want them cancelling their agreements with us. Ten influence. You are no friend of the Phoenix Court. So what's their what's their fucking problem? So great power, aversion. Oh my great power penalty went up, that's what. Yeah, trespasses, that's not my fault. Um Right, they're angry with a lot of others. Okay, how are we gonna deal with it? And they're aggressive. Let me just see if I can get them to go to war with... Nope. Okay, yeah, we should definitely confederate them next. They're not going to be helpful. Uh, I may need to try to uh, give them a few gifts. So let me see if I can pull some money out of something that wasn't needed. Desperately. No, that's not essential right now. I do enjoy a gift is worth... Nah, I'll use influence. Ugh, expensive. But that should be enough to get us pretty close to Confederation. I might need to establish some more diplomatic agreements with them. Once the confederation penalty goes away, that'll obviously make a big difference. It's okay. It's not urgent. 
steady hand and pop. Okay, don't notify me about every hero not moved. You can get dies at Elise. Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. You are right. Um, which ones does dies do? Income from entertainment buildings. Yeah, we should probably do that. Um, I'm just a little bit short of money. Okay, how about we cancel that? And that way I can build this over here as well. Okay, that's good. Okay, still got a little bit more money. How am I able to rebuild that? I just cancelled it. Uh, I must have something that's reducing construction cost. Well, good. Let's do that. Oh, right. The edict. Right. Okay. And let's move on. What is your opinion on Black Ark? Sorry, Black Orc Big Boss Hero. He's okay. Okay at best. Beg for money? Mm, yeah, I could probably get a little bit out of um, Illyrian. Not much. There's still enemy army in Ulthuan. Isn't that in the north of Ulthuan, though? That's not my problem. <laughs> Is Tekla still alive? I didn't check. Let's have a look. Yeah, he'd be right at the very start. Let's have a look. He's still alive. Yep. Yeah, we probably should make our way down to go and meet him. Could I ask about Medieval 2? What the benefit of converting castle into town? Should I do that every time or not worth it? Oh, you definitely should not do that. Okay, so think of it like this. Um, castles are military. They're easy to defend, and that's where you'll get all of your best troops, but they don't make as much money as cities. So cities um, will make you way more money. They also have way harder to maintain public order. Yeah, they did get smashed there. Um, but that's where you're going to make your cash. So you need to have a balance between cities and castles. Yeah, if you just go one or the other, you will stifle yourself. Oh, wow, double failure. Okay, well, whatever. Magic in purest form. The Phoenix Court I've been looking for. I really want to hit Skeggy before Ziggurat of Dawn, but I <laughs> don't want to lose <laughs> two armies. Uh, I feel like this army is stronger than... Alariel's was though because we've got this handmaid in here. I can do a lot with her and uh, These units are just way more experienced. It does make a big difference uh, I'm gonna stand here. I think he does have an army like somewhere in the vicinity We do have lightning strike, right? Yeah It's just that He's just not a threat right now And Skeggy is actually more dangerous than the lizards at least at this point all right, we can take Swamp Town. Bring the winds of magic. It's okay, I don't want that one anymore anyway. I claim it for How long is the Cetra Domination Campaign? The full map completion? It went on for a while. I bring Azurian's fire. Limitless talent. So this army here will transfer back to Alariel when the time comes. Let's get rid of stuff that we maybe... Yeah, get rid of the Regiment of Renown. And let's start replacing the units. 
So I don't have access to Sisters of Avalon yet. No, I don't need that. Weaver of spells. We don't have any resistant handmaidens. That would have saved us there as well. Oh, yeah, we got shit coming in. Maybe a Lariel might be needed here. Maybe I should give this to Eltharion. Because Alariel would be good here because of um, her growth producing abilities. It would be good to get more growth up in there quicker. Glory awaits. Followed. They will know Kalador's name. Have you been defeated yet? Yeah, I suffered uh, two defeats in a row, actually. Yeah, I suffered a defeat. Both silly defeats as well. It happens. Both winnable battles. Just got overconfident. It happens. Uh, okay, go with the public order first. Alright, we are stripping away the corruption a little bit. It's going up to 81%, but public order is still pretty bad. But we do still have the confederation penalty. I probably shouldn't tax the region. Greatest of the dragon princes. Yeah, because we want to try to maintain this. As soon as we meet them, they're likely to declare war on us. Like, straight away. What higher faction is the best? You could argue Nagareth, or you could argue Yvres, you could argue Tyrion. Really, any of them you could argue, except for... Um, you. It's hard to argue Order of Lawmasters. Their start position is just too unfavorable. Public order there looks like it's maintaining. That's good. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, do that one. Uh, is he at war with Nagarath? Uh, Nagaron? Yeah, he is. Okay. Okay. So let's see about getting some money. What would you wish to discuss? Unwise. I will see to it. Your bet. The Phoenix King welcomes all. I agree. I will receive your petition in the name of the Phoenix misguided. If you wish. Cool. Yeah, we got a little bit out of them. Not of greetings. I swear. Yes. You may I've heard tales of your valor. Let us sit absurd. Okay, cool. That might be enough to purchase one more building somewhere. Could you do one more Kislev campaign when the new patch comes out, just the once? Mm, probably not. No. What, what for, dude? What for? Valiant. There will be carnage. Cool. You have a proposal for the assault. Alright, well at least I've got allies protecting the north of Orthwan here, and there's only one settlement that isn't controlled by High Elves, I believe. Oh, we need to start advancing this stuff here. These technologies are not important. That one would be good though. We will drive the Lustrians back. Okay, money's looking much better now. That's good. Son of the Phoenix. There's probably Oh no no. If this expires soon, we might be able to get through this without a revolt there. Bring down the canvas! Yeah. Okay, moving on. Does asking for money not cause diplomatic issues at all? No.
Is there any way for me to wipe out chaos in one turn with the Empire? I'm currently standing on the place where they spawn, but the army just takes too much attrition. Then go into encamp stance or raid stance. You'll stop taking attrition. Anybody have an opinion on if the modding community seems slow in Warhammer 3 as opposed to Warhammer 2? Uh, I don't think so, but I haven't been paying any attention to it. That's something you should probably ask um, Great Book of Grudges. He's heavily involved with the modding side of things. Oh, what are they doing? I think Tyrannoch is trying to chase down... Marathi, wherever she went, but I'm pretty sure all she got is a black arc. Okay, looks like we will have to deal with this. Um, because yeah, I can't imagine that gate is going to hold them. So, Alariel is still okay, she's got one turn away, but we can start recruiting the army and just transfer her in. But yeah, we're gonna need to rapidly recruit. Because it'll still take them a few turns to get down here. Uh, Cavill, you can be attached at the last moment. Good thing we didn't disband you. Alright, looking at, over here, there are eight units in here. Okay, so that's less than what we had to deal with last time. <laughs> I really want to get rid of Skeggy. Okay. Okay. How should we do this? I think we should just go straight for the city. Don't worry about this one here. There are no levels up that I desperate. Oh, getting a level up. Hang on. How much damage are we likely to take if we fight that? Practically none. And it could give us a chance to get just a tiny bit of ex experience. I'll definitely fight it. But we got to fight this manually. And make sure that the fast units don't reach us. Yeah, time to get our revenge. For you, does start position matter the most, or is it the same in Legendary? Um, it d doesn't matter the most. It it just matters um, if you want to rank like the strongest factions. When you've got a faction that starts off in a terrible start position, like Imric, it just takes longer to get the stuff that you want. Like Imric's a very powerful faction, but you start off in a terrible position because you're completely isolated from the rest of Ulthuan. One of the strongest factions in the game is actually Tyrion. Not for any specific reason like his faction is particularly strong, but simply because um, his start position, he starts off in Etain, right? Um, in Lothurn, which is the fastest to get moving. You get the most amount of build slots, you get the most amount of money. The starting enemy is super easy. It uh, You have Grom right next to you. So even though Tyrion's bonuses are not, you know, nothing special, doesn't have amazing campaign mechanics, He's able to get up and running really, really quickly. And that's where all the value comes in. You know? Like, Nagareth, for example, is arguably the strongest high elf faction. But it's not the easiest start position because you start off with uh, Arnheim. And it's just not a rich territory. And you have to deal with Chaos Worshippers straight away. And loads of Dark Elves. But he's arguably the st strongest. If you had a Lithanar start in um, Etain instead of Tyrion, he would easily be better than Tyrion. Easily. Because, yeah, don't underestimate the power of a strong start. That's one of the problems with Skaven, actually. It's very difficult to take a lot of territory early, and if you do take a lot of territory early, you are usually spent... It fucks you over in the long run, because every region costs you food, doesn't generate you any food, um, and doesn't make you any money, and is difficult to defend. So that's why you got to generate the food first, and build them straight up to tier 3 or 5, if it's a minor city or major city, respectively. Lust for battle. Heir of a 
You could have reduced the recruitment cost. Oh man, don't nitpick. It's like, it would have been by, what, 3%? That's just nitpicking. Oh, I didn't do a good cast there. Yeah, that's a degree of nitpicking that even I'm, I would say is, like, pointless. It would have saved me, what, 50 gold? Who cares, man? Uh, Oris104, became a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. It's not like I'm recruiting dragons. I'm just recruiting archers. I see what you're trying to do there. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Yeah, generally speaking, if you're a rich race, reducing recruitment costs is a low-value skill. It's not important. Alright, that's good. Managed to hold them back. So like I said, archers can beat Marauder Champions if you're able to do things to uh, get them to derp out, which we just, we couldn't really do that with Hilariel because she's flying. Kind of actually need someone on the ground here. See, when they got their backs turned, they're no value. Alright, looks like we're going to get through this without taking a single casualty, which is good. Tiny little bit of damage on them, but that's okay. Your commentary on jungle vikings? These guys? Um, they get mega cheats, so they're usually quite a threat, and they get marauder champions very early on, and they spam them. So, they're a pain in the ass, but if you were to play as them, you'd probably get wiped out pretty early. And it's not worth coming over here as... Wolfric or Throg, just to get the city. Unless you've already conquered all of Ulth 1. Seems like Warhammer 3 sucks. The poop goblins or whatever are a bit much. Uh, Warhammer 3 does not suck. Um, as a standalone game. Y you gotta understand something that Total War Warhammer 1, 2, and 3 are the same game. They offer the same gameplay, right? Now, whenever a new iteration of Total War Warhammer comes out, it has to be better than the previous one in order for it to succeed. And Warhammer 3 didn't do that. It's not that Warhammer 3 is bad, it's that it didn't it didn't beat the current version of Warhammer 2. Warhammer 2 has better UI, uh, it runs better on most systems, not all. Um, it has more playable factions, it has a way better campaign mechanic, it has access to, immortal, uh, to, to mortal empires. Um, and so the, it's not that Warhammer 3 sucks, it's just that it doesn't offer as much as Warhammer 2. Uh, Release them. For my queen. Ridiculous. Protector of the Everqueen. I could let Marathi reoccupy this, just blow it up. The Azure have triumphed. Do not order me. Nah, nah, it'll be fine, just get rid of her. Alright. Round two. Wait, did we get 
Did I put the skill point into something? Araya. Yeah, the whole point of fighting that battle was to get this. Kill them. That makes sense, yeah. Oh wow, that one point made a big difference here. I can auto-resolve it. I definitely shouldn't auto-resolve it, but I could. This is curious. Um, I will lightning strike them, because last time, they just fought to the fucking death. Which was better than when it first came out, 2 or 3? Oh, look, it's really hard to remember what it was like with the launch of Warhammer 2, because I really wasn't invested in it at all. I Like, even if you go back and watch my review, I even said I'm not really going to play this game very much, which is fucking ironic now. Um, Warhammer 2, when it first came out, was not that great. Um, it got built up over time, but you got, again, you got to keep in mind that Warhammer 1, 2, and 3 are the same game. They're built on top of each other. Um, see, I don't like this. This corner camp here is not good. And this one here is even worse. There's too many trees in the way there. So once again, we do need to stay it here. Um, yeah, so Warhammer 2 was... Like, if you compare Launch Warhammer 2 with Launch Warhammer 3, then Launch Warhammer 3 is probably better. But the, the problem here is that they don't exist at the same time, right? People don't care about Launch Warhammer 2. They care about current version of Warhammer 2 because that's what you're able to play. Um, it shall be done! But yeah, um, current version of Warhammer 2 is better than current version of Warhammer 3. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, some people will prefer Warhammer 3 over Warhammer 2. It's completely split the player base. Completely split the player base. Good job, CA. Because, like, one of the great things about streaming Warhammer 2 for as long as we have is that, for the most part, the community has been united as, um, just everyone wants to play Warhammer 2. But it's just not the case now. Now it's Warhammer 2 versus Warhammer 3. It shouldn't be that way. Alright, I think this is a better formation than what we had last time. It'll be more difficult for them to just rip through us quickly. You definitely need to go harass. Same thing with you. And these need to move back a little bit. Warhammer 3 is basically early access. Yeah, I guess. That, that, it's not supposed to be, but that's what it feels like. I get it. Do you like doing minor cinema battles, or do you prefer doing open field? I, I don't really care. I don't mind minor city battles. But I, th I think what it comes down to is that... There should be a variety of them. And what ends up happening is that you just solely end up doing minor city battles, like, over and over and over again. Where... You should fight... Yeah, there just should be a, a, a variation of battles. That's that's the problem with Warhammer 3, I think. That formation seems susceptible to flanking. I know, but there's nothing I can do about it. I can't go further back. There's no time, because we need to start shooting right away. Okay, we've got to try to delay them. Their approach as much as possible. So what I'm doing here with Tyrion is being as annoying as possible to their backline, trying to do what I did with Alariel, but just trying to do a little bit better job. 
Yeah, they've got more units chasing after us. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yep, chase after me. That's fine. If you can catch me, good for you. Just puts less pressure on the archers here. We're still going to get caught in melee. But we should be okay. Yeah, this formation is pretty good. He's got the Heart of Avalon, so he'll be fine. And this is where checkerboard formation shines. See how they're just not locking down the other units here? That's what we needed to see. Unit's getting wrecked. Uh, try to get this one out. Don't want to lose its experience. But this looks like it'll be the effective end of Skeggy. So Tyrion did a great job of tanking there. Held back a lot of units. And there we go. Okay, that unit just managed to survive there. Everyone stop firing. We don't need to run any of them down. Although, it would be better. This is, this is going to be a bit weird. Stop. It would be in our best interest to hit Tyrion a little bit with the artillery. This might seem weird. But the purpose of this is so that we activate the Heart of Avalon, because we'll end up with more health if we do this. So we need to drop below 20% health, which is one a, a little bit less than 1,000 hit points. There we go, there we go, that's enough. Boom. <laughs> You can play fair and lower difficulties and it should be better. Just play however you want. If you, I, I don't know why people want to play fair against the AI. But, you know, you, just, you do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not looking for a fair fight. <laughs> yeah, and neither is the AI, actually. The AI is real cowards. Um, tempting to loot it, but we don't want to cause public order problems, so this I'll just um, occupy it. We should be okay. We'll get a lot of replenishment. Um, it's just a matter of whether or not we're going to get attacked over the end turn here. Which we definitely will, by them. I don't know about um, this one here. Yeah, that seems like that could be quite helpful. Yeah, essentially knock off a supply line. High Elven Archmage. Alright, I saw the lizards run down here. Oh, there. Trained by the White Tower. So what we'll do here is go into ambush stance, expecting them to come at us. Alright, I need someone to go and uh, ruin dwell this. I think our next target should be 
vampire pirates. So we'll need to go and um, keep an eye on them. Specifically over at Monument of the Moon. I will move momentarily. All right, how's the public order looking here? Uh, it's positive, which is good, considering we've got confederation penalties still going on. You may look upon me. Dragon Prince. Okay. Under her protection. So we use her to get an idea of what's coming at us. This is my destiny. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Is it? Sorry, it's because sieging is so boring. I don't like automatically getting capital cities by dodging tower shots and then shipping their defenses apart piece by piece over the walls. Uh, yeah, I I feel you, dude. But um, you know that is what sieges were. History as well. You know, uh, sieges are, were shit affairs from a historical point of view. They weren't glorious charges. You know, straight as soon as the army reaches, they were. Fucking slogs, day after day of attack the wall, retreat, attack the wall, retreat, attack the wall, retreat, try and sneak in, try and starve them out, throw shit over there at walls, S poison, poison the water. It was, like, disgustingly dishonorable fighting sieges. Um, that's just what they were like, you know? The way I look at sieges is that sieges are shit, one way or another. There's shit to go through, but you get a prize at the end. That's why that's why people did it. But yeah, um, if you look if you look from a historical point of view, like you can't possibly think any commander was like, "Yay, siege time! We're gonna have a siege." They're like, "Fuck me, fucking siege!" <laughs> you know? Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Maiden of the Ever Queen. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. You know, and you know, a lot of the time, uh, you know, really good commanders, they would find a way around. Uh, fighting the siege honorably, uh, they'd you know try and sneak in via the back day, uh, back gate, um, bribe the city guards, um, bribe the governor, you know, protect, you know, just find some way to get in sneakily. Um, there's loads of examples in history of like historical generals that captured cities quickly by doing something extremely dirty. It's just what how sieges are. And that's fine if you don't want to do that, but just expect to get fucking annihilated. That's all. Expect to lose half your army in the process. That's just what sieges were like. There's really no way for CA to develop a game with, like, some semblance of a siege where the attacker is going to be benefiting from being honorable. There's just no way to do it. You know? They're just downright dishonorable affairs. And this is, there's just no getting around it. Okay, over here. Fallen Gates. We can get rid of that. And let's go with growth. Public order. If we loot this, that might be okay if we swing around. I think I'd rather it not revolt. Build a giant horse to hide in. Yeah, exactly. Could you imagine at Troy. Hey, what are you doing? That's cheese. You're not allowed to do that. You have to wait outside the walls while we shoot you. I often think to Scipio Africanus's uh, attack on um, Nova Carthago when he invaded um, Iberia, where his initial attack uh, failed but he saw that there was a weakness with the tides. Waited for nighttime, wait for the tide to come down. And attacked via, because of low tide or high tide. I can't remember the exact details. But used the weather to his advantage and uh, tricked the enemy into putting all the defenses in one area and then attacked them from another area. 
Yeah. History doesn't remember the general that threw 90% of his forces up on the walls and lost the battle. They're seen as idiots. Alright, we're done here. Moving on. They could make the siege equipment better. They could. They absolutely could. But you'd, you'd still... You'd still look for dirty tactics. You, you're absolutely right. Sieges and rams are lame. Butt ladders are lame. You're absolutely right about that. But the more tools that you give the player to... Oh, I got you. The more tools you give the player, the more opportunity that you'll have to fuck them over. I mean, just look at Medieval 2. There are loads of tools that you have at uh, sieging. Um... And you can do some downright dirty things in sieges. Like, think about what I did in Medieval 2, right? Um, in one of my sieges the other day. When we were playing in Scotland. I had one battering ram and I came at the settlement. And they burnt down my ram. And all I had was ladders, but they had too many infantry up on the wall. I knew that putting my infantry up on the wall wasn't going to win. So I used my crossbow from a blind spot from the towers to shoot into their, um... Into the people standing in the town square. They got so pissed off at me shooting at them that they charged out. At which point I charged my cavalry at those units charging out, smashed them, captured the gate because they opened the gate, and then just flooded into the city. Yeah. Hey, you can't do that! You know, but I did. Just use, just... Give the player more tools, you can come up with more things like that. You, you can't really do that in Warhammer 3, because of the gate bug. You know, if the enemy comes out, it leaves the gate open, you, you can't actually go in there. But then again, any unit with... Any unit can break down the walls. Uh, a gate, I mean. A Pyrrhic victory is named after Pyrrhus, though. Okay, that's a little bit different, though, because you are right, you are right about that, but Pyrrhus wasn't necessarily bad at commanding, right? He was very, very good. He just went up against very good opponents. He just didn't go up against morons, you know? No one in history ran in circles to waste enemy ammo. Ah! That's where you're wrong! Okay? That's where you're wrong. Well, sort of. Okay. Um, for one thing, this is a fantasy game. You can't do that in historical Total War games. Um, look at the Battle of Carre. Not really wasting enemy ammo, but like complete harassment of an, of an army. Yeah, but nobody casted Flamestorm on top of the walls. No. Th these things don't apply exactly in history. It's just the... the um, uh, it's the principles behind them, such as, you know, wasting enemy ammunition, that kind of stuff. If the enemy's going to fall for a trap, um, do it. Alexander did that kind of stuff all the time. Unapologetically. Carry on. Eagle claw. Heir of Anarian. Alexander the Great. More like Alexander the Cheeser. Am I right? <laughs> Sorry. Oda Nobunaga was also a historical cheese master. I'm not super familiar with what exactly he did, um, but yeah. So yeah, just don't don't get hung up on this whole fight honorably shit. I mean, it's fine if you, if that's just what you want to play, but don't get any delusions that that's what happened in real life because it's not, not even close. Anybody that had that mentality usually got their ass handed to them pretty bloody quickly. Just look at Agincourt. <laughs> look at us, we fight with the honor. <laughs> Did not do go well for them. Of 
Darn you English. Why you oh wait, I'm using the wrong accent. Why you no fight with honor? Oh man. I didn't want them to attack this unit here. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. The Mongols use hit and run tactics relentlessly. Yep. Yep. Wolf well, back then wasn't like what you see in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Well, yeah, they they sh the movies show it that way because that's what's entertaining, you know. Yeah, whatever. We play Warhammer Three again when Mortal Empires is released. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm I'm mainly just waiting for Immortal Empires. Enslave them. Okay. So the Cult of Pleasure is gone now. We didn't get to farm them. We didn't get to farm Marathi. I, I defeated her with one character. Alariel. Alariel's back. Okay, and if we have a look over here. They've captured the Phoenix Gate. Oh, shit. They can actually reach... No way. How the fuck do they reach all the way down here? You seek illumination? Ever on. Hang on. I don't know if this will work. Where's freaking R button? It's so freaking dark. Okay. Seeking truth. The goddess forbid you. I don't think that's gonna work. Speak. Wending my way. Wait. <laughs> It worked. Oh my god. Cavill has blocked them from coming down here. It buys me a bit more time. It's blocked me from coming over there as well. Alright, get Alariel out. Where is she? Oh, we got some administrators. Uh, could get Lothar and Seaguard, but at the same time, I'm not rolling around in cash. Two artillery is enough. Queen. I may need to just fill it up with um Um what's it called? Um Regiment of Renown, if I've got any. Traveler. You're an what Asser. Have you with the Asser of Ulfwan? My great power penalty keeps going up. Champion of the Ever Queen. Not a chance. Tyrion. If I attack him, I probably won't have enough movement to get to Ziggurat of Dawn. Have you heard of the Varus battle? Dude literally told Varus where the Germans were assembling, only to ambush him himself. Yeah, yeah, Arminius, yeah. Yeah. Of the king. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Protector. Uh, what I could do with this dude... How many units do I have in here at Skeggy? Okay, what I could do is actually just leave a single lord there to um, repel him. Because I need to, I need to attack this now before they recover. Oh, 
one. I am ready to fight. How many defeats do they have? We got two. A glorious victory. Defender of Oh wow, decisive defeat. Ah, victory I mean. Cool, if no units are gonna get wiped out, then fuck it, let's do it. Because our replenish rate's really good. This place is ours. Alright, that is the effective end of Mazda Mundi, because he has no territory left now. This guy will just make the attack and then that'll just be the end of it. Uh, we need to make sure we put a Lord here. On very hard battle difficulty, I'm not confident that he could actually even beat that Lord there. The Asser of Troubles! Fuck it, here you go. Alright, I can't put him inside the settlement, but that's okay. Alright, there's some Regiment of Renown, but I might need them next turn, so... Um, I'm fairly confident if this one attacks, we'll be able to beat it. Fairly confident. Okay. There will be no cold order. Be prepared, Asser. Uh, Providence did a five dollar super chat. Hi, Legend. Never get to catch you live because of work, but I watch most of your vods. Are YouTube premium views good for your channel? Uh, YouTube. Uh, yes. Oh my god. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. I have just too many thoughts at once. Um, YouTube premium is ideal for me. Honestly, if more people got YouTube Premium, that'd be better <laughs> for me. So yes, very, very good. YouTube Premium looks after me for sure. Ogres, no, no, we can manage. It's only two units and the Lord. And we've got um, horse archers in here at Skeggy. Even if they're damaged. Nah, we should be fine. We, we got enough. Just trying to think what to do with this one. I definitely want to go after them next. But it might be a good idea for me to go and grab this. The problem here is that can I beat it with a basic army? Because that could have fucking three... Um, hang on, let me just see. Do we have another legendary lord available? Altharian's available next turn. Magic in purest form. Oh, it'd be so embarrassing to lose against that. But it's just a basic army. I definitely can lose. And you're nothing special. Well, get rid of this first. I'll get you two premium then. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, if you are looking to support the channel, and you don't want a super chat, or become a member, one of the best ways you can support the channel, and you watch a lot of my videos, is actually just getting YouTube Premium. Or if you've got, um... Like, I've got YouTube Premium. Look. I'll show you. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, look, i got YouTube Premium. Uh, I don't ever watch ads, so I never have to watch ads. On YouTube. And uh, with one account, me and my wife both get it on both of our accounts. So yeah, YouTube Premium is great. It's not a sponsored stream, by the way. Um, but yeah, thanks for the chat. Alright, let's see here. I just thought it would. Alt one prevails. Asurian protects. Cool. This is all lesser beings deserve. High mage. Noble son of Ulthuan. 
forward at once. Allies all know the dexterity of your kind. Yeah, we'll come for you. We need to ruin 12 then, but we just want to use our regular lord for that. Um, premium Snapchat win? Nah. How is YouTube Premium supporting you? Um, I've explained this before, but the way it works, I believe... Yeah, let's get extra armor, ammo. I don't think Flock of Doom's going to be as useful here. Okay, so this is how um, YouTube Premium works. Um, I don't know exactly how much it costs, depending on where you are. But let's just say it costs $10. Nice round number, right? Easy to work with, $10. Um, it probably costs a little bit more than that. So you pay $10 a month, and YouTube takes $5.50 of that and puts it in their pocket. And then $4.50 of what you pay of YouTube Premium goes to the people that you watch, provided that they're monetized, right? If they're a channel that doesn't get monetized because they like don't have enough subs or whatever, then they don't get anything, right? So the way it gets divvied up is based on watch time. So if let's just say you watch 20 one-minute videos. We'll use another YouTuber as an example. Let's, let's use Inticity, because this is a good example. Inticity does really good short videos. Like, he's, he's doing really well with it at the moment. Um, one or two-minute videos. Uh, and they get shitloads of views. But YouTube Premium would fucking suck for him, because it's based on watch time. So let's just say you watch 20 Inticity videos in a month. And each of them were one minute long. You watched it for one minute. So you watched 20 minutes of Inticity. And then you watch and one VOD of mine. Century. And it's, let's just say you watch half of the VOD. Just one in the entire month. That's like three hours. So what YouTube Premium does is looks at the ratio there. Um, three hours to Legend of Total War. 20 minutes to Inticity. Even though you watched 20 videos of Inticity, I would get the vast majority of your YouTube Premium, because it's based on watch time, not views. And because I have a very high amount of watch time, YouTube Premium benefits me greatly. Because, you know, you guys get stuck here for hours. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do this. Because if I lose, then whatever. I need money. I just use adblock. Or oh, you could do that. No. Oh, there's no... Okay. I was worried that there would be rotting Prometheans, because we can't handle that. Um, Depth Guard are fine. Even though they've got armor, they don't have shields. Shields is what fucked us up. Fucks us up. Um, and we outnumber them, so we should be fine. But yeah, that's that's roughly how... Um, uh, premium works. Shout out to Anticity. Yeah, Anticity's doing a great job. Uh, he, might, he might be the... If he keeps it up, he might be the next big Total War YouTuber. Uh, Richard Hernandez did a $5 super chat. Just got YouTube Premium. Great ad for that. Keep up the great content. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you'll definitely... The great thing about Premium is that you just won't notice ads anymore. I'm not paying Google $5.50 a month to violate my privacy. Well, that's up to you. I don't really see it as violating privacy. I mean, YouTube knows all the sites that I visit. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, not YouTube, I mean uh, Google. I don't know, we kind of live in a world, like, we kind of live in a world where privacy is getting eroded every day. I just sort of gave up on it. What are you going to do? Live in a shack out in the woods? Disconnect from the... Become a Ron Swanson? Are you really going to do that? But it's up to you. You know, if you don't want to get premium for whatever reason. I'm not trying to push it. I'm just saying I like it. I'm not sponsored at all by by YouTube. For you guys to, to do that. Okay, I probably should concentrate on this battle. So just be, oh, Probably just bear with me a bit, guys. Yeah. Because we need to rush up to this point here, because they slog in through the water. Loyal. 
We're really lucky they don't have any scurvy dogs. Scurvy dogs suck for high elves. Did have a few units chase after that one there. Good. So yeah, any of the units that come in through the front here get obliterated. Uh, way more important to take out the zombie pirate gunnery mob hand gunners, uh, uh, hand cannons. Way more dangerous than the um, Depth Guard. Generally speaking, when it comes to which units you should target, you should usually target the unit that can kill you the quickest, or the unit that you can kill the quickest that's of high value. Such as, you know, zombies as opposed to Depth Guard, which, you know, they're going to take a little while to, to kill that unit. See, this is why you don't need spearmen. Because the archers held on just fine there. Sure, they, they lost, but, you know... <laughs> do you think spearmen would have done any additional damage? At least these ones got a few shots off before then. So we got this. Is Tyrion a good legendary lord? Yep, he's really good. In Serbia, YouTube Premium is 7.5 euros. Okay, well whatever the cost is, that's what the ratio is. YouTube takes 55% of it, and the creators that you watch get 45%. Um, but you know, whenever I look at my YouTube analytics, I... I YouTube Premium, you know, it's a sizable amount. I'm not going to go into exact details, but... It's a good amount. And because I imagine most of you guys probably don't have YouTube Premium. Instead, you've got like Adblock on, which is fine. Just do whatever you want. But yeah. My philosophy when it comes to um, like shouting out other businesses and like sponsorships is that I won't do it unless I actually use the product itself. Like, for example, Instant Gaming. I use Instant Gaming. I wouldn't... I wouldn't shill it if I didn't. And same with Manscaped. I use Manscaped. Uh, yeah, catch up with this. Could you please explain the Car Cathay Caravan exploit? I actually don't know how to do it. <laughs> I haven't I haven't done it yet. Alright, cool. That gave us so much money. That's going to really help. High Elven Archmage. Full sail. Okay, that means we can probably justify going into the negative for a couple of turns. And also we can use this. Oh, okay. Okay, um... Alright, so instead of sending someone down, because I've already recruited a lord here, I'll have to recruit somebody here. Yeah, you'll do. Get them to occupy this stuff. No Raid Shadow Legends stream? I do not use Raid Shadow Legends. Um, I play Farmville. <laughs> if, you know, I, I guess I could buy my own... Uh, um, set of principles, I guess if Farmville ever did reach out, I'd be like, well, I use it. You know, <laughs> I do play it. 
Yeah. I reckon that exploit will be hard to do on the Jindu anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I actually don't know how to do it. I, I looked into it a little bit the other day, and I couldn't replicate it. Um, it will be done. Yeah. My work is kind of hoping done. they had an army there. They have a military force at the Shattered Cove. It's 14 units. at 14 or 15 units. Um... It'd be great if we could force them to force march over to Pig Barter. Because crossing through here is a pain. But what they're probably going to do is actually jump over to the Haunted Forest. You must restore order. Avalon's finest. So, we'll give them a chance to defend their city. Could go into Ambush Dance. They can't reach me from here. Mm, they've recovered a lot of strength. Unless there's an army standing right in there, because it's really hard to move through this. How many beastmen you got on your farm? Nah, none. Oh, hang on, I should have done that. Alariel the Ever Queen, servant of the tower. Smash it to ruins. Okay. Okay, and let's grab that. Alright, we should be fine to basically build whatever we want. Ziggurat of Dawn, yeah, let's just get this province here growing. Cool. Tons of money come through. Alright, we got one more turn of Confederation, so we should be able to get through this without a revolt. Because, yeah, the Chaos Corruption is going away completely now. No, I'm not going to give them any money. Not yet. We'll see how we go in the next turn or so. Uh, can I get them to join war against Nagarond? No, they're already at war with Nagarond. Okay. They're at war with... Oh, so Nagarond declared war on them. That's why they're at war with Hagrief. Okay, that's fine. Um, never mind. This could be a good opportunity to just sack it, let them keep it, and use it as a gate to constantly... Eh, uh, nah, don't worry about doing that, I think. Yeah, more effort than it's worth right now. Do you vouch for instant gaming PlayStation gift cards as well? I've never used them, so I don't know. I, generally speaking, those kind of gift cards are super iffy. Um, I've, I've down, I've bought Steam gift cards, that kind of stuff before. Usually those are very shit value. Um, so I don't vouch for gift cards on key seller websites. Uh, Warhammer 2 is still $60, is that the normal price? Yeah, so Total War games never drop in price, but they have occasional sales. Sunfang hungers. He fucking took Arnheim. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't completely block him, but I should be able to attack it now.
Yeah, this campaign's not going as well as that high off uh, Tyrion campaign that I did a few months back. By the way, Legend, what is the difference between instant gaming and other key sellers like G2A? How do you know the keys aren't stolen? Um. Okay, that's a little bit difficult to answer. Um. I don't have an intimate amount of knowledge of what G2A gets up to, but I did pretty um, strictly. Not strictly. Um, I asked Instagaming a lot of questions before I signed up with them. What they do is they don't steal the keys. It's not. It's not like G2A. It's not a uh, marketplace where people can buy the keys, like with a stolen credit card, and then just sell them really quick on on Instant Gaming. All the keys on Instant Gaming are owned by Instant Gaming, and what they do is they buy the keys in bulk whenever they can. That's what they do. That's why they run out of stock all the time. Uh, growth is good. You know what, public order would be better. Since we've got a few regions that are a bit struggling. So yeah, my money went down by a ton there. Mistress okay. of the Undying Forest. Greetings. Alario, Everqueen. Okay, now the big question here is, do I recruit a regiment of renown? Or do I arrogantly think that I could take on a Oh yeah. Yeah, I can handle that. Warden of Safarine. Poeth protect them. We most fun high off campaign? I'd say Nagareth. So you just put happy third birthday to three kingdoms. You left that game to die. <laughs> Yeah, oh, CA did not do a good job with the uh, the post-launch Three Kingdoms. I just humble bundle and said, yeah, look, just use whatever you're comfortable with. Do you ever have time to watch streams from the Discord self-promo section? No, <laughs> no. So usually what I do is if I'm looking to watch a stream, I will just search Warhammer 2 or Warhammer 3 and just see who's streaming um, there. So, yeah, yeah, this, this is what I do. I'll just show you. If I want to watch a stream, which I haven't really been tuning into many streams lately. Um, I, I've just been stressed out. So, I'll just... Hang on. Yes, yeah, so this is what I do. I search... I just go into YouTube. I just search Warhammer 3. Then I click here. And then I just see who's live streaming. And then I'll be like, Ooh, I'm interested in this one. And then I'll just click on that. And usually it's... Sometimes... Some of my um, preferred streamers are there. Or maybe I'll click on somebody. So it says here, Jackie Fish is streaming. So I'll just go onto YouTube and be like, oh, Jackie Fish is streaming. I'll click on him. See what he's doing. Oh, he's playing Rome 2. Oh, yuck. I'm not watching that. <laughs> I don't know what he's actually playing. It's probably Rome 2, though. If I had to guess. Oh, it could be Banner Lord. That's what he usually plays. But I do lurk in people's chat a lot of the time. I don't usually chat. Because usually, if I chat, then the rest of the chat is like, oh, my God, Legends here. And it derails the stream from the other person. And I don't, it's, I don't want to do that to them. Like, I'm just there to watch. Remember one time I went into a stream? This was a multiplayer person stream. And I was like, Hey, how's it going? And then the whole fucking chat was like, Why you no multiplayer? You just like cheese. And they just wouldn't leave me alone. I was like, Dude, I'm here to watch. Stop harassing me. And I just left. It's like, ugh. So I perfectly understand how important it is to keep the chat civil. Because I, I've definitely left chats that were being shit. I was like, yeah, I'm just not hanging around here. Bye-bye. I got better things to do. Uh, Crazy Serb didn't RSD 250 Super Chat. There's a Paradox sale right now, so I guess IG will buy a bulk of all games and DLC and sell for profit. I'll buy all my games on IG and save about 1,100 euros. Yeah, that's probably what they'll do, yeah. 
Yeah, they'll, like, I don't, I don't have the exact details of what to do, but they'll just buy it in bulk whenever they can, at a really cheap price, and then just post it on the website. When the, when the sale's over. But yeah, there's nothing to suggest. And if there's any evidence at all, uh, Dame Offensive, that's why I try to ignore you when you arrive. Yeah, that's cool. I, when I'm watching you, Dame Offensive, I usually lurk. I usually lurk. Um, not always. Because, <laughs> yeah, it does derail the stream. It's not fair. It's not fair on you. Because everyone's like, Oh my god, I'm going to ask Legend a thousand questions. I'm just like, I just want to watch. Fuck off. I don't think this is the greatest position ever, but there's a hill in the way. Do you know what would make Alariel a lot better? If I had Banishment. Don't have much magic here. I'd be honored for Atlas Shadowball to join my stream and comment. Oh, okay. Well, you know, every now and again. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um... Tichikov did a $25 super chat. Thanks for the great content, hi elves, and especially Lariel campaigns. This is my favorite after watching your streams and learning to check aboard to Archer Sisters. Uh, no, it's dude, thanks for super chat. Sorry, I got to it a bit late. The Forward. Isha guide me for order. At the moment, instant gaming sale of 40%. Sorry, instant gaming 40% sale is more expensive than streams region scaling for my country. Yeah, that will happen. Yep. Like, look, if I say, go check out Instant Gaming, and the price there isn't to your liking, well, don't buy it. But, you know, I've gotten... I've gotten games that are 30 to $60 for, like, 3 to $4. You know, if you just find it at the right time, when it's actually in stock. The main thing is, is just to keep your eyes open. You know, you can find really good deals. If you look. No, don't aim for him. That's a waste. Alright, see what we got going on here. This is why I sent her up. The archers are trying to shoot, but they're now stupidly blobbed up. That may have been a mistake to spirit leech him. It's a shit spell. And by doing this kind of shit, it gets them to advance slower, so that the archers get more time to shoot. Just throw him in there, because only so many entities can hit him at a time, and we can heal him. Which... Let's do that. Did you read Jules Die Super Chat? Uh, sorry, um... I did not. Uh, Jules Die did a 2 Euro Super Chat, or was it DL? I'm not sure. Uh, did you change your mind about Sisters Doomstack? No, I still think it's great. I just, I can't recruit any Sisters yet. It's only turn 40. I, do, I usually don't prioritize them in the early game. I don't try to rush them. It's not efficient to do that, but later on in the campaign I definitely get them. Yeah, I think it's a bit weird for people to um, come onto this, to the stream sometimes after I've like attested the um, sisters doom stack and then I don't have one. But it's not that I don't want it. It's just a. It's sometimes better to have more cheaper armies in the early game than to have a doom stack. Still zero defeats. Nah, we end up losing that siege battle uh, at the gate by like the tiniest margin. I just. Just didn't do a good job. <laughs> and then we lost one against Skeggy, so not undefeated. So the Dark Elves, they did a terrible job here. They really fucked this up. We barely took any damage. Of 
Do you agree Warhammer 2 music seems very superior c compared to Warhammer 3? Not the bad thing about Warhammer 3. No, I don't agree with that. No, I don't agree. Archers are just super cheap. Yeah, it's not even just about being cheap. It's just that they're available. Um, I definitely want to get Sisters of Avalon. Don't get me wrong. I really do want them. But they're twice the price of Archers. And I'm not rolling around in cash right now. Yeah, see? I'm at negative 2,500. And I don't have a single Sister of Avalon. So we're just going to get some more assets. And then we'll definitely get them. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. At least you got over here and uh, got the power of nature back up, which is good. Alright, this would be the end of Skeggy. Um, might as well let Alistair get it. What do you think about a button on Minus City Battles where you choose between Minus City Siege and Field Battle? Uh, sure, why not? Didn't they have that in Rome too? Something like that, where you could sally out instead of fighting a siege battle. Alright, Skeggy's gone. Good. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Now, it looks as though Malekith might run over to the Moonshard. I really didn't expect him to come down here and capture Arnheim like that. That was a bit of a surprise. So why do you seek me out? But on the other hand, he's managed to capture all the way up to here. The end justifies the means. Yeah, I think one of the reasons we lost some money is because we lost at some of those trade agreements, which were pretty damn lucrative. Because they cut off our supply lines. Alright. I, I can't raise another army right now. You're just going to have to go. Fear the might of Ulf One. High Elven up. Ulf One's defender. If I force march to here, there's a chance that Malekith can attack us. Now, being high elves, we actually don't get tired while in force march at sea. Because I don't want... Alithanar to have trouble here. I want him to keep pushing against Malekith. Malekith, how strong is Malekith? Not very. Not very. He actually lost a lot of force. Okay. Ever vigilant. It's definitely a risk. But if we have a look here, he's only rank 10. He's on foot. And he couldn't possibly have recruited, like, shitloads of dragons or anything. So, I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. We're at full strength-ish. I think we can manage it. So, yeah, if we have a look here, he can definitely attack us. Um, the downside of it, if we lose, you know... She dies. Whatever. Uh, Sithax did a five dollar super chat saying, "Appreciate you, bud." All right, thanks. Do appreciate you as well. And back, Al XRD did a five dollar super chat saying, "Cheers." Right, thanks, dude. Ludi at Historia says, "I miss the old sieges with full fortifications." Yeah, those are definitely better for sure. Yeah, I don't like the World Sieges of Warhammer 3. I do not think that they're an upgrade over Warhammer 2. They're not even a side grade. They're an actual downgrade. I do like the Mining City Battles, but all the time it does get tedious. Especially considering you just can't order resolve most of them. Henry Cavill did a $2 super chat. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate it. Alright, so this one here just um, 
get moving over this way. Okay, and let's get Eltharian up in here. And we'll have him attack this. Because, yeah, we need some more enemies. Setting the pace. Destruction. Cool. All right, all right, all right. So, Imric. Are they still sitting there? Yep, they've recruited a couple of extra units. Handmaiden of the Everqueen. I need to keep an eye on them. Okay. Crown Prince. It will be no contest at all. Join the Kingdom of Dragons. Don't you fuck your own max economy strategy by ignoring Quartermaster and Renowned and Fit Skilled? No, not really. Not really. You lose out on a little bit of money, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't save you that much cash. Because you end up with so many supply lines as High Elves, because I just recruit so many armies, that reducing the base upkeep by 22% or whatever it is, it just isn't that big of a deal when you're making... Oh, Kaladur Incumbent. Uh, when you're making, you know, hundreds of thousands of gold, it just doesn't matter anymore. Got conscientious. I should recruit the conscientious one first. Which one should we? Hang on. Itchy freaking nose. Where are we going to put the conscientious noble? Darkness is kept at bay. I don't have to capture the Phoenix Gate. But eventually, so oh, oh dear. Um, yeah, we got some issues coming through here. Oh dear. Yeah, Hellebron's way more aggressive when you play as Avalon. Yeah, we're gonna need to go out there and attack it. Um, it looks like they might actually fall. Oh, that sucks. There's no military presence there. Yeah, if you play as Tyrion. Hellebron does not be this aggressive. It's not this aggressive. Okay, um... Where am I going to put this noble? How to recover from post-workout muscle soreness? Why the fuck are you asking me that? <laughs> I don't know why you're asking me that. Um, don't know, have a nap. Yeah, eat a burger, I don't know. Just suck it up? <laughs> Whatever. Never really bothered me that much. Uh, I think we'll do it over here, because there's plenty of uh, things to scatter around here. So, that one will go there. And, uh, search ruins and, um... Stuff. We've got 19 units in this army. We could use the, um... Yeah, okay, let's do this. We'll put the... The frugal... One in here. Which will save us a little bit of money. Because nobles are really good in an I just put one, but uh, they're really good. Replenish um, troops and also get an eagle eventually. Because I've currently got two eagles. I'd kind of prefer to disband them for just one noble. Smash it to ruins. Handmaiden of Alaria. I may need to recruit another army over here really quickly, but I can raise a full stack in a couple of turns. 
So if she captures Tor Corali, I'll definitely start recruiting another army. I was leaning towards confederating this one here, because I don't think it's helping that much. Heading towards 75. Oh, I really don't want to give you any more money. Oh, I used up a lot of influence there. Oh well, we just gotta deal with it. How are we going here? Alright, construction time. Worth getting the light armored archers? Nah, waste of money. I mean, you can get them if you want. They're not any more or less valuable than regular archers. The extra armor and melee defense that they have is relative to their extra upkeep cost, but they don't, they're not better at dishing out damage. So having a military building, like this military building here is not very good because the only really good unit from this is either the Shadow Warriors or Lothan Sea Guards with shield. You can recruit regular Lothan Sea Guard um, from a port. Anywhere, so I don't know. Uh, an army could come over here. Then again, we've got Tyrion. All right, we should be okay. Let's upgrade Soldier Tor just in case. If he comes around this way, then I'll swing up here and try to stop him. All right, all things have been constructed. Still got a little bit of money left over. Yeah, that skull reef was really handy. We're declaring war on on uh, the drowned next turn, which should uh, be good for a bit of cash. Isthmus of Lustre is fine. Oh yeah, let me have a look over here. I know I'm not taxing this province. It's worth a little bit, but I just need to keep it under control because we we're here to conquer. And I need to keep it under control because I don't want to run back there maintaining public order. We don't have walls there. Okay, if we have a look at the Skaven real quick. He's got four territories. We can find out exactly where they are. Here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, after we've captured this settlement here, we should probably go and fight um, Malice Darkblade straight away because... Eshin really shouldn't be that big of a deal now, because they're fighting a war on multiple fronts. Um, Karaza Karak, I think, is over here. Hopefully putting some pressure on them. Got walls there, and at Pig Barter. Okay, at Pig Barter, I should demolish the money building here and build extra defenses. It'll make a little bit of a difference, in, just in case they bring an army down here. It's the settlement they're most likely to attack. Since we're not making cash, what does it matter? All right, let's move on. Just wiped out Snitch by turn 10 as Imrix. He's pretty worth. The dwarves are very passive. Yeah, that's what you should do. I agree. That's a good idea. All right. He's doing exactly what I thought he was going to do. So we put out the bait. We're reeling him in. Is it going to be... Oh, I fucking got a mount. But his army sucks. So, yeah. We don't start off tired, but we can't withdraw. So... Eh, hey, Legend, you're such an idiot. You got caught in Force March. I did this on purpose to lure him out, because I didn't want to go chasing him around. Um, The only things I'm really concerned about here are... 350 range. Okay, we got more range. The Cold One Chariots. Malekith himself is going to be a problem. Uh, Cold One Chariots are annoying. As, as in, him on a Cold One Chariot. All of his melee infantry is useless. I, I can't see us losing this. <laughs> but then again, it hasn't been the greatest day so far. Have you ever had an enemy Lord Lightning strike you and ruin your day? Uh, yep. It's happened. Uh, mostly happens whenever somebody sends in, like, a saving disaster battle. And it's usually the Dark Elves that do it. But yeah, it happens. Oh man, I hate this map. This is not the best map by a long shot. Ugh, the maps can make all the difference with archer builds. Shit. Because yeah, they can use a lot of uh, cover with the trees as they're on the approach. And it's a really small map, so... 
All right, there's a high ground here. We just got to be. Um, we're definitely gonna need checkerboard. But yeah, I do not like this map for when I'm using archers. Okay, the units here. Oh no, they're okay. They're okay. Okay, make sure everyone's in formation. And uh, yeah, we just do the best we can. So yeah, we're not tired, thanks to being high elves. Yeah, we gotta go harass the shit out of this if we can. Good thing they don't have a black arc in the area. Yeah, if I was the Dark Elves, what we want to do is what you'd want to do is uh, charge in through here. But they're kind of blobbed up, which is good for us at the moment. Good. How much damage did that do? Fifty-five kills. Nice. And all we're gonna do is slow down their approach as much as possible. To cast there. Yeah. Oh god, he hurts with that shit. But we gotta hold him back. Yeah, fucking blade wind is not good if you got checkerboard formation. But we are, we are beating him. I think. Go after the archers there. The melee infantry, I don't think you're going to do much yet. Got to get rid of him as soon as possible. Yeah, he's going down. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah! Okay, move them to the back. You move to the front. Move these two to the back. Move you up. Oh, I think we got him. I think he just didn't tell us, I think. That one's shooting at us, but I don't think it's doing that much damage. We're way better off shooting at um, their Dark Shards over here. Are you going to send this to yourself as a save a disaster campaign yet? Oh, it's not a disaster campaign. What are you talking about? Yeah, if somebody sent this in to me as a disaster campaign, I'd tell them... Oh, no, we didn't kill him. Um, I'd tell them to get fucked. Get the panic button way too soon. This is normal. Oh, God. He probably got a lot of kills. Uh, it's not as many as I thought. But yeah, make sure he gets wounded. I don't want to fight him again. And I don't want him getting experience. Come on, kill him. Kill him. There we go. Showed him who's boss. Alright, the damage... There is some, but we're okay. At least we've killed his momentum out here. Chariots in the forest. Yeah, I just I couldn't focus on that. We had to focus on um, Malekith. Okay, get rid of the Reaper Bolt Throwers, because they were a bit of a concern. They might get automatically just killed. Champions of Alaria. Good. 
Loyal servant. Alaria. This fight is lost. I have a feeling that Blade Wind is only good when used by the AI. Um, it's it is a good spell if the AI, or sorry, if the units are just standing there. It's really good against checkerboard formation. But there are definitely better spells to use. Not within Law of Dark. Law of Dark, Blade Wind's probably the best. Do you like Imric's Dragon Hunts? I'm hoping for more mechanics like that in Warhammer 3. How about you? Um, yeah. Yeah, I like them. They're fine. I don't prioritize them in the beginning of the campaign, but as the campaign progresses, they're useful for sure. Did Malekith kill Alithana, or did Legend get him in the time? Uh, m no, neither. Uh, we haven't confederated Alithana, but Malekith did not wipe out Alithana. He just took his capital. They're just fighting in different areas. So yeah, he took Arnheim, but that's all. He just he just sailed down here and captured Arnheim. Oh no 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 no. That, I think that's the end of Kothik. Yeah, that's the end of Kothik. They're fucked. Yeah, I forgot how aggressive Harganeth is on Avalon campaign. Alright, we need to recruit another army at Yvres because they're going to be coming down to us next. I think Krace got wiped out as well. How do you think Avalon rates as a faction compared to the other High Elves? How big of a deal are Handmaidens from the Minor Settlements? Uh, it's not that big of a deal. It, it's good, it's just not that big of a deal. Um, her faction is not as strong as Tyrion's because when you play as Avalon, Harganeth is way more aggressive and you have to deal with um, the Blood Voyages, right? Um, any of the advantages of, of being Avalon largely comes from Alariel herself, which you can just confederate her. When you play as any other High Elf, um, Harganeth is just not that big of a deal. And Avalon is not exactly the greatest starting province, but they're still, still good. Still good. But I'd say the faction that can get the strongest start as High Elves is either Nagareth or um, Tyrion. Those are the two strongest. Um, the richest is potentially Yvres, if you can do the um, Indoctrinate Cheese, which can be a little bit tricky. But his star position is extremely overextended. But, you know, you can make it work. So if we have a look here... I feel as though Harganeth might actually be stronger than... Oh no, Harganeth is quite weak. Alright, Kreis has managed to hold on to this province over here, so that's good. Yeah, it sucks about Kothik. Okay, I got to tier 4 there. Behold the majesty of the phoenix. Alright, I can confederate Illyrian, which would give me the other two gates. And I'll grab this one this turn. Yeah, we definitely need to swing around over here and capture this. What would you ask of the Asa? Re-establish this trade agreement because they have a port. If you wish. Yeah, I definitely can't afford another full army. This is why we can't recruit Sisters of Avalon, apart from not having access to them just yet. 
Um, Champion of the Ever Queen. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well here, but we are a little bit damaged. I, I'll probably end the turn here so I get replenishment and then attack Arnheim next turn. Arnheim is a, is a settlement where you can land and attack straight away. Yeah, because we want to relieve some pressure from Alithanar so that he can continue fighting out here. He's doing a good job. I would actually sell him Arnheim if I could. Oh yeah, we've got this one over here. Forgot about that. This this is costing us a fair bit. But we need to do it for the time being. Get this province sorted. Alright, capturing Pahwax is... Yeah, okay. Give us some cash. And then over here. True son of Ulthwan, I will do my duty. Cool. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen, a noble force. Not, not now. Ooh. 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 Okay, so. We gotta be very careful when coming down here. He might just jump in the underway, but if he ambushes us. Impossible. Big bad, not good. One thing that we could do is put on... I've got a Krasian scout. I probably should have put it on before. Yeah, there it is. Ambush defense chance plus 30%. We need every bit of defense chance that we can get. He's got an additional 30% here. So he's got 60% resistance. Which means it would be 20% chance of ambush base. But he has like a 100% ambush success chance, so there's still a good chance he would ambush. Um, the way to go through this is not to ambush stance, but to go into encamp stance, I think, here. Because that would absolutely prevent him from making the attack. But on the downside, I can't. I won't be able to get to him next turn, I don't think. And this one being attached will save us some money. Because I can easily beat this as long as we don't get ambushed. Ever faithful. Okay, we want to build walls here. Order must be maintained. Yeah, what he could do is just jump in the underway and go over here. Which I really don't want him to do. Shall fall. Maybe I should have built walls here. It's not too late to do that. Well, we'll see. You're in us. What state? It's late here. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I always do. I do the midnight shift essentially. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, two forty-three in the morning. I'm in Queensland. The performance will start. Yeah, I don't stream for Aussies. <laughs> All right, let's um. I can relate. Yeah, I'm not going to get much out of this. I'm not going to get any agreements because he's next. Yeah, we should fight that manually because order resolve here. Let me have a look. Is it green territory? No. I'll come back to it in a minute. Oh, I might be able to make it to Arnheim. This guy's blocking me. There is glory to be won. Enslave them. Oh. Ooh, that is iffy as fuck. I think I can land this turn. I think I can. And even if I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to do much to me. But I have to move right to this position here. To adventure. Kill them. I'm pissed. <laughs> Damn it. Attack. Ah, that's annoying. Still, they're not going to be able to do anything to me. Yeah. That's annoying. Just, just can't reach it. What are they recruiting from here? It'll just be Dread Spears. Oh, and, um, 
Black Art Corsair Hambos. They, they can't do anything to us. Uh, just, I was hoping to take it this turn. Leave none alive. Ugh, I really just want to auto resolve this. It does say casualties low, but that's lazy. No, 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 don't, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. How condensed do you think this part of the map will be in Immortal Empires? Pretty condensed. Defeat zero? No, we, we suffered a defeat. Alright. Do it. Auto resolve. No, it'll it'll screw us up. He doesn't have good replenishment out here because there's another hero attached. Uh, it just wouldn't be a good idea. This won't take long. Okay. Let's bring up our troops. We can outrange anything that they put up on the wall. We've got plenty of ammo. We really shouldn't take any casualties in this battle here. Although I think I just killed one of my own troops. But that's fine. <laughs> as long as we don't take like an excessive amount of damage. Like 10%. Should be fine. When did he get Altharion? Uh, beginning of the stream. Yeah, just missing two legendary lords. Teclas and Alithanar, but I don't want to confederate Alithanar because he's fighting against Malekith and actually doing a decent job. He lost his capital, but he's pushing hard into Dark Elf territory. Well, he pushed into there a little bit. Have you seen any of the new Darktide news? I haven't really been following it, to be honest. Like, I'll probably play Darktide. Then again, it's coming out in September. And that's probably when I'll be doing a lot of work for Immortal Empires. I don't... Ugh, now that I think about it, I really don't know if I'm going to be covering Darktide. If Immortal Empires is good, which I still think it will be. Better bloody be. Um, I'm not going to have time for Darktide. But if, if Immortal Empires is bad, then yeah, I'll probably cover it. Is that it? Are we done? No. Let's get the next batch in. Yeah, so, um,. Yeah, no, there's a nicer way to say that kind of stuff. That's why your message got hidden. Uh, there's no need to be rude. Oh, no, we did inflict the army losses. Okay, we'll just wait for that to decay. Yeah, so... Every now and again, somebody posts something in the chat that is not in English. There's no need to be super rude to them. But... I can't read any other language apart from English. Most of the people who are in this chat here speak English. Um, if you can't speak English or can't write English, my recommendation is use Google Translate because if you put it in anything other than English, you might as well just put gibberish in. Is it not called Immortal Empires? Yeah, so it's called Immortal Empires in Warhammer 3 and in Warhammer 2 it's called Mortal Empires. Any plans to cover Chaos Gate? Not at this stage, no. No, I don't loot it. 
It's usually not worth looting as high elves. Alright. Alright, alright. Public order's not terrible. Um, get rid of this. We need to grow so that we can get the, um... Other thing going. Um, let's get you public order. Just to get there. Alariel the Ever Queen. Asa, attack. We absolutely cannot justify order resolving that. Use deep L, not Google translation and context. Oh, okay, that's fine. Sorry, Matt, got it. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's all cool, Yano. It's all cool. I get it. I get it. It's annoying when people post stuff in another language. But, like, it's really, really, really important. This is something that I've learned over many, many years of being on YouTube. That if you can say something in a nicer way, you will usually get a better response out of it. Okay? First Legend, you make fun of people all the time. Yes, and I probably shouldn't most of the time. So, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. So, this will be fine, but we had to fight it manually. We just can't be... Can't be taking... Massive casualties on these order resolves when we've got big fights ahead of us when we're using a basic army. You need that one lord in Lustria? Yeah, that one lord is ruined dwelling. So it'll occupy Maku Peaks and then be disbanded. I'm new. I'm the master of a state that lasted 860 years and continues to last. Our name may have been Turkey, but I am the Ottoman Prince. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Is multi-shot better for taking out Tower's Walls? Yeah, the base damage for multi-shot is higher than with standard round. Because Towers are not considered an armored target, and they're not considered large. They're considered building. So, um... Yeah, the multi-shot does, I don't know, maybe 25% extra damage than single shot. And if there's units around it, you'll you'll hit them with it as well. Which is good. Cool, that's the hard part done. Now that we've got this, you know, we easily outrange them. Damn, this game looks so much better than the third one. Uh, in terms of gameplay, yes. I don't know in terms of, like, graphics. But whatever, I, don't, I just don't care about graphics. I don't think it's that important. I don't know. I think that Creative Assembly really put a lot of effort into, like, making Warhammer 3 visually appealing with all these new technologies into um, visual effects, but I just don't feel like that made the game better. Because, like, if you look at Warhammer 2 Sky, right, it looks normal, right? But if you look at Warhammer 3, whenever there's, like, any kind of chaos corruption, it's fucking freaky. Like, the amount of lighting effects that are in there. Probably why they felt like they had to do it, and why they were waiting until game three to bring in the Chaos Factions. Nope, get back. Yep, Pyrrhic victory. There you go. Wow, 
One or two looks better than three. Whatever. I don't, I don't care. It's, it's not something that I care that much about. I don't care if they downgrade the graphics. Feels like marketing has too much influence on CA. No. No, that's not how it works. No, CA dictates what's going on in the marketing. Not the other way around. Triumphs over darkness. Order rules here. Okay, and let's get our defenses back up there. But yeah, we're going to need to uh, put some defenses here. We managed to get a little bit of cash going here, but I just need some defenses to make sure they don't um, do anything too severe here. You'll do. We are going to be in the red next turn when we recruit all of this. Yeah, we're going to be in the red. Unless we confederate Illyrian now. If I confederate them now, then the money that we make from here... They didn't build the gems, the morons. Um, but if we have a look at Illyrian... Yeah, I don't, I don't need them to do that. Yeah, we don't get a lot out of the Confederation, and it will cause problems. Let me just see how bad the problems are going to be. Plane of Bones... Ooh, you know, I, I think we should hold off on this Confederation. Like I said, it's fairly low value. I'd have to immediately disband all their armies. And it would be good to build up a buffer of public order for a little bit first. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. As much as that is going to be good... Maybe I should cancel that. We have to keep in mind that... We are going to be slightly in the negative. I may need to tax Noblar Country just this... Oh, God, it's not much. Yeah, just this one turn. I just need a little bit more cash. Can we get a trade agreement with anyone else? I've already begged them for money recently, but I'll see what I can get. What do you seek from the Asura traveler? Quite impossible. Give the fellow Asur. I bid you welcome. Okay, there's something. A dignified visitor. Such a rare treat. Certainly not. Just your word shall reach the Phoenix throne. Do not underestimate. Any chance of you playing Three Kingdoms? I'm just not that interested in Three Kingdoms, to be honest. I get that there's more people playing it at the moment, but I'm just not that into it. Like, I d never say never, but it's just not really something that I want to do. And I kind of feel like if I cover Three Kingdoms for, like, one or two streams, people will be like, why did you stop playing Three Kingdoms? It's like, yeah, I, just, I just don't want to focus on it. So I don't know. Because that's what happened with Medieval 2. I played it for a few streams and then I stopped streaming and then people whinged. Mm, that'd be good, but I don't have an army nearby to deal with it. Any chance of another... Oh, there's a resistant handmaiden here. It'll be there for a few turns. I just don't have the cash. See, I need to secure this province here first. Oh, if only you had captured Arnheim. Yeah, we cannot risk going down there. That would be a gigantic mistake if he ambushes us.
Okay. All right, well, we'll just see how that goes. Let's move on. Yeah, Techless is still alive. Last time I looked, at least. Plus one for Medieval 1. No, I'm never covering Medieval 1 again. Last time I covered Medieval 1, I got copyright claimed. And it's just a nightmare to get OBS to even detect it. Yeah, they did jump over there. Yeah, I figured as much. That was only a matter of time. I'd love to see you play as yellow turbans. You have my okay. undivided attention. Would you play any historical other than Medieval 1 or 2 streams, say Rome 1 Remastered? Uh, it is not on my to-do list to play Rome Remastered right now. Techless is dead. Are you sure? Alright, let me let me check. You're right, Techless died. Yep. So he can be restored, but yeah, Techless got wiped out. The only high off that can't be revived is Imric. And we've got Imric. Yeah, we're in the negative, but we got some money. Okay. Okay. Well, we got a whole bunch of high elves coming down here to fight against Harganeth to kick her out of Ulthwan. Champion of the Ever Queen. Oh god, look how much movement we got. I was Not much. Standing by. I know the way. Haunted by fate. Alright, I don't really want to trespass on their territory. I think that could be a mistake. So what we should do is instead go the long way around, but force march this way. No glory. Only suffers. Okay, maybe if you've got a public order follower, that could be good. So we got. Alright, time for some cheese. Who likes cheese? Everybody loves cheese. Let's use some cheese. Cheese for everyone. Oh, what's that? Can't occupy the settlement? No worries. All you gotta do is get somebody else to do it. Yeah! <laughs> cheese! Okay, get rid of that. Yeah, that saves us a lot of cash. Alright, please tell me I can reach... Because yeah, we're probably going to lose Haunted Forest. Let me just check. If we go over here. Her there he is. Okay, he can't get to Haunted Forest yet. As you are. Uh, He's within reach, but I reckon there's a really good chance that he'll um back off. Good. Strategy beyond so what I'll do here is move down this way. We don't need to go in in camp stance because he can't possibly reach us. Don't you fail me. Oh, is this a good idea? No, it's not a good idea. Have we met Hagrief? Ah, piss! <laughs> Great. Yeah, we're going to need to... Okay, I need to raise another army over here. Oh god, I'm gonna be broke! I definitely don't think we can justify force marching. But yeah, we definitely need to put a stop to this. And uh, I guess what we could do is send Tyrion 
somewhere. Oh, I kind of want to bring him back over here, but anyway. Is this going to be auto-resolvable? No. No, we should fight this manually. Don't be lazy. Uh, Lupus175 did a 10,000 chat. What if CA made it so that adding defenses to minor cities in Warhammer 3 created the minor siege battles as we know them now? But if defenses weren't built, it would be a field battle like in Warhammer 2? Uh, yeah, I am for that. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Okay, leave the damaged ones out of it. Don't have that much to deal with. But this settlement here will increase our income in all other ports. So that'll be good. Warhammer 2 Remaster when? Well, Warhammer 2 Remaster really should have been Warhammer 3, but... Uh, Creative Assembly hasn't had a good run of luck with Remasters so far. Yeah, reskinning every unit does not make it a Remaster. I know you don't plan to use Overhaul mods, but would you consider one-click respect or defeat a faction lords join you kind of mods? Uh, I've covered them before. So I don't see the need to cover them again. I like those mods, for sure. But they draw smaller crowds, and I don't necessarily feel like it makes the game more fun for me. So I, I just don't see the point. But yeah, I've definitely covered those mods before. Here's the problem, like, I get every day we have people coming in and say, what about this mod, what about that mod? But the problem is, any time I've covered a mod, it's always a smaller turnout. So, I just decide, just don't cover mods. You know, what do you want me to do? You know, I cover a mod, lower turnout. Oops, what am I going to do? Alright, don't shoot at that dude there, we're not doing much damage. Okay, that looks fine, right? Actually, that's... I think that's their lord, isn't it? Maybe it would be good to kill him. Should have plenty of ammo. Mm, nah, don't do that. Alright, that's that batch sorted. Next one. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you think there's any cool strong strategies for high elves that don't involve archer spam? Um, Dragon spam, if you want. There's no melee infantry spam, that's good. The problem with that is that the High Elf Archers are just so damn good that all of their other units just don't really need to be recruited. But you don't need to do what I do. Not by any means. But at the same time, I don't think you'll get as good results most of the time. 
You know, if you want to spam white lines of Kreis, you totally can do that. You can still win the campaign because High Elves have plenty of the tools at their disposal. But, you know, I think you're going to suffer a lot of defeats here and there. Dragon Princes. Ugh. God, awful unit. Phoenix spam? Yeah, Phoenix is good, for sure. They're just very expensive. And they're recruited from a building that I don't normally construct. The Shrine of Asurian. Because as the High Elves, you just don't really need to worry about the anti-corruption building. It doesn't have any other value. Not really. This place is ours. Noble spam wizards. Well, the problem with that is that you've got to do that in the late campaign. Like, it's turn 42 now, right? And I can recruit four nobles. So there's no way I could have done a noble spam. Servant of the king. Foolish request. All right, that one is probably just going to sail away. Alariel's champion. Servant of the king. Ugh, I kind of wish I could sell it back to him. The shadows come. The day wanes. For revenge. Alright, that's... Yeah, I need to recruit Regiment of Renown over here. Because um, he's probably going to jump over this way. Probably. Going to try to predict it. Uh, that's why I hate fighting Skaven in this fucking province. It's really useful to be able to just underway around because it um, uses up so much movement. And of course, you can't just go chasing after him because then he'll turn around and ambush you. You gotta be really careful because all of this area here is high ambush area. area. So at the Haunted Forest, I did want to build defenses. We don't have Break Upon the Walls yet to build that in one turn. Um, oh man, but what about over here? Well, it doesn't look like they're on the way. If you have a look here, you can... Hmm... Their military presence. They could be on the way. Master of high magic. Could be on the way. Order must be maintained. Oh my god, recruiting another army is not ideal. But I don't want to have to go back that way to go conquer it. It's such a long distance. The winds. Right, do I have stuff that's being constructed that we can just maybe not do? Nope. There's something. I, no, I want to build that. Okay, cancel the. No, cancel this one here. Because I'm going to need some funds. I really do want to finish that one. Okay, look, he's two turns away from getting to Haunted Forest. So if we build, it's, it's not going to get built in time, right? And that gives us some more money to work with. So what I can do here is recruit a Lord. Preferably one we've already recruited. Definitely a wizard. Let's see if we get fire. I don't have any fire at yet. Um, maybe even beasts would be good. Level 6 one here. Get you. High elven arch -mage. Don't worry about artillery, I think. Those would be very good against the Skaven, but we just need troops. Oh, God. <laughs> if I recruit this, I will be in the red next turn. I think the Omen of Asurian is ready to go as well. That can make a big difference. It's a really good unit. But yeah, that's very strong. A lot of good units there.
Okay, I might have to try to get some money from diplomacy somehow. I speak for the Phoenix King, and I bid you welcome. God. Your words shall reach the Phoenix mm. throne. Choose them carefully. You may your wit and wisdom will be a welcome distraction. Sit. They're all at war with the same people I'm at war with. Our paradise, honored guest. Gladly. Okay, well that's good at least. Well, I kneel before Aotelia's tomb. Well, pop speak, but be wary of nope. what you say. Nope, they're next on my shit list. Hmm. How am I going to get this army? Did that one new army cost you 2k? Yeah, because of supply lines. 15% extra upkeep cost for all my forces. Trained by the White Tower. How am I going to get the money for this? I if That point being... No point doing this and being in the red. High Elven Archmage. If. I mean, hopefully he just jumps back down here, but chances are he's not going to do that. Protect. The Warden of Tor. Hmm. How am I going to get the money? Short of disbanding a unit, or an entire army, no. where am I going to get the cash from? Because we need to make sure that we've got probably about two grand in the bank if we want to pay for them. Can you confed Safari and disband her forces? I can't confed Safari this turn. We might be able to do it next turn, maybe, but no, they won't confederate. I don't have any more money to throw at them. I wanted to recruit more troops here as well. I may just have to cancel some of these constructions. Get out of the way. Like this one here. This is not overly important. We'll just have to build that later. Because, yeah, I need to recruit here as well. Because they could be bringing troops down this way. I still need more money. Because. <laughs> yeah. We just got to get through these next few turns. It's really turbulent at the moment. Uh, this doesn't need to be done right now, I suppose. Same thing here. Alright, if we do, if we just leave it like that, we'll be in the red, but I should be able to afford my armies next turn. Sucks that I had to do it, but we just gotta get through these next few turns. That's not essential. Alright, I'll definitely have enough money. I'll definitely have enough money. I'll definitely be in the red, but I'll have enough money. We just have to get through these next few moments here. High Elven Archmage. Oh, and there's a fecund over there. And a resistance. Pride of Ulfra. That'd be good, but I don't want to spend any money right now. Because, yeah, next turn, what are we going to do for cash? You have my attention. I guess if we sack and occupy Shattered Cove, that will probably pay us for the next turn. Have courage. What are the dwarfs doing? Hurry up and defeat Snitch. Many blades watching. Yes. Snitch might also jump over here to attack Pig Barter. Um, yeah, if he does that, I, I can't stop him. Alright, I've done everything that I can. Let's move on. Try selling Arnheim. You can't sell settlements in Warhammer 2. Ask for payments. I've already asked. I did it recently. Sea Treasure Battle. I don't have armies nearby to do that. They've all moved. Okay, he didn't declare war on us. That's good. Well, shit. Unfortunately, I didn't know that army was on the approach. So, on the plus side, I guess I'm not spending any money here. I just didn't know it was there. There is no way in hell I can win that. They will suffer the might of no defeat! There's just no way in hell I can win.
Oh god, they sent everything over this way. And they're going for pig barter as well. Well, on the plus side, we're not going to be in the red next turn. But unfortunately, I did have all my global recruitments coming from there, so we don't get that money back. So, all that preparation was for nothing. I just didn't know those armies were there. Because, yeah, they don't go after Imric, they go after the bloody settlements. You maybe I delete Tyrion's army next turn. No, no, no. We we want Tyrion's army to be active. I need to fight with it. All right. They may end up uh, taking the flayed rock back. We absolutely cannot build walls there. Um, yeah, I could force march. Mm, I couldn't get back to the city even if I force marched. This is my destiny. And the garrison there is not fully restored, so there's no way in hell that's going to be able to beat that. Um, I mean, I could put a fire wizard in it. I'll tell you what, that made a big difference in our income. Holy crap. So, it's hardly a disaster campaign. It's just that uh, we didn't steamroll over Eshin. Brook, no failure. And we've got this one coming over this way. It may even be better for us to come out on the water and attack the Monument of the Moon that way rather than going through here. Because we'll take attrition if we do that. Because I don't want to lose ground here either. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring Tyrion down here to help out with this because I... I'm on the defense and on the attack now. Alright, I'm gonna need Eltharion to Assume standard formation. Okay, I'm gonna need him to force march to Port Reaver. No rest, no weakness. Onward, I say. And then we need Tyrion. Yeah, don't have to worry about this, that's not gonna attack Ironheim. I need Tyrion to leg it down there as well. Okay, still no sign of Mar uh, what's the name over here. I need you to scout ahead a little bit. One note we're up against. Okay, we seem to be in the clear. If we stand next to Safari, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Can you indoctrinate the same lord twice? Yes, but it won't do anything. So here's the problem with this situation. We're going to attack Shattered Cove. I think I'll, I'll just occupy it. I still don't want revolts to occur here. But we're going to be playing a lot of catch-up. I'll put a lord in here. Uh, let's see. We need a... I've got money now. We need a... Oh, do you know what I could do? Rather than be on the defense in here, we could be on the attack at Darkhold. Accept the fact that we're going to lose Pig Barter, raise a new army at the Fortress of Vorag, and just take their other settlements over here. Because this is just a situation that one army can't handle, because I can't be everywhere at once. But yeah, we're going to take this. They will know Kalador's name. And just occupy Join it. The Kingdom of Dragon. We should demolish this and build extra defenses. Because, yeah, I feel like um, Imric might be here for a while now. Because what I wanted to do was just take Shadow Cove and then immediately come down here and fight them. But that doesn't seem like it's going to happen now. We we've got a lot of fighting to do. I think I'm going to raise an army here and just go and attack that. Oh, I don't have any fire wizards. Just, um, you'll do. That's fine.
I doubt they've got any armies out this way. There will be carnage. Is Malice at War a snitch as well? I don't think so, no. Alright, now over here. Gifted advisor. Yeah, you just stay there because we just. We know that um, Hellebron's around here. Hmm. We just got a tough couple of turns coming up. There's no two ways about it. Alright, move it a little bit closer, actually. In fact, if I stand there... Yeah, <laughs> I've prevented um, Safari from taking Alicia. Actually, why should I do that? L let them take Alicia. Let them. Journeying. Of course. Chosen of Isha. Under her protection. Allow me. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, now she can take it. Um, why? I don't need to take that. She'll take it, and then I'll con confederate her. If we have a look here... Yeah, still can't confederate it yet. You got the title of best Total War YouTuber according to Izzy. You earn it. Alright, thanks, dude. Um, well, we'll see. I mean, th there's some situations that nobody's going to be able to win. Like that one there, that was impossible. Um, same sort of thing here. Like, we're just outnumbered by way too much. I'm just way overextended. Too many wars fighting in too many areas. So, I'm not going to raise any more troops here. This will just have to do. Hopefully what will happen is um, the forces here will try to attack me here. And we'll have Safari come in and help. Hopefully. Because I, I want to disband this army as soon as possible. But yeah, Darkhold is usually a good settlement for us if we can make a lot of money from that. But yeah, we're going to just be running around all over the place here, I think. Could even be a good idea to just let Eshin take this, go sort this out here, and then come back. Because if we have a look at Malice, he's not that strong. We could get the jump on him, maybe. Maybe. I'll think about it. Alright, this one here. Still keep an eye out on what Eshin's going to be up to over the next few turns. But yeah, I expect Flayed Rock. Hopefully they besiege it for a few turns. But yeah, I should leave some money in reserve or else uh, we'll be in the negative. I just can't afford to build anything there. No. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd do this. But the big question here is, can we win? Because we'll have Safari helping us out as well. With a very dumb army. All right, we'll give it a shot. We we need to get a win in. It's uh, it looks like it's going to be a tough fight, but we need to get a win. Why are you spread so thin? This is how I play high elves. I'm just super aggressive. I usually have happen. This happens once or twice a campaign where I spread myself out really thin, uh, conquer a bunch of territory, and then the difficulty of the campaign just completely falls off. Use influence and watch for when she loses a battle. Okay. Alright, reinforcements coming from over here is not ideal. Uh, this is a good defensive position, I think. Yeah, really good if we come over here. And they can't come around this way. That's awesome. Okay, we've got a really good position. Alright, Safari getting wrecked here will actually help us 
um, confederate them. Kind of wish Cavill was in the army, but it wasn't essential. So get into that corner, and we'll see what we can do. Too bad I don't have any offensive magic, but we can use Alariel to keep as many of their missile units busy as possible. I fully expect this army here to get totally wrecked. Maybe I can even do some swooping. Okay, they got me with a spirit leech, but that's okay. Oh man, I'm not swooping well today. Oh, that's Hellebron on that. Okay, we need to. We're not in formation yet. Need to get. Need to get organized. There, there. Yeah, if we can get Hellebron to come over here early, that's really good. No, you don't have any purpose here. Don't shoot at all. Don't even use single shot. It's not that efficient against a small target like that. This is really good. Really, really good. If we can get her to come over here, we'll smash the shit out of it. Wasting too much ammo. Stop, 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 stop. Don't shoot yet. Don't shoot yet. Wait until she gets a bit closer. Wasting way too much ammo. No, come back, come back, Hellebron. Are you regenerating? No, you're not. Come back. I've got to get her close. Because our ammunition's worth just as much as our lives. That's it. Come in nice and close. Okay, fight her. That way she's standing still, and she won't get stunlocked quite as easily. And... It worked. Good. Great success. Good stuff. Good. Hellebron going down early is... Actually, you know what? That's not a bad formation. That's actually really good. I'll keep it that way. I just wish they were blobbed up a bit more. Yeah, so far we've traded pretty well for Bouncer Power. Taking out Hellebron's really, really good. Oh, I'd love to Eagle Claw Bolt throw them. Careful, careful, careful. We're going to keep moving. They're also shooting a few of their own troops there. I don't think we did much there, though. I know my artillery is not shooting. I know. Where the fuck are my allies? <laughs> Get over here! Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Okay, I should probably have these guys not fire at will. Just fire at specific targets. Because we need to conserve our ammunition. Because they're coming at us in waves here, so we could end up using up a lot of our ammo very quickly. Okay, stop firing. Wasting too much ammo here. So yeah, that's what we need. Okay, there they are. This is what we want to see. They're rushing at us, but that's fine, I think. We just have to hold until Safari gets here. Okay, once again, fire at will. Oh, they changed directions. That's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, ogres, my lord. That's not good. Used up a lot of ammo. Advancing. Death to all. Under her protection. Dawn's hope. At once. Isha, guide me. To battle. Onward. Alt one's queen. Driving back the dark. Okay, I'm liking what's going on here. This massive high ground that Safari's got, I think it's really going to come in handy for us. I'm just a little bit concerned about how much ammo we're using up, that's all. But that's all going pretty well there. Don't shoot at shattered units, it's a waste of ammo. We will obey. As you say, it shall be done. For order. Eagle claw. For the king. Alarial the Ever Queen. Advancing. Driving back the dark. Under her protection. Ever onward. Moving. Alright, it's all looking pretty good. Safri's taking a beating, but it looks like they're actually winning over there. Ammo is getting a little bit short. I think we've got enough to finish off whatever whatever remains. Alright, everyone once again, cease fire. And just aim at specific targets. Don't worry about them. Oh, actually, you know what? They might rally. Might be a good idea to get rid of them. Cool, they just hit their own unit with that. Nice. Alright, I'm going to try to give Safri some support over here because they are taking some damage. Wouldn't hurt as well to heal their units in addition to mine. So that one there will get some healing. And there's the Amulus, we did it. Must have an unbreakable unit somewhere. Uh, we don't need to run them down. Most of them are on Force March. 
Cool. We, you did, really didn't take that much damage at all. So that was good. We can now justify just banning that other army, which is going to relieve a lot of pressure off us. Oh, is this of Avalon dead? The, the one that I started off with? Yeah, I got it wiped out. He's going to confederate the major, is he dead? You talking about Teclas? Teclas died. Oh, we can still confederate him, but we have to revive him first. It's not a high priority. Alright, most of these armies here were on Force March, so that's good they're gone. And we can... There's no other armies in the area, so I think we can just take the money. And now she'll be a little bit better in melee. Cool. Alright, if Safri wants to go and take Elysia on their turn, that's up to them. It wasn't enough defenses. Uh, should I give this a shot anyway? The problem here are the gutter runners. I don't have any magic. I got some archers. I could do... Alright, if I order resolve this, we're not going to do any serious damage to them. But if I fight it manually, at least we can do some damage to him. We've... He's not going to be able to recruit anything good in this region. We got rid of all of the military buildings. So if we fight this here, knowing full well we'll lose, but let's take out specific units. So what I really want to get rid of are the Gutter Runners, the Poison Wind Globideers, uh, the Night Runners there. Um, don't worry about the Skaven Slaves. If we can kill the Chieftain, that'd be good, but we shouldn't focus on it. Uh, and who knows, maybe we'll pull a Miracle out of our ass and actually win, although I doubt it. Because uh, we got some good Archers here. They'll do some damage. But yeah, there's no hope of victory. Ah, well, we'll see. Snitch gets order resolve cheat, so it could be um, misleading. Will be done. Good duty. We go. All right, we'll see if we can get this one to waste ammunition, if possible, while we maneuver around. How do you revive legendary lords? You cause a revolt in the region that they start. So in this case, the Star Tower, and. Uh, they can be revived. But there are some legendary lords that cannot be revived. So, for example, Imric can't be revived. Which is why it's important to confederate him early. Because he was on the verge of death. We're, you know, we've held on over here. But it's definitely not been profitable. Thing is, if you hold on for long enough and manage to defeat Eshin, it starts to get a lot more profitable as, as it goes on. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't shoot at Skaven Slaves. See, I would have put a Lord here. I just didn't have any money. So what we're trying to do here is try to draw as many of their units away from the main assault as possible. If I can get these Gutter Runners here to come in early, we can shoot them. Um, Night Runners over there. Now here's the thing, on very hard battle difficulty, Silver Helms will lose to Night Runners, pretty much. This game is safe, don't worry about them. Alright, I might be able to tackle these two units here. It's just a unit of Skaven Slaves. Yeah, yeah. If I charge in there, I might be able to handle it. But I'll need this one to charge in as well. Yeah, go after the Skaven Slaves, Slingers first. See about the Night Runners. It's definitely a good unit. We should get rid of it. I said it's one of my units that I want to aim for. God, that charge sucked. Oh, Snitch is over here. That's actually not too bad. Um, we definitely shouldn't fight here, in hindsight, because 
That's it's gonna. He's just worth a lot of bounce of power. And he'll kill us all. Come on! Oh god, they do so much damage. What they're doing over there. But yeah, if he's over here, he's not over there. So maybe what we can do is run around here and go and help out over here. You need to be shooting at very specific targets. Skaven slaves. What's this? What's this? Yeah, gutter runner slings would be a better idea. But the best one to get rid of, get rid of that poison wing globidia. Okay, bring these ones over here. They're going to get here kind of late. Man, burning head would be so good here. Okay, I'm gonna need you over here. Cause yeah, that one's gonna break straight away. Shit, 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 I need to need to hold hold them back. Come on, cavalry, hurry up. <laughs> We're getting overrun already. Nah, there's no way. It just takes too much damage. Yeah, 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 hit, hit your own units over here. That'd be great. Like I said, there's no way to win. But if we can wipe out these, um, some of these units, it'd be really good. Good, they're hitting some of their own troops there. Come on, rally, rally, rally. Ah, that's not a good sign. Come on, wipe it out. Wipe it out. We'll never get here in time. Oh, they nearly wiped out that unit. Okay, rear charging, of course, does next to nothing. But it might just break them. Well, we're routing a lot of garbage, but the problem here is getting rid of their higher tier units. We've used up a lot of our ammo already, and we're not wiping out any units. But if we can get these guys here off the battlefield, it will make a big difference. You're losing ground. Yeah, even though we're causing mass routes here. <laughs> We're the one losing ground. God, I tell you what, the, the Silver Helms did a good job in this battle right there. <laughs> okay, now. Go after that. Lure snitch away. Get rid of this fucker here, if you wouldn't mind. Silver 
God, I wish I still had that eagle. Oh, they just do so much damage because it's all armor piercing. Try to get back over here. I gotta get rid of this fucking dude here. It's working. It's not working. We're st the best units are still here. And I'm super low on ammo. Like, we got rid of got a lot of their chaff here, but we didn't kill them. It's definitely going to be like a valiant defeat, I think. Now, don't worry about Skaven Slave Slingers. This fucking guy here, I can't do anything about him. Yeah, there we go. There's the army losses. It was a good attempt, I think. But it, it was just outpowered by too much. Oh, we may have wiped out some of these units here. That one was so close. But yeah, it, look at that. We didn't even take that many casualties. We so just... Yeah. Ran out of ammo, more or less. But the Silverhelms actually did a good job in this battle because we were up against a lot of shit, but it just wasn't enough. Okay, I wiped out a unit. Well, it's better than nothing. Alright, I'm going to go straight back over to Pig Barter to try to stop him. He'll only be able to recruit garbage units from there. Oops. Oh, great. <laughs> Noctilus is coming over here. Uh, that was very silly of them. I can attack that. Good. I didn't want to have to play Chasey with that one. I am the bright flower. Uh, no. What? Oh my god, Tyrannoch. I have to enter. And now that... <laughs> Safari declared war on me, essentially. Oh my god, the game just threw a huge curveball at me. Uh, I can I can beat that. It's mostly just silver and guard. I really wish right now I had um, uh, let them take in more damage. Fucking hell! <laughs> oh my god, that is so stupid. Literally the, the exact same turn that we fought on their side. <laughs> uh, they, they turned on us. Tyrion flashbacks. Yeah, oh god, that's was, that was very stupid of... I think Safari was the attacker in that situation, not Tyrannoch. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, unfortunately, when deciding to declare war on someone, the AI doesn't care if you're allied with them or not. A lot of the time. This was very stupid of them. Yeah. Hey, we're getting invaded by Dark Elves. Let's have a civil war. What a great idea. The game must think I'm doing too well. It's like, we gotta throw some curveballs at him. Now, this is definitely a problem because I wanted to confederate Safari. Um, we might be able to get a peace treaty with them fairly quickly because they do really like us. Obviously, lose uh, them losing this battle here might piss them off. What am I going to do? Lose on purpose just to make them happy. Yeah, so I land here to get all their silver and guards to turn around. If possible. Well, on the plus side, it's more experience for Alario. Okay, try to push these uh, Shadow Warriors back. Get them to shoot at Alario, not at our archers here. So at least I can keep healing. There we go, Victor's in our grasp. Descent and defeats. Yeah, we've had a few defeats now. Yeah, the game's throwing quite a few co- Oh god, I just got a lot of friendly fire in there. Uh, the game's thrown quite a few curveballs at us. Yeah, the smooth sailing that we had yesterday, yeah, that ended straight away. Oh man, that is going to be really annoying. I hope they don't have any armies in their own territory. Oh god, that is so annoying. Fuck me. <laughs> That is, that is probably the most annoying thing that's happened in this campaign. We were good friends with them, defensive allies, and they just turned on us. Do you plan to max out a magic line? That's what I'm working on next. The thing is, if they take Tor Saroy, they'll actually cut off every single one of my trade agreements. Yeah, I'm going to need the money. Have your freedom. That is such bullcrap. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's going to cut off all of my trade agreements, I think. I will leave. Oh, there's no way I could have won it. Oh my god, that is such utter horseshit. Why does this happen to me in my um, Alarial campaigns? <laughs> Only if it happens to me when I play Alarial. Can't win that. So in case you're wondering, I oh my god, I had a defensive alliance with um, um, Safari. 
And it just went broke. Yeah, big I got enough money to get through the turn, but that is like the biggest curveball. That's one of the biggest curveballs that has been sent. That's just as bad, if not worse, than the Tyrion backstab, that one. That's so bad. But they should still like it. Oh my god, look how bad that was. It went from positive to negative just like that. The Phoenix Throne will hear your plea. No, they won't accept it. At your service. So what ended up happening, Safri declared war on Tyrannok, and I'm defensive allies with... I was defensively allied with all of... Um, oh my god, that's just... Oh, and United against us. But that one hasn't activated yet. Holy shit. That is one of the worst backstabs I think I've ever had. And if you have a look here, um, they're not unreliable. They don't take reliability penalties. Holy shit. I should have let them fucking die in that previous battle. Holy crap. Yeah, we've lost all of our trade agreements because they took Evershale. Genocide them. Uh, I was gearing up to confederate them, but it's not possible now, I think. Generally speaking, the AI doesn't confederate, uh, doesn't peace out within 10 turns of having declared war. Oh god, that's so bad. I may need to confederate you. No, I can't now. Oh my god, that's that so bad. Alright. How am I going to deal with this? I got enough money to get through one turn. I, I have to send Alariel back through here to fight this. Welcome, fellow Asa. What would you wish to discuss? Most astute. Evergreen of Altwan. Yeah, we've got to get back over here. Hopefully they'll just clean up all this mess. But yeah, we're going to lose Torsa Roy. And lose the Shrine of Asurian. They won't take... They won't take Lothurn. We have to just conquer them. That is... the Like, the worst back... You know what? I don't even have time to go over and deal with that. I ain't got time for that. I gotta... I just gotta leg it back. Just gotta leg it back. Don't have time. You seek illumination? Tyrion. All right. Well, Tyrion can can come back as well. Uh, I was gonna send him over to Monument of the Moon, but it looks like Eltharion might be able to handle it. No glory, only service. Row, Asa. Vengeance for. I'll have to fight that manually, because these can do a lot of damage in auto-resolve. Now yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, sometimes sometimes the game will throw a curveball at you. Um, I did not... It's really hard to predict if something like that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, it can happen. Oh man, the amount that that cost me. Holy shit. Archers. Acknowledge. Archers. For duty. We're hardly on the verge of losing the campaign or anything. It's just that uh, it does set back growth a fair bit in those provinces as well, which really just isn't good. Okay, Eltharion needs to go find the bloody boys, which are usually up in the front. Uh, no, 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 usually at the sides, over here. Uh, watch out for the guys that were coming from the flank here. I'm probably using a bit elongated of a formation there. If you not had one sentiment left, I probably would have let Safri kill them. Yeah, but if I had um, if I had cancelled the, if I had declined, I would have lost all my reliability and I would have lost all of my allies. It would have caused a complete collapse of everything. 
Like, this was bad, but the alternative would have been worse. Because don't forget what happened um, when Tyrion backstabbed me uh, ages ago. He declared war on Safari, and then I signed, I joined him, right? Then Safari primarily attacked me. I lost all my reliability because I had a non-aggression pact with Safari. And then Tyrion then cancelled his alliance with me because I lost all my um, uh, reliability and then declared war on me two turns later. Even though he was the one that instigated the whole bloody thing. So yeah. Safri declaring war on us was bad, but everybody declaring war on us would have been way worse. Yeah, probably more important to get rid of that bloated corpse. What happened? Alright, so what happened? Over the end turn, the game threw a massive curveball at me. Ulthwan was pretty much united for, for the first time. Then Safari, a defensive ally of mine, declared war on Tyrannoch, a defensive ally of mine. Now, Safari borders me. I was maybe one or two turns away from actually confederating them. That's why you should never have allies. Sometimes, but generally speaking, uh, High Elves are pretty good with this stuff. This was very rare. Um, so, yeah. Safari declared war on Tyrannoch. I could either cancel my alliance with Tyrannoch, which would have lost my reliability, which would have meant all of the Ulthwanis would have declared war on me, which would have been bad, or fight Safari, which has been really bad. Let them so that's why my money plummeted, because they've cut off my, um, my trade agreements. So yeah, really, really bad. Now we need to be like even more aggressive than we were before, or else I need to make seven thousand gold in loot money every turn, or else I'm just gonna collapse. Full speed. Can't be done. I await your command. Either that or disband a bunch of armies. Pfft, disband. Servant of the king. Um. Welcome. What would you have? Yeah. So we didn't lose any reliability. Because if you side with the defender, you don't lose reliability. Um, there's a chance if they attack the Shrine of Asurian, I might be able to beat that there. If we have a look over here, there's no military presence. I think they got cleared out. Master of high magic. I wield the winds. Seems like it... Let me have a look here. So what happened here? Recent... Oh, right. Everyone hates... Yeah, I got them to go to war with... I might be able to get everyone to go to war with Safari, actually. I will receive your petition in the name of the Phoenix King. Why yeah, look, I can get everyone to go to war with Safari. Everybody hates them for this. You summon the Shadow King. Do you serve with a war... I haven't met them. Uh, so we sent Kreis, Tyrannoch... Yeah, they're, they're all at war with Safari now. Make your petition and leave this place. Will never recover their relationship with us. Safri always fucking shit up. Not always. It's not. It's not true. Sometimes, but not always. Um. Hmm. All right. At least it can't get to Torsoroi. It's much more likely now to attack Whitefire Tor. Infused by Hoeth's wisdom. Oh yeah, and we have um, Noctilus coming over here. <laughs> so shit is really hitting the fan right now. Alright, um, let's just have a look what's over here. Yeah, we gotta kick Harkoneth out of Ulthwan. That needs to happen. But yeah, and Im and um, that's gonna probably happen. I don't think there's any rats out this way. That's under siege, but it's not making us that much money. Um... Maiden of the Evergreen. No, no. Her most loyal servant. Impossible. Glory awaits. If Snitch ambushes us, that would be big trouble for us, for sure. But, uh, like I've said before, I have to be super aggressive now. I don't have a choice. Let me just see. Are they Absolutely at the Haunted Forest? Not. Yeah, they are. Okay, so... 
They can't force march over here. Now, if I stand in here, I have an 80% chance of being ambushed. No, 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 that's not true. Because I've got the Kracian Scout, 30% ambush defense chance, plus this, 30... So it's 20% there. But he gets bonuses, right? If I force march to here, right... I've actually got less chance of being ambushed here. Because I'll be at 65% because of um, force march stance. Yeah, it's weird, but yeah, I've actually got a lower chance of being ambushed here than I do over here. But we just have to be like really fucking aggressive now. Really, really aggressive. I need intel over here. Okay. Can't make it there this turn. I got enough money to get through through one turn. Defender of okay, Tyrion is going to have to go this way. Go to uh, go back to Lothan. I don't have a choice. Uh, there's there's no time for that. Yeah, we've got to get back over here to fight this way. They, We might be able to stop them at the Shrine of Asurin because we've got some fairly good units there. Far beneath an uh, but they're recruiting. I fear. Oh man, that is... That was the worst. Holy crap. I need some money, please. <laughs> Never. Damn you, Tyrannoch. This is your fault. I blame you. God beholds the majesty of the phoenix. I cannot do this. Burden. The shadows come. The day wanes. The time is not arrived. Can you lose some buildings? Uh, it won't get demolished in time. I could probably cancel the construct. I don't think I've had anything constructing for a while. Because, yeah, we... Oh, hang on. Here's something. Oh, but if I... Hmm. Yeah, I haven't had anything constructing in quite a while. Might end up losing Arnheim. Uh, let's see. So yeah, according to this, I can't get to Torso Roy. That's fine. That army's gonna die to everyone else over here. I'll see if I can manage to do something with this. Although, I need to just ban that straight away. Now, I think I'm going to need to cancel this. I need to make sure I've got enough money to get through the next turn. Because if we lose the Shrine of Asurian, that's 500 gold that we lose. Okay, they're not actually in the correct region. If they come over here... Oh, wait, they're not the entrepreneurs. That just increased growth. Okay. But yeah, that one there hasn't activated, so it shouldn't attack us yet. But yeah, Tyrion's got to get down here. Fucking pronto. All right, well, that's that turn. Let's see what happens. Nine units. Up against eight. Plus there'll be uh, maybe one minutes below. Yeah, I should be able to manage. Yeah, we just got to get through the next couple of turns. It's going to hurt. There's no two ways about it. These next few turns are going to hurt. But yeah, this is not a super strong campaign now. That's been ruined. Okay, uh, with him... Uh, might be a good idea to just get Bowmaster. Don't need to worry about getting the ambushed right now. The gods stand with me. Worse than Theon's betrayal. Oh, this was really bad. <laughs> really, really, really bad. Alright, what's gonna happen here? Oh, good, he didn't make the attack. Good. 
Uh, should be able to beat him. Oh, good. He's not coming over here. All right, looks like the game's throwing a little bit of luck our way now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, good. Good. Go down that way. And, oh, nicely done. Now the game's throwing some symp sympathy RNG my way. Oh, they're going to take it. Alright, look, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, like I said, we we have a chance. Oh, no, we don't. No, we do. We do actually have a chance. Because if I can manage to hide... Yeah, we have a chance of winning this. I, I know what to do. It might not work. It might not... Oh, wait, hang on. I'm thinking of a different region. Um... What we want to do is hide all the infantry. Oh, no, there is a chance. If I hide all the infantry, because we've got the speed advantage, right? If I hide all the infantry, I can get the Phoenix to waste all of this ammunition here. And if we do that, excuse me, if we do that, um, yeah, that'll be really good. Or maybe actually hide over this way. It's a better position. Mm, too risky, too risky. Hide over here. Because they'll attack what they can see, and not worry about what they can't see. Make sure everyone's not fire at will. Need a Vanguard deploy. Problem here, though, is the, the forest is a, is a bit small. So yeah, lure the lure them over here. Everyone's hidden except for the phoenix, right? Like it, they'll only attack what they can see, and we can waste so much of their ammo with just the phoenix. Two hour swoop battle? No, it's not going to be needed. It's not going to be needed. Yeah, because they're going to lose a ton of balance of power by doing this. Then we can send out our Illyrian Reavers and harass them a little bit. Oh, look, they're even shooting their own troops here. Look. Look at that. They're shooting their own troops. Try to get them to shoot their own troops as much as possible. This is working out really nicely so far. You know what's funny? This turned into a disaster campaign over that last turn. This, this is an actual disaster campaign now. But I think I can turn it around fairly quickly if we win here. Get rid of their momentum. So yeah, they lose all of their ammo, they've lost all their momentum. Now here's the thing, we don't have to necessarily kill their entire army to win, or even take fewer casualties than them. We just have to... Oh no, we need to take fewer casualties than them. We've also got the fire bombs, which I'll do in a bit. Facing that way. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now the, their best units would be the Silver and Guard now. Uh, does that do magic attack? I don't think so. Okay, so. Oh shit, it's a wizard. Death wizard. Okay, whatever. Oh, 
and just try to get the most out of this as possible. Currently done a fair bit of damage. It's good, just put down those flame farts on them. Alright, now we bring out these archers. So that's that's all the damage they did with all of their archers there. That's good. But yeah, the big problem here is going to be when the Phoenix Guard get into a fight because they are anti-large. So we really need to make sure these units here fire at very specific targets. So the rangers might be a good choice because they're anti-infantry. Since we're going to have to rely on some melee. Let's get rid of the stuff that's really going to be a problem. Their lord's not that big of a deal. But the rangers definitely are. They got physical resistance, but they don't have much armor. And they don't have shields. I guess we could fire at will there. Don't lure them over here. Now another thing is that we really need to make sure we don't just win the battle, but we kill them. Because that way Tyrion might actually not need to come down this way. But yeah, from a strategic point of view, what Safri did was just fucking ridiculous. Um, Dog Ruler 543 did a $20 super chat. Hey Legend, if they gave Demon Prince the same treatment as all greater demons and made his items give you 3-5 to five casts of the magic on them, do you think that would make him a better as a Legendary Lord? Uh, yeah, it would definitely make him better, because you pretty much never cast with the Demon Prince. It makes no sense. Yeah, that definitely would make him better. Legend skirmish mode over once. No, skirmish mode is rubbish, it's for noobs. If you turn skirmish mode on, um, you won't be able to issue commands. Oh, does this one have bound spells of it? No, it's just got both. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the rangers. Okay, now the next thing that we'll do after this... ...is lure them into a bit of a trap where they only send a few units over here. So what we do is we bring this one out by itself. They'll only send a few troops over here. Because they'll look at it and be like, we don't need much to beat that. And whatever they do bring in, we just annihilate with with all of these guys here. That's it. See, they're sending like a silver and guard unit over here. That's fine. Make sure you're not firing at will. Alright, Shadow Warriors are pretty easy to shoot. They don't have much armor. They don't have any physical resistance. So, shoot them as well. They all need to go down. So, looking at the damage there. Yeah, they're doing okay. Okay, actually, you know what? I might bring... No, no, just leave that be. That's fine. Move. 
quickly now. Ancestors! As you say, Illyrian archers, we will obey. You know, in hindsight, it would have been better to confederate um, Safari instead of Yvres. Yvres was never going to declare war on other factions. Keep that in mind for next time. Maybe best to try to confederate all the wary ones first rather than the dip, um, the ardent ones. I'm fairly confident we're actually going to win this. It's playing high elf music, so that gives us some hope. Because <laughs> high elf versus high elf. Alright, now we bring everyone out. Surprise, you're actually outpowered here. Bring the Phoenix around over this way. And it'd be good if we can beat this one by routing it as opposed to shooting it. It'll just save on our ammunition because we've only got two archers to get rid of all of this. That's a lot. See, it's definitely doing some damage. Uh, only, only to spearmen, really. Oh shit! I need to bring them in there. Opera Lars, what the fuck, dude? Come on, you're a moderator. You can do better than that. Come on, dude. When you're a moderator and you say shit like that, it reflects badly on me. Don't do that. Taking damage. I'm gonna start harassing it, see if we can kill that lord. So how much damage does this one end up doing? Uh not much. Didn't think it was that bad. It's pretty bad, dude. That's pretty bad. Spearmen. I am ready. Don't be mean to mods, was it? Was it? Yeah, I'm not being mean to mods. He's lucky he didn't get fucking demodded for that. It's not being. It's not being mean. All right, we'll see how we go here. We really need to kill that lord. I need to be shooting into their flanks, but if I come around this way, they're going to attack me. You charge into that. See it, maybe. Almost killed the enemy lord. Archers, for duty. 
Okay, I think I might be able to get a mass route over here. Phoenix Guard are actually holding out pretty well. Oh, they got physical resistance as well. Don't want to shoot the Lord because it's a small target, be hard to hit. The Phoenix just needs to beat it in melee somehow. Ah, oh, the fucking spearmen being shit. Yep, we got it. People over here, let's move over to the flank up this way. Victory's in our grasp. Cool, 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 cool. And we did it. Close victory incoming. Alright, wipe out as many of them as possible and kill that, kill that lord. No drama free zone. Just don't be a dick. It's really, really easy. Look, here's a general rule of thumb, okay? Really, really simple. If what you say is going to... If you think it might offend someone, don't say it. It's really quite easy. If, hey, if I can understand that rule, you guys can understand that rule. Because I'm a friggin' retard, alright? So if I understand that, then you can do it too. Imagine the retard word is offensive. <laughs> this is a confed army? No, it's a garrison. Alright, well that definitely is going to slow down Safari, these fucking idiots. We've all got the bloody same enemies during a Dark Elf invasion, they decide, you can start a civil war! Actually, I've been around since Legend Stream for 38 people. Yeah, you have been around for a really long time, and you, you know that things have changed since then. Yeah, I know you've been around a long time, Opera Lars, but you know, things have changed since the days of farting out loud and saying any, any obscene thing that comes to mind, you know, on Twitch. Things have changed a great deal. I'll let you, people get offended from everything? I know. But there are certain things that you can, you know, probably avoid saying. I don't know. Just, it's just, it's just unnecessary as well. Especially if it's not even funny, which it definitely wasn't. Like, it's not witty or anything. Still have ammo on the archers, still? Yeah, I know, but they're just fine. Alright, we got a heroic victory. And uh, they're not going to come back anytime soon. I'll take the money. I'm going to need it. Alright, so... Okay. <laughs> they're trying to get back. Maybe what they're trying to do there is have me attack them. I don't know. i got to get back into Inner Ulth 1. Yeah, we can't deal with that. Um... That's just unfortunate. I never wanted Arnheim. It was just because um, I think he took it. We are pure of Prince Elthar. 
Creation Scout's really good, but I already got one. Um, I don't have a tra any trade agreements, <laughs> so I'll take that. Alright, we don't quite have enough money to get through this turn. Well, since there's a... Why did it rob me of all my turn... My, my movement? Well, it's not urgent to get back now, at least. Might as well pick up some money. Because... <laughs> what, what the hell? Why do I have no money? Uh, m movement. I know why I have no money. I could probably just auto that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Give me eight grand. Five grand. Right, that you know pays for a lot of my. Why did it rob me of all my movements? Sailing for adventure. Bloody hell! Game's like we want you to lose this one. How dare you? Yeah. So they came to. They came down here. They uh, they shouldn't attack these gates. It'll be fine. Why don't I? Oh, I don't have line of sight because we don't have a trade agreement with them. All right. Yeah, I need to get Evershale back in order to establish any trade agreements. Non-negotiable. Actually, come down here. Go into Ambush Stance. Because, actually, no, to stand here. I can definitely reach Evershale from here. Go into Ambush Stance. They might go to Evershale, or they might even go to Tor Elir. Either way is fine. That one's still inactive. Alright. So, we know if they keep attacking the Shrine of Asurian, we can, we can essentially keep beating them there. Over here. Snitch must be um, globally recruiting. Take them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can win this, but how many menace blows are we looking at here? Just looking at one. Yeah, there's nothing too dangerous there. Pretty sure we'll be okay. Did you disband the One Sisters unit because it's expensive? No, it actually got killed. I didn't disband it. Negative economy high off campaign, that's rare. Yeah, I got fucked over by Safari. As soon as we take that settlement back, we should re-establish economy, but... Yeah, they they really, really fucked me over. Um, Alright, they are probably going to use the Menace Below on the artillery. So we should keep the artillery separated. We've got more units than them. It's a fairly good defensive position. And you need to stay close over here. Just, uh, when it pops down, get rid of it. It'll take a little while to get here. Should've done the Fang Sword quest battle for extra money. I can't do it while I'm at sea. It's a good point. I can't do it while I'm at sea. Oh! Wow, they did that in the worst possible place they could. Go on, leave it be. Don't waste ammo on it. No, no, stop that. Should be fine. Ammunition's not a problem here. We don't have that much to kill. It is my destination. Magic's unleashed. Let my horror. I will. Yep. Anything that we can do to slow down their approach here is good. Let me take the gold mine, the western outer donut, the one island belonging to Safri traders. You, Tyrannoc? No, it's under siege by Tyrannoc. I, I, I can't take it. Unless they confederate them.
That's it. They can't resist killing the enemy lord. And I was counting on that. Yep, good. We've got them to turn around. We just don't want our archers getting tied down. That will definitely help, uh, capturing the settlement. Yeah, we need to get rid of all these other shit Eshin settlements out here. Just get out of this war as quickly as possible. Really, I was able to do a Sunfang battle while at sea. Are you sure? I'm fairly sure you can't do it while at sea. I can check next turn. While we do need money, I don't want to cause a revolt here. The public order here is already bad. That'll end up costing us more money than it's worth, so I'll just I occupy it. Because it's a good settlement. There's a landmark here that we can make use of, which hasn't been built yet. Which will give us... Yeah, get rid of this one here. Uh, who am I kidding? We're not going to be able to construct anything. Just, just chill. Just leave it as it is. I know it's a good landmark, but it's not worth building right now. Okay. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Imric needs to take out Snix again. Snixes, Snixes, whatever. All right. How many menace blows looking at here? Just one. Just one. Okay. Order resolve yields no units wiped out. Our replenishment rate is pretty good. This will just save a lot of time, because uh, Snickers can throw a lot of curveballs at us. Should I though? Yeah, we're only going to get one minute blood. We're fine. Pretty sure. Okay, look, if you're right, I'll test it out next turn, and we'll see. Um, I was fairly sure you couldn't do uh, teleport while at sea, but I'll, I'll check. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I do it now, because I'm in Force March. In Warhammer 3, Imric will be able to trade, right? It's going to help a lot. Yeah, Imric will be able to trade across that long distance. Uh, terrain's a little bit rough, but I think over here is, no, no, do it over here. We don't need the choke point. Do it. It's a good choke point. Yeah, it will protect our flanks. I'll just have to stand back a little bit. Might be a good idea to disband that unit and hire a cheaper unit, gotta save on costs. Alright, now let's pop. Miss Blow will pop down in a moment, and we just need to be ready to... Try to scare it off. As you say. Now, the fact that Winged Lancers lose to goddamn Blue Horrors, um, because cavalry just suck in general. Especially if you're playing on very high battle difficulty. Alright, cool, that's not so bad. No, wrong ones, wrong ones. Don't need to run them down. Acknowledged. Orders received. We have the duty. It shall be done. Eagle claw. Okay, you go run out this way. See if you can distract some units out that way. Same thing with Imric. We'll bring him back pretty quickly. Stop firing. We will obey. As you say. Yeah. Don't have them waste ammunition on garbage like that. Taking 
Okay, we can resume firing. That was their one and only menace below, and it didn't do that much. Good. See how they've got units trying to chase after these ones here, which they'll never catch? That just means there's fewer units coming over this way, making it you know, less pressure on them. And we have the Eagles. Yeah, trying to get them even further back. Yeah, look at what they've done here. They've sent a disproportionate amount of troops chasing units that they can't catch. Oh shit, I'm hitting my front line there. Shoot the fucking poison wind globe it is. Alright, there's Snitch. Yeah, I was gonna say, try to get away from that fucking ability there. Alright, if we get this one over here and pop down this ability, we might even be able to break uh, Snitch. Alright, got him. I checked the save I made, I was mistaken, I was not at sea, I was in Galleon's graveyard, sorry about that. Fucking told ya! But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> That's alright. Good. I can't even be a good moderator, let alone psychologist. It's really it's really easy, Opera Lars. You, you can do just fine, okay? You just gotta not say things that might offend people, and that's it. It's that easy. You don't even have to time out people or keep everything in chat. Just, just don't say that stuff. You know, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, but it, it bad enough for it to cause problems. Especially considering it was just like out of the blue. It just, um, like I'm not going to repeat what you said, um, in case people were wondering. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't witty or funny, it was just like, just, let me just randomly spew out a word. Why? You know, that's all. Just why. Alright, so force marching over here was a good call. Alright. The longer they keep that under siege, I, I don't expect that to, to stay under siege for much longer. They're going to assault it. But... Yeah, this one here is next. It's all just garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak your mind. Honorably done. Oh, great. 
they're recruiting a new army over here, that means we need to recruit more troops. <laughs> okay. They can recruit way fast. I'm going to need to globally recruit as well. i got enough money to get through the turn. Do you... Okay, yeah, go... Um, yeah, I don't need you. Not worth going over there. Just let Illyrian take it. Okay. Man, that relieves a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure there. Servant of the king, Prince Eltharion. Oh, hang on. There's no... I gotta win three battles against Greenskins. There's no... There's no battle there. For Fangsword. Yeah, I've just gotta... I've gotta win battles against Greenskins. Um... That'll just happen when it happens. If at all. Alright, well... Let's... Okay. Yeah, that might come in handy. You may look upon me. Hmm. All right, so now we've we've got five active armies. Magic in yeah, I'm gonna need to recruit more into this. Because whatever they're recruiting over here, I'm gonna have to fight it. No two ways about it. Let me just see if any of these confederations are possible at the moment. Nah, this Safari thing fucking ruined a lot of things. Make your petition and leave this place. God, I have heard tales of your when Lowick Dan come in peace. How's he going? He is making progress against uh, Nagaron there. That's good. We shouldn't be seeing any Nagaron forces for a little while. I don't expect him to win, but at least he's making some progress. Yep. Relieving some pressure on us while we deal with this crap. Uh, if I was to sally out here, just to have a look, what, what are we dealing with here? Yeah, there's... Oh, yeah, there's no way that uh, when they attack we're going to be able to win. We're just too badly damaged. But lose. Hang on. What if I? No, I can't peace out. Dangerous place for unwelcome. Just gonna have to deal with it. I'm actually surprised they came down here. They're usually very passive. The Grim Prince. But obviously, I can't justify sending any more resources up that way. Okay. Here's something that we need to do. Let's build a archive because I have not recruited a single wizard yet. I could probably use an entrepreneur. Money's a bit tight. And then over here, we could use another um, Elven Garden. We could use another Noble. And it's growing pretty quickly still. So we should be able to get this to tier 5 and then we get rid of all of these growth buildings. Alright, don't spend any more. I don't spend any more right now. I, feel the winds. I have a feeling that that army will attack the Griffin Gate. I think I can beat it. We'll see. Uh, Mobius, excuse me, 99305 did a HUF400 super chat. Alario the Ever meme. Okay, thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, do you know what might be good? If I pop this down. I'll be able to destroy their siege towers when they come in. Um, this is at um, Arnheim. The world is far below. Ah, I already got one of those. Got the same item twice. Guess you can wear it. Alright, cool. Nothing wrong with magic resistance in Wormer 2. Alright, let's move on. Can't do anything else.
Got to leave some money in reserve. Yeah, rather than coming at me with honor, <laughs> let's talk about it. the AI has no honor. They want to go for the settlement. Um, I'm inclined to sort of let them take the settlement. Oh, but if I go near it, they'll just sack it because they're fucking cowards. This is why fighting Skaven in that area is such a pain. Oh, what the hell? They backed off Toran Rock. Oh no, um, Safari took the Eagle Gate there. Fucking idiots. Even the Probably globally recruiting something. Alright, well, taking Evershale back is going to, um... At the very least, allow us to re-establish trade agreements. Welcome, fellow Asa. What would you wish to discuss? Which will yeah, definitely help with our finances a little bit. Very well. You may I bid you welcome to the court of the Phoenix King. I agree. Loyal, make your petition and leave. Protect. I will receive your petition in the name of the Phoenix King. I will see to it. But yours is a short span. So why do you seek me out? Very well. All right, cool. I think that made a pretty big difference there. Uh, we shouldn't upgrade this because we're fairly close to getting to tier five. Uh, just don't want to waste that growth. Isha's chosen. So yeah, if I go into the stance here, we can fight the dragon armor of an Aryan battle. Which will give us some loot cash. <laughs> loot cash. Give us some loot. Yeah, it's not a difficult fight. Yeah, just a little bit. Do you any way to cheese Kislev mage school traits? Nope. Just saves coming, I guess. How long are you going to take this in zombie main list when we see this is in, in all armies? Uh, if I did that, it would derail the campaign. It would derail the campaign if you do that. If you want to go all sisters spam, then you don't want to be fighting a war on three fronts, which is exactly what we're doing here. We're fighting in Ulf 1, in Lustria, and in the Badlands. So I would have to give up one of those grounds in order to... to justify making our armies more expensive. But the thing is, our army's quality is not really the problem. The problem is just overextended. But we're gaining ground in some areas. Specifically in Lustria. Lustria fighting's going pretty well. Too tight there, but just shoot anyway. It's organized. So good. Wait, did I? No, oh, that didn't work. Okay, try to shoot down Malekith. 
Why no mages in your army? Because I haven't built the mage building yet. You don't really need a, a wizard in your armies most of the time, but they definitely do help. High elf armies are strong enough that, yeah, they don't have to have mages in the army. But also, getting more mages requires you to get to tier 4, unless you're playing as a uh, techless. Which we only just got to tier 4, but I, I can't, I just can't afford them. <laughs> we have a financial crisis at the moment. Yeah, this campaign got a little bit derailed. here please there we go and techless never showed up did me world of free <laughs> yeah, Teclas has never showed up to the battle. I think he shows up if you take a certain amount of damage, which we just didn't take. Yeah, he never showed up. Why is Safri so aggressive? Does it make sense in lore? Uh, it's just a random trait that they got. Uh, just got unlucky with it. You can start a bunch... So yeah, every time that you start a new campaign, it randomly gives various minor high elves different traits. Wary, aggressive, defensive, um, ardent. Ideally, you want them all to be defensive and all to be ardent. That's what you want. But that's not what happened. Nah, take the money. Just stay there. I don't want to have to go back here. <laughs> All right, here's where... Toran Rock's tier three. Ancestors be praised. Protector of the Ever Queen. What I could do is go after Toran Rock this turn. Uh, not this turn, next turn. And have him clean up this while Alariel goes around this way. Cleans up that. Or I could have him go this way, and then Alari will go that way. I don't know which would be better. Probably Alari will go down that way. Yeah, Tyrion go this way. Resistant one is still there, but I don't have capacity for it. Unless I got rid of this one here, but I, I need a scout. All right, we still got to decide what to do here. All right, I can force march to here. It's far less likely this one is going to be a problem, but if I just keep going back and forth, we're not making any progress. If I stand there in force march, even if it isn't Snitch, the chances of them ambushing us is actually pretty high. But, it is mostly Skaven Slaves, so we should be able to deal with it. The other thing is, no, if I stand right here, and they sack it, they'll just run off this way. Or I could just let them take it, and go back over to the Flayed Rock and try to prevent that from falling. All right, here's a really risky move that I'm going to do. This is pure balls, because we need it, because of the money. I'm going to force march to here. 
Now this is really, I would not advise doing this normally. This is really fucking stupid, right? Um, this guy could turn around and attack us. And this one here could jump in the underway and stand there. I could be going up against both armies over the end turn. Now, if he jumps in the underway, we have a chance of intercepting him. So that could be good. But yeah, I've just got to use some risky maneuvers here. Otherwise, I'm just going to be running around um, constantly. And that's just not what I want to be doing. So if you have a look at this army, 13 units. Hmm. Stand in ambush? You can't, I can't change the stance. Oh, I can if I tag him out. Um, but the thing is, what I'm trying to do here is lure this army away. So I'm taking a risk. But if I go into ambush stance, he's just going to take the Shattered Cove. I want to try to beat both of their armies at once. They're both garbage armies, but they have a chance of ambushing us. Um, 40%. Alright, I'm just going to make our way over here, but in any camp stance, because I don't want to get caught. Destruction. Keep an eye on the stuff. Alright. Do not expect a welcome. Yeah, they won't peace out now. Alright, now over here, it's time to get rid of Silostra. Easier to resolve here. Bye bye. A new sanctuary for the asset. Okay. So that should have wiped them out, I believe. Yep, the drown's finished. Okay, cool. Uh, we could tax the region. Province. Um, no, li yeah. Living up being taxed for now. Let's get rid of some of this corruption. Now what we want to do is uh, take on the Hunts Marshal Expedition. There's a lot of profit to be had down here. Or I could just disband him. Nah, be aggressive. Alright, what do we need? What I need is this, and other things. Yeah, Unyielding March is really good. Sweet, game froze for a moment. Okay. You have my attention. Alright, I might attach him into the army. My life for Tor for uh, replenishment for a few turns. And let's put him on an eagle. Because, yeah, that'll help. So, yeah, he's going to swing around over here and attack up through this way. And Alariel's going to swing around and then go about this way. Cavill, you just keep an eye on... Go, go into here and keep an eye on stuff. Alariel the Everqueen. Let's go with that. And you still need to recruit another unit. But yeah, we've got enough money to get through the next few turns. So yeah, I am trying to build a, a wizard's building over here. That'd really help. And then over here, let's get the Sisters of Avalon building. So I can get more handmaiders. Not so much for Sisters of Avalon. Wake me up to $2 to be chat. How do you move units while information? Hold down Alt and click and drag. Thanks to be chat. And yeah, we need wizards. No, but this building's cheaper. Okay, don't spend any more. Just leave it at that. Oh, I still need to do those ones as well. Just need to get more cash. So yeah. This could very easily backfire on us, but both of these armies are complete trash. So, if you have a look at the chance of being ambushed, it's 40 plus 25 minus 60, because he's got 60% reduced ambush success chance. Um, if this guy here is cunning or sneaky, you know, 
may guarantee an ambush. However, if they do ambush us, we could probably wipe out one of their armies before the other one shows up. So I'm counting on that to happen. Is Tekla still alive? No, he got wiped out. Yeah, this campaign took a little bit of a turn for the worse today. A few curveballs. Alright, clandestine coming up. What are they going to do? Uh, there were more forces over here than I thought. But they're not going for, um... For that. Um... Uh, Okay, they take the settlement, then I just take it right back off them. Unfortunately, we didn't lure them out, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, there's no way I can win that. Yeah, unfortunately, that little camp... They, c they could have beaten me if they had tried. That's actually the best thing that we could have asked for them, for them to do, because that's... They don't own it. God, they have so many armies. Alright, we'll be able to wipe out all of those forces quite easily. So that's... good, I guess. That's it. Send all your forces down south so we can get a nice quick jump on you. Loving the game of cat and mouse, you have a clinician. Ugh, it's not what I like to do, but it is what it is. Alright, well, we have to fight it manually, but we know we can win this because... We already fought them once. This will be a lot easier, because last time it said decisive defeat, and we still managed to beat them. All we got to do... Yeah, waste all that ammo. That'll make them super easy to beat. In fact, we, we probably don't even need to do that to win, but it would help. Should I do it? Yeah, because if I take a lot of damage, they'll run back, recruit, and then come back again before we've replenished. Pumping casualty, three stacks out of one settlement. Yeah... Clannition will do that, but it's probably full of trash. they got, like, loads of Skaven slaves. Alright, I'm not going to bother hiding this time. I think we'll be fine. Because I can still use the Phoenix. And, yeah, it'll be fine. This will just save a bit of time. while they're advancing. Okay, that's all fine. That's it, with all the archers hanging back here. We should easily be able to handle these guys. We're not taking much damage. Everything's working out just fine. And yeah, make sure we wipe out as many of them as possible. Because Tyrion will be over here soon, and he'll he'll finish the job. Easy battle. 
And didn't have to take as long as last time. Make sure this one here dies. Is that the same one as last time? No, I don't think so. He's got a different skill set. Good. Talking property in the chat. Yeah, I've become fairly accustomed to property stuff um, over the past few years in Australia because um, I bought a house, which ended up being one of the best investments of my life. It was actually my wife's idea. <laughs> I was like, eh, why don't we just rent? Let's pay so much money for a house, but it actually, it's gone up in value a lot. And so is rent. So, man, I'm glad we're not renting anymore. I feel really bad for people that um, are renting. Like, if you're in your 30s and you're renting in Australia now, that's not good. Ulth <laughs> one united. Really? Right when the civil war started. Sorry if it's up top topic. <laughs> Off topic. Uh, it's not a bad topic though. Every, you know, everyone needs to have a home. So they'll probably ruin all that. That just bought us extra time. And these two armies here are about to get wrecked. Carried by magic. All right. According to that, I won't be able to make it there if I stand there. If I stand here, I can still go into encamp stance. All right. I might be able to make it there next turn. They're still recruiting, so. To ruins. Well, we'll see. We'll Brave see. Be a full stack, but we just got to be ballsy. Just got to do it. Brave but this is good over here. They seriously made a stupid move by capturing Flayed Rock instead of attacking. Wait, wasn't that on Force March? Triumph lies this way. There. Well, I can kill. Th what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Well, it's going to be stuck over here. Unless it runs out this way, which it might very well do that. Unless I sack this settlement. Attack them. I'm not sure if I've got enough movement. But yeah, we can't let their armies get away. Ugh, God, I have to find it manually. It's an easy settlement type to attack, so not a problem, but just a waste of time. UK property is bonkers, gone up 30% in the last year alone. The average price is 300 pounds for a simple house. Yeah. Yeah. So that's comparable to Australia. So I think, three, generally speaking, when it comes to pounds, you multiply it by two, and I think you get Australian dollars. I could be wrong about that. Let me just check. What's the um, so it's, uh, G B P to AUD. Oh no, it's a uh, 1.7. Oh, but that's actually that's actually correct. So yeah, you said 300,000 pounds would get you a house. So 300,000 pounds translates to 530,000 Australian dollars for a simple house. Yeah, that's that's how much you have to pay in Australia for a simple house. Yep. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Eagle Claw. The 
Crown Prince Ascend! The AI tends to get out of Force March randomly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Shouldn't be a problem. We've got everything we need here to win. Inflation is too high, they will raise interest rates, which will crash the housing market. There's a bubble at the moment on housing inequality. Oh, equity. Um, yeah, you could be right about that. I don't know if that'll happen in Australia. Ah, oh, piss. That will be okay. If I look, if I sack the settlement, it'll fully restore. I think most of that was friendly fire. I tell you what, if the housing bubble does burst, I'm gonna buy me some property <laughs> if I can. Because the history will just keep repeating itself. If it go goes down and goes back up. Mostly just keeps going up. I think the problem is that in most, at least it is in Australia, the. Um, the price of housing is going up faster than the wage increases and so it becomes more and more difficult for people to get their first home or they take longer and longer to um to pay it off for just like small house I don't have any area of effect abilities apart from the artillery, and they can't hit there. Problem here is that most of the units here are... Oh my god. Get over here. Holy shit. No, stop firing. Man, using the artillery in here will get me hundreds, if not thousand kills. Because Imric's not really taking any damage, and I can heal him, so just keep that up. Don't even bother using this. I actually don't want to do damage. I want the artillery to do it. We'll be protected because we got rid of this. Praying for it to burst. I'm ready to get in. Yeah, well, here's the thing. So, people who don't have a house, it is... Or people... I shouldn't say not necessarily people who don't have a house. People who um, are looking to buy would benefit from it bursting. But people looking to sell would not benefit from it at all. Because obviously, the house might be less than what you paid for it. It's the same in the UK. My dad saved for five years to outright buy his house. In the UK, you save for five years just for the deposit of a house. Yeah. And isn't it great how our parents' generation's like, eh, all you have to do is work hard and you can buy a house. From successful streamer to real estate tycoon? Nah. Nah. I just, I just think property is a, um, a more reliable investment than fucking crypto or whatever. Crypto is... Oh my... I fucking hate crypto. <laughs> it's just gambling. Alright, the artillery is uh, not getting as many kills as I would have liked. But that's fine. Let's pull him out of there. Oh, uh, no, no, hang on. There's another blob forming. You can keep shooting. Don't invest in people's basic needs. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, the, part of the problem is that a few people own all the properties. I only own one house. I only one, own one house.
Yeah, right before Warhammer 3 came out, I uh, put all of my uh, money into a coin called TW3. TWW3. And then, like, about a week later, it fucking crashed. Lost all my fucking money. <laughs> yeah, don't buy TWW3 coin. It fucking sucks. It's down, like... 93% from what I originally invested into. <laughs> but I hear that the, I hear good things about TWW3 Part 2. So we'll see how that goes. How reliable does Bingus token sound? Probably not. Oh right, he can't move. Total Warmer 2 coin still growing strong. Yeah, I, I didn't sell off all of my TW2 coin, you know, so yeah, get through. It's still down like 50%. Still down. Fucking storm vermin there. Hiding around the corner. The problem with TWW3 is that it's tied to CR coin. What's CR coin? You mean CA coin? Yeah, don't invest in CA coin. That's that's fucking dodgy as shit. I'm gonna show up say it if IE blows too, the Worm Trilogy is dead. Oh yeah, for sure. If if uh, Immortal Empires blows, if it doesn't do well, uh Worm 3 is dead. It'll never recover. Yeah, hundred percent. There's no question in my mind. If it if it fails, and I think CA is aware of this, if it fails, Worm 3 is is dead in the water. It'll never ever recover. It'll essentially have pulled the Dawn of War 3. But that being said, I don't think that'll happen. Still holding on my TW3 coin. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. He's got a huddle. Oh, there can't be that much left. If it's all just Skaven slaves, let the um, let the birds handle it. To be shooting high value targets. Don't want IE to fail. Yeah, I don't think anybody really wants IE to fail, except if you weren't actually invested in the project at all to begin with. Like people who who people who hate Total War Warhammer in the first place and were never ever going to give it a chance, they're probably rooting for Warhammer 3 to fail. Because that way maybe Creative Assembly will turn to its um, other projects. You know, other other styles. Yeah. 
of games. I hope I haven't uh, screwed myself over here by wasting all of my ammo and there's like rat ogles or something in here. I didn't actually check. Alright, can we kill this dude? And that should cause the army losses. Most of the bounds of power is probably on him. Ah, oh, there we go. We got him. It'd be really hard to fuck IE up. The minor settlement battles are pretty good, and most updates were good. Just like you said, the Realm of Chaos sucked. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I pretty much agree with that. The minor settlement battles turned out to be a bit of a mix can. Because some people hate them, but I think it's not that the minor settlement battles are bad, I think it's the frequency of the minor settlements battles. It's like too many of a good thing can turn out to be a bad thing. J Tips did a ten dollar super chat. Is there a similar cheese for sieges in Wormer 3? Uh in okay, so for major settlements, major ward settlements, the biggest cheese I can think of is rushing into the town square. And just capping it before the garrison can do anything. That's probably the biggest one. It's difficult to do that in Warhammer 2 because the settlements are much smaller and they always leave somebody at the town square. Alright, sack it. Alright, I might end up getting everything that I wanted. The star No contest at all. So that's a dead army. How are we going to make it back over here? Oh, no, we don't. Uh, Still, at least we got rid of their armies. That's as. We didn't want that army, uh, you know, running around anymore. I can take this settlement. I know how to do it. I won't do that exploit, though. Not here. Oh, I could do this. Yeah, fuck it. The game threw such a big curveball at me. Screw him. Forward. Witness my stride. Yeah, good shit. I only need one move point. Avalon's finest. Uh, let's see. That's not that useful. That's not useful at all. That's not useful right now. Uh, I guess moving towards Lightning Strike is pretty good. There's another army running around though. Yeah, this one over here, but it'll probably ruin Dwell that. Probably. And then there's this one over here. So yeah, it's kind of difficult to kill all the Eshin armies quickly. That's part of the problem of um, dealing with Eshin. It's always good if they're distracted, but they're not. Yeah, we gotta leg it over here. Alright, that's fine. That one might sail over here, and we might just be fucking chasing them forever. We fight for the greater good. We will not be held. What do you think the next Total War title will be? Um, I think some iteration of Three Kingdoms 2 is next. Still doesn't want to confederate. So yeah, I'll confederate Illyrian. Probably won't take much to do it. Which means I'll end up with these settlements here as well. Okay, I got a little bit of money I can spend. We're, we're starting to sort out the problem. It's it's getting a little bit better. Uh, that's probably going to fall. Batten down the hatches. 
Yeah, second and resistance right there, but I, I just can't recruit them. Oh, uh, actually, no, I can get one of them. If I get rid of this one here. Why don't we use the... As much as resistant is really good. Oh, okay, I know. I can get both. I just got to get rid of this one here. She's been really good, but it's time for her to go because she doesn't have a good trait. But she's level 233. No, no, no. Die. <laughs> you have a good trait or die. Okay, then we can use the fecund one here to help grow this area. Handmaiden of Alario. Right. And then Tyrion can get a new resistant one over here. Which will make his entire army a lot stronger. Like, we'll be stronger now with this one attached than we were with the higher rank one. Protector. Handmaiden of Alario. Why not both? I did get both. All right, Hunts Marshall Expedition. I want your money. So they probably like me, don't they? Let's get on with this. Yeah, uh, they they like me a little bit. Seems silly to start a new war, but I can handle it. The Empire, I will avenge. Yeah, I'll be able to handle it. Foolish thing, no! Okay. Uh, Cab will just stay here and keep an eye on this border so that um, we really don't want anybody attacking this. I just want a heads up if somebody attacks it. Don't upgrade this because we want to rush tier 5. Other trade deals? Uh, I re-established trade. They're making me a fair amount of money. Let me have a look. I can't get any more right now. Public order there is fine. We got rid of most of the chaos corruption. Alright, Alario leveled up. It's good. There you go. Getting your magic sorted. And if we have a look over, yeah. So my two, oh shit, I'm actually spending too much money. I have to cancel something. That'll have to wait. Okay, there was a follower on that other one that was really useful that I want to put back in here. Yeah, these two. Because we don't want a revolt to occur. Yeah, leave that be. Your here is now here's the thing. I am still willing to give Safari a peace treaty. Because I would still much rather confederate than conquer their territory. So I'll give them this chance. No. Well, let me just see, let me just see. If I go to Safari, I would still much rather confederate them. They're losing the war. It's not that much influence. I think I, I think I could do it. Because otherwise... Otherwise it knocks down the, the settlement level of the White Tower of Hoeth. This might be quicker. 
Fuck it, we got plenty of influence. <laughs> so, relationship is heading back up to 77. Fellow Asa, I bid you welcome. We'll see how this. <laughs> I make some funny noises. Right, one big investment to try to just get this fucking stain of Ulthwan out of here. Also, are you expecting IE early access from CA before it comes out? Um, I try not to expect anything. It creates an entitlement complex. Um, I should get it, but I don't expect it. Yeah, basically, I kind of expected a, a lot of things to happen during the early access of Warhammer 3 that didn't, like a lot of collaboration stuff with CA, and yeah, it just didn't end up happening. Um, and so it really, 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 really pissed me off. Um... So yeah, I think the best course of action with CA is to expect nothing, and if you get anything, be grateful for it, because otherwise... Yeah, it's just not worth it. Um, is there a chance that we can win this? Let me have a look at the map. Give it a shot. We've got the Vol Anvil's ability. They'll probably have some on, on uh, Siege Towers. But yeah, we're just really badly damaged. I've got to use the Gate Bug here. There's no way we can win this without it. Problem is, though, all of these super experienced Dread Spears that have probably never seen a fight are going to easily take over the walls, especially if they're on Siege Towers. In before betrayed again. Hey, they can't betray me if I don't sign any treaties with them. Just just straight up get the confederation. Alright, so we've got... Alright, all the cavalry is coming over this way. Wait, have they got a ram? Okay, you can't really gate bug the ram. I'll I just do the best I can. If we don't end up winning, what are you going to do? You know, the odds are just not even close to being in our favor. You never know, sometimes fighting these battles you'll end up with a lucky win. Just don't know. Alright, I think this outright destroys them now? I'm not sure, maybe it's half. Oh yeah, it outright destroys them. Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take two minutes for that one to get here. But that unit... Took a lot of damage. I expect nothing and I'm still let down. Yeah, okay. Well, I, de I definitely had expectations with uh, Warhammer 3. And uh, I was let down. I guess my expectations were too high. Still, yeah. thing is, the expectations were built upon past experiences. I didn't, like, expect... I didn't think I expected anything unreasonable, but, yeah. Oh, well. If he's under NDA, he can't. Yeah. Yeah, if I do get early access to um, Immortal Empires, I won't be able to talk about it. Which is one of the most annoying things about early access. Can't even confirm you've got it. Yeah, we'll never hold the walls here. Uh, Moon Magic, the Tendo Super Chat. PSA narrator voice. Kids never elf while high. Okay, thanks, Super Chat.
Okay, that won't destroy a section of wall because you can't destroy it now that it's indestructible because of the ladders. When you put a ladder up on the wall, it makes it indestructible for some reason. But yeah, that's just how it is. I guess there were some issues with ladders being destroyed. Alright, we've essentially only got two units here. No, not even that. Combine them all together, it's like one and a, a little bit. So, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> the defenses just don't provide enough defenses for this to, to actually matter. But what we might be... Uh, nah, there's no hope. Try and wipe out a unit if possible. There's no hope. But we did some damage to them, so auto resolve wouldn't have done that. I'm not sure if either of those units got wiped out. But they will probably merge the Spearmen into another unit. Wormuth well, doesn't really suck, it just doesn't have great re replayability. Yeah, and I think it's it's not that it sucks, it's that it's, it's uh, below expectations. Use Vol's Hammer? I did use Vol's Hammer. You can't use it while they're on the ground, it doesn't do anything. They have to be up on the wall or on a siege equipment. But if you use it on an indestructible section of wall, it doesn't do anything. We destroyed one siege tower with it, but it just didn't do anything, really. We were just too badly outpowered. Isha honors Your reach grows yet further, great lord. Your endless victories are changing the very fates themselves. The world falls before your incredible power. So, relationships increasing if we offered them money. Oh, I can't offer them a gift. Honored guest, I bid you welcome to the Phoenix Court. You shall stand with us. Fuck it, I just need to get this relationship up as quickly as possible. Okay, so, rather than going up through this way, I'm still confident that I can confederate them. <laughs> just used up a lot of my influence. Um, still confident that I can do it. We'll take out these idiots. Right. I'm going to take out the gate because it'll weaken them, making them more susceptible to a peace treaty. Know that their army's there. Yep, it has to be fought manually, but it shouldn't be a problem. We have everything we need here to win. Uh, I may need a little bit of cheese. I, th I think I managed though. What is that income? Just overextended. You watch, in the next few turns, it'll go into green. I just need like one or two more turns. Uh, I think I'll deploy over here. This this area here's got um, some good stuff going for it. I really wish I had banishment. That would have been really helpful here, but we're, I think, like one level away from it. This is a pretty ballsy attack. We're outnumbered two to one. But I think I can manage. We have to get rid of just one piece of... Oh, shit. Yeah, just get rid of one piece of artillery should be enough. I mean, one, one tower, that is. Roger Rabbit did a five dollar super chat. It's more fun to watch when you don't steamroll the AI. Thanks for the great content. All right, thanks, dude. Um, yeah, that's fine if it's more fun to watch it, but I'm still I'm not gonna hold myself back. We we just had a bad run of luck. Ah, damn it, that shot hit. 
All right, I see. It's going to aim for it if I don't stand here. Shit, I need to I need to reform a little bit. Acknowledged for duty. Under her protection. Ever onward. Alariel the Ever Queen. Forward. Restoring order. Do you think the wall defense on the Fort Siege on Empire Total War would be a good feature to bring in back? Uh, there's just about nothing from Empire Total War that should be brought back. Okay, I gotta get everyone over here. Alright, now. When it comes to shooting to... Oh, man. I actually kind of wish I had gone over here. Alright, we need to create a breach here. Problem is, the trees are a bit in the way there, so we need to move forward a little bit. Yeah, because if I make a breach in here, I'll be able to shoot all this shit. One thing that we have to do in this battle is waste at least the ammunition that's on the guys up on the walls. And we need to be very careful about what we're shooting. Now the thing is, because we've got a fairly experienced army, we should be okay to... Um, go into melee as long as this here destroys one full army. We should be like, at least one full army. Make it an army and a half. By the way, Skull's event was announced early June, so we might get some trailer or maybe even an FLC. Um, don't get your hopes up. Okay, now if you stand over here, I might be able to shoot in there and do a ton of damage. Because, yeah, currently we haven't killed that many of them. We need to get more kills. Damage is not bad, but we need to do a bit better. Hmm, that's really not as good as I was hoping it would be. I think we're doing a lot of damage, though. Oh no, it was doing a lot of damage. Just this one here wasn't. Okay, bring it over to... It's not active. Bring it over to here. A lot of Lotho and Seaguard. We can outrange them. Alright, that's, that's doing a lot of damage. Cool. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that number of kills. Alright, now for a bit of, bit of garbage. We need to um, try to waste as much ammo out here as possible. Especially the ones up on the walls. Playing Skarsnik on Legendary, and I've no idea how you didn't go insane. Belligar has one settlement left and still has three full stacks with Hardy. It's a pain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some campaigns in this game, right, um, where when you pick a certain faction, their sort of like nemesis faction becomes ridiculously powerful. So, for example, in this campaign, our nemesis faction is the um, Harganeth, which is why they actually invaded Ulthlan, which usually they don't. Um, not without, you know, waiting ages. Um, but in the Skarsnik campaign, it is Belagar. He gets mega, mega cheats. And yeah, it just becomes such a pain in the ass, even early on in the campaign. The thing is, early game goblins struggle so hard against um, dwarfs, unless you've got, like, nasty skulkers. Wouldn't three or four artillery be better for your armies? Not necessarily. In this situation here, but in field battles, not so much.
Now, when our archers come in over here and shoot into this big blob, we should get a ridiculous amount of damage done, which is what we absolutely need. If you want to win this. Are there any 10 out of 10 lords in Wemmoth 3? Uh, Kairos is probably a 10 out of 10 lord. However, if they ever patch out the... Um, no, no, even if they patch out the Unlimited Winds of Magic, I'd still say Kairos is 10 out of 10. Even with the maximum of 140 Winds of Magic reserves, you could still get the Chromatic Tome. Um, yeah, he's just such a good spellcaster. He boosts his entire army by a lot, and he boosts his entire faction by a lot. So yeah, he qualifies as a 10 out of 10 Lord. Okay, move these two back. And let's bring four up to begin with. Because those are just... Oh no, Gate Guard have 880 range. So we have to get rid of that range. Get rid of that ammo. I just nasty skulked Bella Gaius Garsnick and then use Fanatics to take care of Gate Peaks. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you can do it. You definitely can do it. But it, it can be a very big pain in the ass if you don't. Get a lot of momentum early on in the Scar uh, Snick campaign. Gotta take out Karak Norn pretty much straight away, and then just beeline straight for Beligar, and hope that he hasn't re um, recruited anything important. Or even better still, try to get um, Karak Izor when he's left the settlement to come and attack you, because your settlements don't matter. I just got to get rid of the ammo on the walls. From what people say, Scarbrand was the best, so it's nice to hear your opinion on it. Scarbrand is very good. He doesn't really boost his army at all. Um, he is a good fighter, but... Like, a really good fighter, but... In many ways, Kairos is better. Not, not in melee, but... He's better at... Um, inflicting loads of casualties, which is kind of more important. Um, and also he can do it without taking damage himself. But yeah, some people are just going to prefer Kairos or Scarbrand over one another, and that's fine, whichever one you prefer. There's no right or wrong answer, but I, I do think that... Um, like, if you, if you go with a Scarbrand versus Kairos, Scarbrand actually can't beat Kairos at all, because Kairos, all he has to do is just not land. Okay, I think they're so bunched up that they'll actually be obstructed. Yeah, we are getting really good kills. They are firing back at us, but I think they're quite obstructed. Try to get a Lariel over there. See if she can draw some of their fire away. We got more units coming up on the wall there. Back off. Yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. We got a lot of kills in. Let's have a look at the damage. Eh, it was alright. There were a lot of shields in there as well. Did Gate Guard have shields? No.
Banishment right now would be gold. Yeah, I know. We're only one level away from getting it as well. Maybe I should have gone down the magic line a little bit earlier. I think the blue line was important as well. We had quite a few good wins from Lightning Strike against Marathi. But yeah, the problem here is that we're just up against a lot. The Shogun 2 crash a lot? No, it's pretty stable. Yeah, Shogun 2 is probably like the best made Total War game and just in terms of everything that it sets out to do, it kind of does really well. There's very few bugs and glitches. There are, but there are few. Um, the problem with Shogun 2 is that I don't feel like it's ambitious in its scope on the campaign map. On the battle, it's fine. Uh, but on the campaign map, its uh, scope is pretty lame. I always found the campaign for Shogun 2 just to be kind of boring. Right, just had to get rid of those ones. And we go back over here and try again. Good, shoot at them. They're not firing back at us. That's what we want to see. Oh man, I'd love a banishment right now. That is inflicting really good damage on them. And they just can't fire back because they're so blobbed up. Okay, that one's starting to fire back. Okay, move back again. Alright, we got we got really good value out of that. But we have to get 2 to 1 value ratio, as in each one of our units has to kill off 2 of theirs. So looking at that, 89 kills. Yeah, that one's doing well. Oh, that's another thing. They have summons. Alright, we need to get them to waste their summons. Maybe... Oh, okay, I know how to do this. If I get a little bit of a swoop going. There we go. They summon that unit and then just run away from it. Doesn't do much, but it is a waste of bounce of power. Okay, they've got some artillery pieces over here. That's worth a ton of bounce of power. And there's no way that our archers are going to be able to shoot at it. And if we get in too close and they start shooting at our archers, that's not good. So, wasting that ammo seems like a good call. Good, we're not taking much damage, but these guys here just keep reforming. They're not shooting at us. It would be good if we can get them to shoot themselves. Let's see if I can manage that. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to fight. Bye bye. Okay, at least they've wasted another one. How much magic do we have? Alright, plenty. I'm definitely going to have more than I need to heal fully. Yeah, I've not used up enough of that ammo.
Yeah, they just keep reforming. Still, everyone else shooting at us is wasting their bounce. I kind of just want them all to get into to a good position and shoot at me like crazy. Just exhaust their ammunition from all units. Then my archers can come in and just shoot with impunity. Alright, we're getting close to our maximum heal. So I've got to be a bit more careful because there's still a fair amount of artillery ammo to deal with. And if we lose Alariel, we're in big trouble. But yeah, they just blob up, so they don't shoot properly. Oh, time to get out of there again. Okay, that should be the last one of those. That's three. Alright, so what's going on over here? There are no missile unit. Oh no, there are a few, but not much. Okay, let's go back over there and shoot a bit more. Such a tedious siege. Oh well, we're gonna do it. Alright, well that's a big portion of our archers spent. Could still use them in melee if we absolutely have to. I'd rather not though. Fucking archers. So we didn't miss much? No, he didn't. I think we're still on track for victory. Oh, piss. What happened there? Careful. Oh, right, I see what happened there. Alright, the artillery's... One of them's used up most of their ammo. The other one seems to be at about half. Use your own artillery on the blob? I, I kind of can't. I'd have to land, and landing's a big risk. If I land, I won't be able to get back up. Plus, they're using single shot, not multi-shot. Okay, good. They're firing a lot quicker now. Using up their ammo a bit faster. Good. That one ran out of ammo. And I think we just said, yep, another one ran out of ammo over here. What do we got? A few guys with ammo left. It definitely is a good idea to try to get them to shoot their own troops sometimes, but this is just a situation where it could just so easily backfire. Good, one of their artillery pieces is just about out of ammo. That's really good. Okay, one down. And the other one's pretty close to running out. Yeah, that one there's down to about a quarter ammo. Still gonna try to waste all this one's ammo at the same time if we can. 
Now, wasting all of these guys' ammo here will mean that we don't need to kill quite as much of the garrison. So we should um, target the things like the um, the white lines of grace. Any sort of really strong melee units with our ammunition. Don't shoot at archers that have used up all their ammo. Because we definitely don't have enough ammo to kill off the entire army here. Have you ever played Co-op Warhammer 2 campaigns? Do you like them? Uh, I've played a couple. Uh, they're okay. I, I find that I get bored of them really quickly, but usually by about turn 30. He's about to run out of ammo. Good. Okay, I think all the Eagle Claw bolt throwers are out. That's good. There's no archers over here. So all of those white lines of craze, they're just asking to get killed. But let's just waste this one's ammo here. Okay, cool. Come back over this way. All right, let's get the next four up. Okay, if they bring archers over here, that could be a bit of a problem. But let's just see how we go. further back. Yep, they're bringing archers over here. Get back, get back. Oh, hang on, hang on. They're facing the wrong way. We're good. In fact, we've got a good angle to shoot at them. You know I swoop? Uh, use swoop as a last resort. Killing this many troops via swooping would take hours. Oh man, I can't. I should have gone the other way. Alright, well I can easily enough shoot up here, but they've used up all their ammo. We definitely don't want to shoot Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. That'd be a waste. Silver and Guard there. Which way are they facing? Yeah, I don't want to shoot them front on. Want to be hitting the white... Okay, but... Oh, fuck. They, um... They used magic. Maybe I can shoot in through this gap. Okay, here we go, here we go. Right, at point blank range there, we should be doing about as much as uh, maximum damage as we possibly can. But yeah, from this angle here, it's just difficult to shoot over their heads. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's fine. Do you consider walls on Tim Kings worth it? Uh, sometimes. Their garrisons are garbage, so you're only doing that to buy extra time, not to actually win the battles. Unless it's like a really weak force that attacks you. But usually, if it's a safe territory, I will demolish the walls and just um, try to build other things that provide some kind of e economic or military value. Like a, a barracks, so that you can increase your capacity of Tomb Guard. Rather than a wall that just sits there doing nothing. Alright, we're inflicting really good kills here. So 
So there's the enemy lord, but I'm not sure if I should target her. Alright, time to bring the next load up. Alright, at this point here, we've probably killed off one full stack's worth of units. Maybe a little bit less, but at least in terms of... Oh, hang on, we got, we got incoming archers over this way. Okay, as far as I can see, there are four units left on the battlefield that still have any kind of ammunition. You know, of the enemy. Successful swoop. Mainly just trying to waste this one's ammo, because that one was moving towards the wall, which would have given me some sort of grief. AI so dim. Yep. I wouldn't have made this attack if I wasn't aware of how stupid they are. There's no way to have won this without doing this. We just never would have gotten close to them. But I just need this war over with. So I need to get one big decisive victory against them. Crush their army here so that they're weak. They like me now, which is which is weird. They're at war with us, but they like us. Once we get out of the war, we should be able to confederate with them pretty much straight away. And then, you know, they did some damage to us. Did some serious damage to us, but ultimately everything will be okay. Alright, I need to kill this one here. She just needs to stop moving. I said stop moving. Good, that's what we need to see. Because we've got a lot of units here that are on the cusp of breaking. So if we kill her... Then they should just run, so I don't have to finish them off. And also, she was casting spells on us. Alright, get back. More archers over here. Could you do this against Worm 3's AI? Uh, yes and no, it depends. There are more limitations than Worm 3, but... It largely depends on whether or not the AI will choose to shoot at the target. So if you're playing as Kairos, because you're big, you definitely can do it because they'll try to shoot at you. In fact, it's easier with Kairos because he's got barrier. When they start taking damage, just run back. Uh, but then you've also got um, you know the towers to worry about as well. Uh, but then again, if we're playing as Kairos, you can just go around casting spells endlessly. Um, so there's different cheeses in Warhammer 3. Like, if we were going up against this size of an army, there's not that many fast units. What if we were playing a Slanesh, for example, and we just rushed the town square and capped it? And then just used summons to uh, to block off... Block them off from coming back. Come on, a little bit more. Okay, good. Back up, you come. Right, I got some more units over here to kill. They've completely abandoned this spot. I think there's only just one unit left that has any ammo. Alright, we want to be aiming for things that are, as far as the game is concerned, high value. Um, look, even the Lothurn Sea Guards here, they're still high value even if they don't have any ammo. At least they're not firing back now. Silver Helms, high value but trashy unit. That would be very bad for us to fight in melee if we have to do that. Okay, this is really good here. Loads of kills incoming. Yeah, banishment would have uh, made this a lot quicker. But don't shoot it like the light archers, because we can fight them in melee if we, have, if we have to. Oh, 
I said not to shoot that one. Although they are a lot easier to get rid of than the others. White Lions of Crace, even though I personally don't like them. Still worth a lot in... Uh, sorry, worth a lot in Bounce Power. We're just trying to get the army losses. But I'm running out of ammo. Alright, we just got five units worth of ammo left. Problem here as well is that we've used up a lot of our bouncer power. I guess the question here is, we should outnumber them, but will we be able to beat them in melee? Because we've got an experience bonus over most of them. Yeah. Should be able to get another 500 kills with them. Because not going to have any trouble taking out Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower crew, for example. But they'll have trouble against Rangers. I don't think there's any um, Swordmasters of Hoeth. Silver and Guard would be good to get rid of. I'm actually worried it's going to say you're losing ground just because of how much ammo we're using up. Rangers, get rid of them. and sea guard no shield so they're easy enough to kill from whatever angle good just keep putting more units up here all right if we do a little bit of a count there are one two three four five six oh god there's heaps of units left okay Try to get rid of some of their shit so they bring better units up here. Because we don't want to shoot Eagle Hall bolt, bolt Thrower's crew. Yeah, just a waste of ammo. Okay, if we can escort some of these guys off the battlefield as well, that'd be good. Uh, what's happening there? No, 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 stop that. Okay, those Silver and Guard are actually facing the wrong way. If we could hit them from here... No, I don't think we can. Watch out, here comes the cavalry. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, it's going to be a close one. I don't think we had Eltharian here. Doesn't have break up on the wall, so... Okay, their cavalry's gone. No one's over there. Okay, Silver and Guard, they're facing the right way, but they're still a high value unit, so we should aim for them. Running out of ammo. Okay, make sure they leave. Because that is 761. Hit points worth a bounce of power that we don't have to waste ammo on. Okay. I think I need to waste this unit's ammo here. I just gotta gain some bounce of power. I think we're really close to inflicting the army losses.
So just any free balance of power that we can obtain will make a big difference here. Because yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that I'll just like shoot the last of my ammo and then have army losses inflicted on me. So we need to make sure that we're doing just as much damage to them. Or actually twice as much damage to them than what's being done to us. Because yeah, these ones can fight, but... I told you. I thought I was close. Good. Now, I doubt this will cause Safari to peace out with us right now, but maybe next turn. Heal to gain Bounce of Power. She had already used up all of her heal. I had healed to maximum. Uh, healing them wouldn't have done anything. We are triumphant. Hey, we're in the green again. That's nice. So just out of curiosity, let's have a look. All right, they still don't want peace, but they are heading towards 63. Champion of the Ever Queen. I don't have any more influence to throw at them. Oh, I got an idea. What what if? Peace Treaty, and what if I break a non-aggression pact with Nagareth? Now that I don't care about that. Break a defensive alliance with Tyrannoch. They don't care. No, they don't care. Okay, well, let's see what else we can do. I really hope I don't have to bloody fight them to the death. Alright, we've got a fight with um, the Hunts Marshall Expedition over here. You're a long way from home. I am Your timing could not be better. The scurvy dogs are due a feed. There we go. Got 500 bucks out of them. And let's go kill them. We probably shouldn't auto resolve it. There's going to be a lot of counter attacks. This will be very easy to fight. Let me just have a look at the map. It should be an easy ground to attack in. Oh, oh, I hate this fucking map. It's the one I hate the most. Um, still gotta do it. God, I, that that map there, I think, is the worst map for archers because it's a really small map. You're flanked by trees, which is bad. Um, you have to go deploy at the front. There's nowhere to ro roll back. And they start off really close to you. So if you've got artillery, your artillery's range is out here. So you're not making use of it. Why do you want peace with Safari? I want to confederate with them because I don't want to have to knock down their settlements down a level. I didn't want this war to begin with. So a confederation would mean that I would get a tier 4 White Tower of Hoeth. Killing them would mean I'd get a tier 3. Well, luckily, we're not up against much here. If we were up against a lot, then that would be a problem, but not up against much. Just um, keep them back. I don't want my artillery shooting at their lords, their heroes. That would be silly. So far, so good. Noble. 
Is hiding in the forest not a good option on this map? Um, not really. Mm, you could. Good, I don't know. Yeah, I guess what I could do is hide all of these troops over here and then run them out that way with the eagle. Uh, that's actually an interesting idea. That could work. And then deploy over here with loads of range. Bit of damage, but better than what auto-resolve would have yielded, I think. Why did Safri declare war on you? It was a very, very stupid situation that the AI doesn't take into consideration. So, I was a defense... I had a... I've essentially united Ulth 1. Well, had united Ulth 1. All remaining... Oh, sorry, all remaining High Elves had a defensive alliance with each other. Um, so, I had a defensive alliance with Kreis... Kothik, Illyrian, Safari, and Tyrannoch. Now, Tyrannoch and Safari hated each other, and Safari got the traits aggressive and also wary, so they hate other High Elves, and they will declare war on anyone that they hate. Now, they had no treaties with each other, so Safari declares war on Tyrannoch, and I have a choice to either break the treaty with Tyrannoch, which will make me unreliable, which will make all of the other High Elves declare war on me, or side with Tyrannoch, which is what happened, and hence this fucking war. So... Now, if you were to do something like that, it, like if you're playing as, um... Like if you declare war on somebody, who they have a, an alliance with one of your allies, you will lose a lot of reliability, but if the AI does that, it doesn't work that way, because they don't actually have a reliability score. They just have a trait, either unreliable or reliable. Um, I don't want to loot this settlement. Okay, we should be okay to maintain public order now. And... Yeah, just get that going. Good, we're in the green again. Progress of a kind. Yep, let's get that. Okay, cool. What else do we need to do? Oh wow, Imric's actually able to reach the Haunted Forest this turn. Well, good. A simple crusade. These fools have no chance. They'll thrive. Okay, now we need to find out if Eshin reoccupied that settlement, which I think they did. Yeah, well, we can actually see they did. So they ruined world it. Okay. Now, if we look over here, I should be able to launch this attack. We have to be aggressive just because of the expense of these armies here. Um, you need to move out of the way a little bit. Uh, go around this way. So, a lot of Skaven slaves. Tier 3 settlement, I think. So we're outnumbered, but our units are just better than theirs. Yeah, it's all just garbage. It's all just garbage. One minutes below. Okay, we get past that one minutes below, we should be fine. What's this map look like? Okay, this is a good map for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good map. No herb. The herbs are valuable to me on tier three. So I definitely want to build the herbs, but right now it's more important that I maintain public order. So we rush growth in public order, get the settlement up to tier three, and then get the herbs. You've all mentioned about the AI don't give a shit about diplomacy. So there, okay, so the AI does give a shit about some diplomacy, but there's just some things that it doesn't check. The AI are not subject to the same rules that you are. You just have to be aware of that. Okay, this would be the best place to set up around the back here. Yeah, that's always been a problem with Total War AI, when they just play by different sets of rules. And in Warhammer 3, they like, really play by different sets of rules, like, big time. That's why there's so much anti-player bias, I think. So this is a really good spot here. But we need to be careful because they're probably going to pop down a menace below there. 
If we're lucky, they'll pop it down on the Lord, which would just be a complete waste. But yeah, we want to stay as far back as possible. This is why that other map sucks, right? This gives us time to set up. We want to just get rid of this Menace Below as quickly as possible. If the Menace Below comes down while they're attacking us, that's a big problem. Okay, good. Easy location there. Okay, don't fire at will. Just let it go, let it go. As soon as it leaves the battlefield, and there we go. Okay, you can get back over there. Not the greatest checkerboard formation ever, but I just need to get on with it. So by charging at them with the Lord here, what that does is just delay them from arriving, giving us more time to shoot them. That looks pretty good. A prudent position. Destiny sends me. Where I predicted. It is my goal. I summon the wind. Okay, there's a storm vermin unit over here. That would be way better for the artillery to shoot. Unlimited power. How do you move units like that? I can't manage it. Um, select the unit, hold down ALT, and then click and drag. It's easy, everyone can do it. Good, victory's in our grasp. See, this is... Do you see how I targeted the Storm Vermin? This is what I keep saying about how Storm Vermin shit. High value units getting targeted will, um, cause the army losses on you. Which is why sometimes it's better to have just armies full of shit. So it doesn't matter how much they boost the Storm Vermin. In fact, boosting the Storm Vermin actually makes them less valuable. This one here can't take that much more damage. Bring it back. And is that the army losses? Should be any moment now. There we go. Alright, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And that's another nail in Eshin's coffin. I don't think Legend shares our love for herbs. No, no, I like the herb building. I'm just not prioritizing it first. Better to use Winston Magic to deal damage? Exactly, yeah. You get way better use out of um, using damage spells than buff spells. Yeah, I know we had a, a you know, that stupid Wissan's Wild Form or whatever it is. It's not good. It wouldn't have done much. Even if I had Winds of Magic, which I did, um, it's, it's just would have... The impact of it would have been next to nothing. It's not worth it. Um, yeah, just occupy it. Good, we've secured the province here. So all we have to do now is come over here. Oh, I th was hoping that somebody else would be there. <laughs> uh, we've met him, have we? Would you dare approach me? Ah, piss. I was kind of hoping the dwarfs like got the upper hand there. Alright, what we'll have to do here is come around and actually blow up Mount Greyhag. Not occupy it. If I can, I'll get Grimgor to declare war on Clan Eshin. Or someone. No, that won't do it. Alright, never mind. 
brave son of Ufwan. I await your orders. Trained by the White Tower. Cool. Yeah, this this spell here, it fucking sucks. It's garbage. We're not talking about those herbs. Sorry, well that was a discussion from before. Okay. Next up, yeah, Cavill. I may not even need you soon. You have my attention. There will be carnage. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Your A. Okay, I have an administrator, so let's use that one to reduce the cost of construction here. I just don't know what law of magic it was. There it is. Metal. And that'll also get these buildings done quicker. Okay, we can now recruit a wizard. Our first wizard. Oh, I was hoping to get entrepreneur. Oh, right, no, I can't get an entrepreneur because I fucking used up all my <laughs> stuff. Of high magic. Never mind. Um, I would build that. Yeah, I need it for other technology, so build it and build that as well. I should have I should have recruited her last turn. Okay, get rid of it. Okay, we can demolish all this shit now. Because the growth will happen no matter what. Handmaiden of Alaria. Alright, let's get them over here. It might get make it take an extra turn. Maybe, maybe not. No, no, we only need less than 100. So send these over to grow Everest by a lot. Uh, mode... Joe Cat AMV did a five dollar subject. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Mathlan is robbed. Oh, is that another resistant there? No, that was just. Oh, there's an entrepreneur there. Uh, that'll. Oh, I need to get some influence. Protector Shit. of the Ever Queen. Alariel the Ever Queen. There we go. Banishment. Nice. Wait, could I have gotten his dragon? Yeah, I could have. Uh, money. I don't really need the dragon right now. Okay. Don't spend any more. Just leave that with that. Just let that repair on its own. At least the Dark Elves haven't been invading us. This is where why I didn't um, confederate Alithanar. He was he was really good for this. I lurk in shadow. Yes. Yeah, if he can come down here and capture that, that'd actually be really good. Hi, Otherwise, it's going to come over here and have to try to stop it. Alright, let's move on. Turn 38 for our first wizard. Yeah, this campaign didn't go as well as other campaigns, for sure. Yeah, the, um... The Safari uh, backstab uh, set us back big time. Imagine how much better you'd be doing if you had a treatment gym stack. Shaking my head, please don't be mad, I'm joking. Okay, that's fine. But it's also important to point out, <laughs> it's not possible for me to even recruit a tree man yet. They're tier 5 unit, we haven't reached tier 5 yet. Just missing Teclas to confederate, is he dead? Teclas is dead, um, but I need to confederate Alithanar as well. Just get this peace treaty. I am incredibly busy. State your business. 
How much do I have to gift them? Pretty sure it was like a thousand. Because, yeah, if I keep doing military actions against them, they're not going to confederate. Well, they won't get a peace treaty. Mads, Carl Sling did a 50 DKK super jet. Hey, Legend, I was wondering if you know what the penalties and benefits for controlling the high ground in a battle, both melee and ranged. A tiny amount of bonus. It's, it's not Welcome. that big of a deal. Yeah, look, let them take that. Okay, um, you come back over this way. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. It's supposed to fucking kill that one. Uh, it's not, oh god, I'm just, I'm just not having a, a very smart day today. It's been easier to resolve. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dumbass. Uh, what if I force march back a bit? Oh god, I'm such a moron. I really just want to get this confederation. Hopefully they come up over and attack Lee Cold Fortress. Okay, how are we going over here? We've just about eliminated... The dragon shall wake. Yeah, there's no way, even if we got caught in Force March, that they'd be able to beat us without the god. Even if it was Snitch, their army is trash. That dude was the guy that captured that. Alright, if, he, if he's going to Pig Barter, that's fine. Oh, I can't get around him. Yeah, Eshin is just about dead. Full speed, Let me just see here. Yes. Oh, they, they've got a military somewhere. If I force march over here, that oh god, I fucking, this is gonna, I'm gonna regret this. No, hang on, I've got a scout. Yeah, yeah, I should be freaking careful. Make it take an additional turn if we have to. Okay, but our money is coming much better under control now. That's good. I am incredibly busy. Oh, and there's um Yeah, better to get the handmaiden one because those show up far less frequently than mages. Handmaiden of the Everpool. Oh man, that didn't actually handmaiden increase our money by very much at all. Oh, I don't have enough money to build that. That's okay. Um, Alf one expects. Okay. I will there we go. That'll make him a ton stronger. Wait, does the Hunts Marshal Expedition actually have no territory left? Captain of yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> they got no territory. Nice. Yeah, it'd be pretty funny if they switch in uh, Snitch over here next turn and then friggin' ambush me. Yeah, there's a there's a high chance of that occurring actually. Since I can't 
make it there next turn. Let me just force march back here a little bit to make sure that they absolutely cannot attack me. And then I'll encamp stance over here so they cannot ambush me. In fact, actually, let me make doubly sure. Oh, Imric needs that. I've only got one. Right, uh, if Imic gets um, ambushed, it's not going to matter anywhere near as much. His his forces are a lot easier to deal with. Okay. So what I'm really counting on here is for this to end, this war. Um, with the last little bits of my money, I, I need to make sure that it's got as high relationship as possible. So I'm going to try offer a gift of 1,000 and just hope that it gives us 10 relation. So currently, yeah, there's no gifts to them. Let's see if this works. Gladly. What business have you with the Asur of oh, fuck, it wasn't worth anything. Hmm, it wasn't worth a bloody thing. Oh well, what are you going to do? Mojo Cat AMV said a five dollar super chat. Do you have any tips for the start of the Hunts Marshall campaign? I tried going for Thraxland or Wood Elves and got clapped. Yeah, uh, force march, not force march, but run over down to the Sentinels of Zeddy and uh, resettle there. It's a much better territory. Ready to serve. Oh, fuck it. Just go back over here. Need to get rid of this dude. They're not doing anything there. Alright, and save up the money so that we can upgrade Lothar next turn. Okay, good. I thought he ambushed me. Tried to get away. Okay, yeah, they did recruit Snitch. Alright, he might take Darkhold, but I need to go and get... Oh, they fucking built walls there. Yeah, this war with Snitch is not quite over yet. That's an easy... Oh, come on. <laughs> As if... All right, let's have a look at the map here. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. How'd you confed Tyrion so fast? Just got lucky. Yeah, look, the first few turns of this campaign was actually really lucky. Uh, this episode here, <laughs> luck turned a little bit. Um, so it was a combination of two things. I made him join war against Grom, and then Grom beat one of his armies up. So we had really good relationship with him, and he was weak, and then he confederated. So sometimes you get lucky with Tyrion, but yeah, you could go turn 100 and he just won't confederate. It's just luck of the draw sometimes. It wasn't Tyrion that caused us problems this time, it was Safari. Oh shit, those hand gunners are wrecking my bloody eagle. Eagle's getting shot to shit. Get it out of there. Moving out. I guess Marcus Wolfhart is worth a lot of balance of power. That's probably what's uh, doing all the serious damage here. But yeah, Valiant defeat my ass.
I just really want Vindication before I end the stream with um, Safari. I really want that Confederation because it would be a lot, like I said, it'd be a lot better to confederate them than to kill them. Generally speaking, that's that's a good rule of thumb for High Elves. It's better to confederate than kill them because you know you don't want to knock the settlements level uh, down a level. Looks like Wormy 3 doesn't have the Monopoly on stupid order resolves. Yeah, it's because of these damaged units here. They always fuck up the order resolve. Damaged units like hurt you in order resolve big time for some reason. Divided attention. Nah. So they're at war with us, but they hate us. No, sorry, they're at war with us, but they like us. I need them to peace out this turn. I don't want to fight them anymore. Money's a bit better now. Ah, it is good to receive guests of breeding. It's just not cutting it. The other thing is waiting another ten turns. And then uh, throwing more influence at them. But yeah, it's just not cutting it. Champion of the Ever Queen. Funny thing about this is that it'll wake it up, but I think I can wipe it out. Yeah, it's fine. We'll have plenty of replenishment. Just get rid of it. Release them. Do you think Wolfheart's trait is worth farming with princesses? Uh, if you want to do that, you can. Just don't want peace. I, am incredibly busy. I think it's because the war hasn't gone on long enough. If we have a look on the records, I think we've been at war with them for about seven turns. I'm not entirely sure. So if we have a look at diplomacy, war and peace. Oh, whoops. Right, we can find out roughly when they declared war. Yeah, Safari. This war declaration happened... Wait, 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 wait. Whoops. Go back. Damn it. Well, I don't know what happened there. Order, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I, it's clear the context. I, so, I did something wrong there. Yeah, the... Where is it? Where is it? God damn it, we saw it. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Come over to here. Okay, if we go... No, no, it was this one here. When did that happen? Yeah, that's the problem. I just don't know. Oh, God. I just don't know exactly what turn that is. Ready to serve. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Ulf One's defender. I 
So yeah. Come over here and just prevent them from coming over this way. Because yeah, I can't throw any more influence at them until that expires or I get some more influence. Just kill their armies without taking cities. Maybe it work. No, we, we already did kill their armies. That's not how high elves work. You have to wipe out. So you have to make them like you. That's the only way to make high elves uh, not declare war. Uh, sorry, not to continue the war. They have to like you. So. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of damage. But that should be the end of them, I think. Uh, that's good on wizards. But not good on you. Alright, nobody cares about Defenders of the Great Plan, but the best place to go would be Sentinels of Zeddy down this way. Uh, it's still ruins. Okay, well I'll just go ruin dwell it. it is but one Wall Warden's very good. Let's grab that. My time and temper are short. Turn 47? No way. There's no way it was turn 47, that war declaration. Like, if we backtrack, okay. Um, last turn we were here, so that's turn 49. Turn 48. Turn 47. Turn 46. Turn 45-ish. Turn 44. Seems like it was turn 43. Many interesting... Entrepreneur so far. Uh, I got a few, but um, it's. I don't have capacity for more heroes. I don't have enough influence either. I think it was around turn 43. End turn of turn 43. Yeah, thanks, dude. So that means we've only been at war for seven turns, which means we just need to be. Like, contain them for three more turns, possibly. Alright, well, Snick jumped down here, so he's going to attack Darkhold. Good thing I didn't invest in uh, too much. Actually, at all. But yeah, we can take this settlement here away from him. I think I'll blow it up. Yeah, he can't jump back down there and attack us. There's no way I'm going to be able to defend against it. That's not true, actually. I might be able to. I might be able to if... i got enough money, I'll need a Fire Wizard. You'll do. We start off with Burning Head, right? Ah, no, we don't. Fuck. Uh, okay, Fire Wizards. Wait, 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 wait. They're rank 3. There we go. Because if we look at his army, right? He could only be recruiting melee infantry, at least. I think they only... Mm, you could have some Storm Vermin there. And we just need a unit that's strong enough to hold him back. So this one here. And this one here. Master Mage. Student Pretty high chance of failure, but we'll see how we go. There's no army down here. If there is, it's not very strong. Handmaiden of Alaria. Go over this way. March. The dragon shall wake. S the light of Avalon shines bright. Okay. Cool. All right, let's move on to the next turn. What makes High Elves stronger than Dark Elves? The more I play High Elves and Dark Elves, I kind of think they're actually about the same tier. It really comes down to Diplomacy. High Elves are stronger in Diplomacy, but... Yeah, we'll see. 
They have one Storm Vermin. The problem here, though, is that they do have an area of effect ability with him. Oh, and they do have some missile units. But we have 75 Winds of Magic. And the Burning Head. Because here's the thing. If we could just get, like, a big mass route of all these Skaven Slaves, we can win. And if these two here could just hold Snitch back. Did the stream freeze for anybody else? Yeah, we had a bit of a stream fight. It's not a big deal. Because, yeah, this really is a, like a last-ditch effort. He's losing the war. If he doesn't win here, he's doomed. Yeah, everybody fights here. Um, actually, you... Just, just go wait over here and hide. I don't want to use you at the start. Now, part of the problem when you corner camp like this is that... Um, actually, we should use these first so that we don't lose too much bounce of power. Because they'll hold the line fairly well. Did a little bit of damage to unimportant units. So I'm actually mostly concerned about the Skaven Slave Slingers, but... If we can get them to blob up, I can burning head them. I don't have a lot of casts. I do have Arcane Conduit. Or if I could get them to just shoot at me up here to begin with. Just watch out for Snitch, because he could snipe me very quickly and I won't see him coming. So yeah, using a burning head on that right now, maybe not the best idea. But then again, there's a few units coming in. We'll hit, it, hit it quite a few of them. Ten winds of magic each. Yeah, you absolutely need to be focus firing on Skaven Slave Slingers and nothing else. The burning heads are for the Skaven Slaves. So what I'm doing here with this is just by d delaying their, them shooting at this. Okay, make sure this line is as tight as possible. Don't break it. Okay, that actually looks like a pretty good cast there. So yeah, these guys will hold the line for some time against Skaven Slaves. Which is why I hired them. Good, hit them all the way over there as well. That's it. How many kills you got? Good. And there's Snitch. So the only way we're going to get rid of him is by army lossing him. Okay, here we go. The first one's going to come in. Well, not really the first one, but here we go. Gotta hope this doesn't backfire. hit me a little bit. Just a little bit. Hit them way more than it hurt me. It will be done. Make Ultron proud. Seeking fate. Well, I gotta be a bit more careful with that next one. We did do a fair bit of friendly fire.
Try to cast it a little bit further away from our line there. Oh, it, it still leaned a little bit towards us. Not quite as bad as the last one, but it's still, it was still something. Fuck, snitches will not die. Such a strong fighter, Snitch. Right, maybe try it from this angle this time. Alright, that shouldn't backfire at all. Okay, that was a good cast. That was a really good cast there. Most of their units are gone. Problem here, though, is Snitch. This will not die. I got one more cast left in me. You come in, and you get rid of the shit. Okay, then bail. Get out of there. Get these two out of here. Oh, I think I might just be a little bit... Might just be a little bit too much for us here. Maybe. Okay, let them keep fighting. Let's get away from this position here. There's no more fire magic for the time being. Uh, fire balls on Snitch could work, but I've got to get away from him first. Just let these continue fighting to the death. But yeah, if we want to beat Snitch now, we're going to have to rely on ranged. I don't think we're going to get army lost. I think there's a chance that we can win this. There's a slim chance. Because they've essentially only got two units remaining. Alright, here comes Snickers. I really need them to run that down. Because I need to use the um need to use the Illyrian Reaver archers now to um harass Snitch. And just get sight on him so I can use fireballs, but I should try to generate as much winds of magic first. Okay, Shattered, good, get over here. So this is why I wanted to save up the ammo with the Illyrian Reaver Archers. So if I cast now, I've only got one Fireball. Snitch is actually kind of weak against Fireball as well. But these ones here, just keep running. Every hit point here counts. Hopefully we've got enough ammunition to actually kill him. I think it's working. Okay, I need to get his attention. He can't touch them. That would suck. Good, we knocked him on the ground. That bought us a few seconds. That's it. Good stuff. Let's 
Save the ashes with ammo. Uh, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, those storm vermin aren't going to catch up to us. They're exhausted. So I would use the fireball, but as soon as we start casting fireballs, we're not going to get any more magic regen. So, uh, that sucked. Shit, this guy here might have enough ammunition to finish him off. So at the moment I've got two casts of fireball, which isn't that much. Another thing to consider is that we're going to have to use something against... um. The storm vermin. Okay, I gotta save the last little bit of ammo there because that's gonna be needed for the storm vermin. This this health here needs to be taken out by fireballs, but I just gotta generate that magic first. Hitting him too close to these units over here, so hit him the other way. Ooh, that hurts. They're not fucking army lost me. God, look how many that killed. Alright, we've essentially got four fireballs. If all four fireballs hits, it should be enough to kill him. him down. Yeah, I can't lose them. Fucking did it! Oh my god, yeah, wound him. Can't try to get rid of this. Fucking hell! I don't think I'll get there in time. But even if I just kill one of them, it'd be better than nothing. Proper disaster battle, yeah. Well, we had a plan, and the plan worked.
Do you think that creating perfect traded generic lords like cheese Bretonian lords to save them is a thing you'll do when Immortal Empires comes out? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm not thinking about that right now. Yeah, let's um, let's recover a little bit because we still need to finish it off. This is all lesser beings deserved. Simon Leverman did a two Euro Super Chat. Easy win, not even close. That was that really can't get much closer than that. <laughs> Going around a different way. No, don't come over here. Oh, I can guess I get Tyrion over there. No, we can get this. We can get this. So get us out of this war. Out of this fucking stupid war. A foolish suggestion. All I gotta do... Unlikely. Impossible. <laughs> Shit. We can get it this turn, I just need to get some money. Need to get some money from somewhere. Like, plunder something. Prince oh yeah, that don't matter. Follow the vow. No rest, no weakness. Champion of the Ever Queen. I know, I'll get money from Ever other people. Such a rare treat. I will see to it. Your what do you seek from the Asura traveler? Unlikely. Your His Majesty's court. What oh, I got an idea. This might work. This would be really funny if it works. Demand 300. Military access. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I just took money off somebody that I'm at war with. Come on, man. God, welcome. Time is precious, so please make your request. Misguided. I think not. There is only you summon the Shadow King. Do you there is no victory. Oh, I gotta get some money from somewhere. Imp. These fools have no chance. It's not worth sacking it. Give them money, ask for trade, but not NAP. I, I did that and it didn't work. High Elven Archmage. High Elven Archmage. Looting that settlement there would generate enough. Yes. Yeah, shit. The most gifted. Shaper of fates. Master of magic. Oh, fuck. They got a wizard. I should have let Snitch go. We are pure of heart. Yeah, if I get this one over here, it's... Damage resistance in an area. To do it again. They're clearly trying to get over here. It's on Force March. It would be good if I could just auto resolve, get rid of that. That would be worth a fair bit of loot money. Um, Magic in purest form. Yeah, Malice is getting ready to attack us here. Oh, I'm just I'm not close enough to it. How can I get this treaty this turn? Ah, it is good to receive guests of breeding. Absurd. The only other thing I can think of is by... Oh, I know, I know, I know. 
peace treaty, break a military access pact with these people, right? But it won't actually break it. Because we're defensive allies. So if I break it with Krace And Illyrian. And Tyrannoch. We can get all three. But it won't actually break any agreements with them. A wise course. If we have a look. Lady of Ulthorn. Yeah, look, I still got military access with them. Alright, well, we, we haven't got the Confederation here, but it would be available next turn. At least we got out of the war. And it didn't cost us anything. <laughs> look, yeah. We still have military access with them. Little trick. Urgh, fucking Safari. Next turn they'll confederate. If we have a look at this now, they're heading towards 151. They're getting their ass handed to them. It, they're ready to confederate. Alright, now Alariel. Since we don't have to worry about them anymore, we swing around here. Go for Arnheim. Um, if they lost that, no big deal. But yeah, we got out of the war, and I pretty much guarantee next turn would be a confederation. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just cheat the game for no reason, yeah? <laughs> there was a reason behind that, boy. There was a reason. Alright, I really want to eliminate Eshin before we end today. Uh, we got to fight this battle manually, but it's not difficult. There is no... Oh no, they got one minutes below. They do have access to a warp bomb. It's the cornered settlement. It's very easy to deal with. We've got beast magic, which is actually kind of useful here. We should be fine. Can you look if you got the bro broken treaties penalty in relation with those factions? Yeah, I could, I'll go and check that out, but I doubt it did because it didn't actually break the treaties. Is that infinite money loop? Maybe. I mean, we could see if we can cancel the treaties again. But I worry that uh, doing that might backfire, though. Okay, there's going to be a menace below. Just be ready for it. Okay, they chose a bad spot for it. Oh fuck, we got like no magic. Hang on. Don't, 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 don't. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Yeah, they have a warp bomb. Stop shooting it. Stop shooting it. It's fine. Alright. Now it's time for revenge. Your relation with the other high elves tanked? Are you sure? Well, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. You could be right. You could be right. So there may have been a ramification for it. But I just ha I really, really had to get out of that fucking war. Then again, my other allies totally loved me, so... We'll see. Shit, no... Reserves left. Okay, stop that. Alright, let's bring up the archers. Don't throw it all on. Tyrannoch hates your guts. 
I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Tyrannock is nothing. I, I can handle them. <laughs> it's my guts. <laughs> Looked back at the stream when he did it, his reliability. No, the reliability wouldn't have changed it, but it definitely would have affected... Um, it could have affected relationship. Well, I'll have a look. Get rid of this dude here. No, I thought I'd get a little bit more out of Flock of Doom. I guess not. Alright, you come over here and tank the shots from the artillery. Because that'll waste a lot of their bounce power. Tyrannox minus six going down. Or maybe I'll give them some money and make them happy. I'll, I'll have a look. You could be right, it could have backfired. I may have put out one fire only to create another. But Tyrannox is of far less concern to me than the state of Safari because... Like I said, the whole reason why I didn't want to f continue fighting Safari is because I want to confederate them so that the White Tower of Hoeth is not tarnished, not, not a damaged city. Whereas Tyrannox already been changed hands multiple times. It's, it's low level, relatively. Okay, stop. That's not going well there. Back off. Let's get some more archers. Okay, artillery spent. Gotta run as a high value, so taking them out should be good. Only concern now are the rat ogres. But I think we can get the army losses without having to fight them at all. Imagine if Illyrian, Tyrannoch, and Kreis attacked you now, that would be hilarious. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty hilarious, yeah. And they cancelled one treaty, and we had a lot of relations with them prior to it. But yeah, of the ones that liked us, I think Tyrannoch liked us the least. The problem here is going to be the Rat Ogres. I was hoping that we could just inflict the army losses, which just hasn't happened yet. Because I used up too much ammo. Oh, I know. These ones here. I think just a couple of shots on them will cause the army losses. Just 
Just seeing if there's another hidden unit over here. Have you ever done a Vedi Vici, Vici campaign in Wemba 2? No, that seems like a bad idea. Like, what for? That'd just be tedious beyond belief. Auto Resolve is there to reduce tedium. Finding every single battle manually in this game? No. Bad idea. You do it if you want. I just don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, there wasn't another one, but anyway, got it. Alright, that was the last of Snitch's settlements. Which means his remaining army will have no choice but to um, attack something in order to, to survive. But if I can just get rid of it, because I can attack it, I need to make sure I've got enough regiment of renown just to finish it off. But yeah, let's have a look at the high-off politics, see what the ramifications are from what I did. Oh yeah, um, I was going to raise it, wasn't I? Nah, loot and occupy, because I need money. Illyrian's fine. Tyrannoch is... That's fine. Uh, Safari is fine. Crace. Yeah, broken treaties with Crace, minus 40. So you are right. We Even though we didn't break any treaties, we did lose um, some relationship with them. Nagareth, I didn't lose anything with them. So yeah, even even this one here, all we have to do to fix this... Of course. There we go. They're not going to cancel treaties now. Yeah, you know, a little bit of money their way. Grease the wheels. And Crace is, was already good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Now, we got to get rid of this. So I'm thinking, grab this one. And that one there, because it does have good melee defense. And I should even be able to order resolve this. This is their very last army. Oh, yeah, I hired too much. They will suffer the might of Clan Eshin defeated. There we go. Ah, oh, that's satisfying to get rid of them. And now you can all go. Money's a lot better. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, we can even maintain this one. If we want to go fight the Greenskins, we can. They're as strong as us. Are we strength ranking one? No. Who's one number one? Probably Brightland. Actually, I have no idea. Okay, Tyrion, just stay here. Get that replenishment. Because you can go and fight that because they need some cash. The Ever Queen. Ready for orders. Get another noble now if I wanted to. Okay, let's uh Don't do any construction. I might need to do a big bribe. Precise fletching is really good. Oh, the settlement took a beating. And Let's just end the turn. Let's try this infinite money loop. Okay, well, before we confederate uh, Safari, I'll see if it works. Because we can just test it, and if it... Whatever the ramifications are, I'll just load. We'll see if we can just keep cancelling non-aggression packs with the rest of them, and just see if we can just get, like, infinite money out of Safari. That'd be pretty hilarious if it works. Tyrion could use a mage. Yep, he definitely could. Alright, if you have a look at Safri, they should want to confederate now. What, would, what business have you with the Asser of all <laughs> Every It finally happened. The plan. It worked. It's still tier 4, but that's okay. Alright, so. 
The game just saved. Let's see if this works. So if I offered to break military access with them. Just do one at a time, see if it works. Okay, no, do all three. So I'll load... Okay, we offer 7,000 fight. Nope, that's too much. So let's just see 2,000. Still too much. 1,000. Moderate. Try 500. Hi. Okay. Gladly. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> uh, the ramifications would be extreme for this. Of course. Uh, Jason Eh did a 50 CA dollar super chat. You're a monster legend. Rap bodies all over the broken lands and fried up Snickers body on top. Yep, he deserved it. Thanks for super chat though, I appreciate it. It's very generous. Glad oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I agree. So, yeah, we just took a lot of money off him, but... Oh my god! <laughs> the ramifications are extreme. Yeah, they will hate you. It, it keeps stacking. But yeah, you could... You, you could just generate steep. infinite amount of money by doing that. So I could have a billion gold. Uh, you know, if I do it a, a million times. This isn't a new cheese. New to me. I've never done this before. It's similar to the Vassal cheese uh, with um, uh, the Warriors of Chaos. But yeah, I wasn't going to save that. Hang on. Let me just load. This will undo everything that we just did. So yeah, if you're going to do that, do that to an ally that you wanted to... Like, maybe if we did it to just one of them, like Tyrannoch, or... Yeah, Tyrannoch would probably be the ideal one, because I could go and fight them next. But yeah, you could just keep generating more and more money. And, in fact, I could probably get more money out of them if I soured relationships with them even further. So the more they like you, and the less they like your ally, they'll probably um really go for it. Yeah, it doesn't take into... Consideration the um, difficulty level upkeep cost penalty. And there we go. And I managed to score Toran Rock. The Look at that. We got the White Tower of Hoth there. Alright, so they definitely derailed our campaign a little bit, but that sorts it out completely. That really puts us in a really good place. Like, we're ready to steamroll now. So if we have a look at them. Yeah, the Confederation penalty will be active, but it'll be fine. None of them are at a point that is really concerning. Because they, um, the recent events involving Safari all went away, because Safari no longer exists. Cool. I wonder if, I think you can do that in uh, Warhammer 3 as well. Uh, offer to break military access over and over again. I think you can, but I'm not entirely sure, because I think I did that once. Um with Greasus in my Kislev campaign. I offered to break a bunch of military access packs and he accepted a peace treaty and I didn't actually break any treaties. All right, let's go chuck a host over to somebody. That's the end of today's stream. We nearly hit eight hours. It really streamed on too long. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this campaign, but I think that's uh, reached the end of it. Um, if I do another live stream, I guarantee it's just going to be steamroll. We took out Eshin. We've secured Ulthwan. Um... It seems as though, yeah, we could do a full-on invasion of the Dark Elves or and or Lustria. It's it's easy going as now. The challenge is completely gone. Uh, we definitely didn't manage to do this without any defeats. Suffered a lot of defeats today, but you know that happens. All right, let's chuck a host over to somebody. I'm just trying to see who is live streaming. Uh, Mercy the Mad is live streaming Warhammer 2, so let's chuck a host over to him. Here's a link in the chat. I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream and this campaign. I appreciate all the support. 
uh, we'll be playing something new 